Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody today? Do you know what? Vix was in yesterday, wasn't she? My 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 thing in the mornings, I come in, uh, well, I wasn't first in today, Kat was first in today, but I come through to the studio, we open the door, put the air con on to get the air circulated, everything, go off and do all our prep and everything. Anyway, I've just come in here, it's like a sauna in here today, because Vix had it on hot, and we now put it on cold, but it's, so, and the iron's on and everything. So anyway, good morning, how is everybody? How is everybody? Shall we do today's early bird? Here we go. So this is now, remember, this will only be at my early bird price till midnight tonight. So if you buy this after midnight tonight, will be $5.99 for half a metre. You've got four ounce washed denim cotton here in the light blue. This is lovely. This is what I would call chambre. This is what beautiful. Oh, now for the first dress, for Jules's first dress, this would be fantastic. So you would pay $5.99 normally. How much are we going to? How much are you going to? 399 3 Oh no. Right, okay, I'll do it again later. It's going to 399 for half a meter. Computer player. It's funny Margaret's just messaged going, are there any gremlins today? And I said only Elliot. Anyway, 
Then we've got a, we have a, a gremlin in. It will go to 3.99, but I know you won't put it through. I know you won't put it in your basket, even though I'm telling you it's 3.99. Goes to 3.99. We will do it again oh, at the end of the hour. We will definitely do it again when Haley sorted out the price. It will go to 3.99. Uh, it won't tell you that yet on your basket when you check out, but um, do go through, do check out. Three ninety nine. Oh, some people are checking out already. That's brilliant. Three ninety nine for half a meter. It's lovely. It's hundred percent cotton. It's cut off the bolt for you. So if you want five meters, you get five meters. Look at the width. That's sixty, isn't it? That's sixty inches. That definitely sixty inches wide. That one. Let me just check. <laughs> Elliot said, you know if it's 60 inches, because it won't go round him, round his waist. Thir yeah, it is 60 inches. It is 60. He said that. He said that, not me. Say that again. It's not 44 inches. It's definitely 60 inches wide, and it's definitely 399. Right, I'm going to close that up. I'm going to close that up, because we can come back to that. I'll keep it to one side, and we'll get Haley to sort that out, because... We got jewels in the house. I oh, know, I'm sorry. Can you tell I'm excited? Uh, shall we look at the menu? The menu, menu, uh, uh, Eric. Who's Eric? The menu, Elliot. Here we go. Right, here's today's menu, right? So, uh, now I've got to read this and I've got to wipe the table at the same time. So just, um, we have got, eight o'clock, we've got the Angelic Address with Jules Fallon, her debut show. Mind you, hundreds of you are so excited about her coming. Well, not back. This is not back to a new company, isn't it? But joining us here today on Sewing Street. So, eight o'clock. Shall we have a look at that dress? That's right. That's right. We'll have a look at the dress. There it is. That's not Jules, obviously. That one is Sarah. Claire. Claire. I knew, it was, I knew that. Why did I say Sarah? Claire. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I, I, bet, I bet it's brilliant. It's like a buffet dress, isn't it? That kind of yeah. buffet-ish I mean, dress. People kind of... It was the sewing bee, wasn't oh, it? Oh, this is Jules, by the way, everyone. Hello, I, hi. We don't normally talk at this point, but go on. It's the, it was the sewing bee that called them buffet dresses. Right. I, to be honest, I'd never heard that no, term I, before. To be, no, I thought I hadn't either. No. I was like, oh, maybe it's me. I've never heard that. No. We just called them, like, tiered dresses. Yes, yes, yes. But they're comfy. But very. Com In fact, you're wearing one. I am. You? I'm wearing it today. OK, yeah. let's get back to the menu, because you're not supposed to be here yet. Uh, here we go, then. So back to the menu. We've got nine o'clock. We've got the stitch and flip tote bag and cushion with Victoria Carrington is in the house. Oh, we've been catching up on some gossip this morning. Uh, let's have a look at the tote bag. Let's have a look at the cushion. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Lovely fabric. Gorgeous fabric we've got today. Uh, then, I've just realised, I haven't moisturised my hands, haven't done my nails, haven't put my ring on. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got the Gertrude jacket with jewels. It's lovely. Look, that's it done in denim there. We've got it on the set in like a, a, a cream... Is it cotton drill there? Yeah. Cotton drill on the set, we've got that. We've got lovely fabrics to do that in later. So nice, isn't it? It's like... A denim jacket, but kind of contemporary, isn't it? Not a, not your traditional like biker mm. denim jacket. Then we've got Victoria Carrington's back. We're doing the Wintertide Table Runner. That's one colour way of it. Now, if you don't like a table runner, like me, you can make three cushions or you could make a bed runner. It's up to you. Uh, then uh, they all go home and I stay and I do overlockers and dressmaking tools. Now, I was hoping, because Jules is all, like the queen of the overlocker, isn't she? I was hoping that one of her patterns today would be an overlocker, so I wouldn't have to talk about overlockers. She could do all that. But she's brought two sewing ones this time, so never mind. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is uh, by email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. They go straight through to Kat, and Kat will read them into my ear. Oh, my gosh, there are so many people on Facebook. Facebook Live, right, I'm going to do some of these messages very, very quickly. So, Angela says hello. Pam Minihani says, um, uh, looking forward to seeing Victoria and Jules this morning. Good morning, uh, John and team, says Sue, looking forward to today's demos. Linda says, can't wait to see Jules. Cousin Susan says, good morning, John and all. June says, good morning, John and team, looking forward to today's show. Katie says, good morning. The other Jan says, can't stop all morning meeting up with a friend from 60 years ago. Jan, how old are you? Anyway... Uh, that's lovely. That's so lovely to see old friends like that, isn't it? It's the ring that's more important. 
Oh, it's on the it's on the little towel in my room. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, Cousin Susan says, love my shirt. It's new, one of the new ones. I'll tell you more about this later. Laurie says, morning, John and team. Have a... Laurie! Oh, Laurie! Laurie, yes. Laurie, Laurie! She was at your, she was at your yeah. with you on her yeah. birthday, wasn't she? Oh. Um, Claire says, good morning, John. Um, Julie says, good morning. Teresa says, morning. Looks like a fabulous day. And it's my birthday too. Teresa, happy birthday, Teresa. Happy birthday, my lovely. Oh, so many people in here. Where are we up to? Patricia says, uh, morning, John. Love to you and the team from Blackpool. Sue says, morning, John and crew. Lovely morning. Um, love, Jules. Love, Victoria. Great show today. Uh, Kirsty says, morning, John. So excited that Jules is on today. Can't wait. Hilary says, morning, John. No. Julie says, oh, my word. What a show. Margaret says, good morning, John, Kat and Elliot. Judy, morning. They say, morning, morning, morning. Judy says, good morning. Claire says, what a lovely new shirt. And Nicola says, morning, John and team. Looking good. I'm trying to watch you whilst my new kitten terrorises her three-tier three cat tower. Well, mine doesn't terrorise that. It's just ghost just sits on the top, that's all. Great to see you, Jules, says Laurie. Amanda says, uh, uh, watching for an hour, then off to a glass fusion workshop. So I'll catch up later. And Glennie says, good morning. See, I told you it was busy, didn't I? Right, uh, the other way you can get in touch, go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. You've got to click on the show, watch the show live. Right, you'll see me there. Box on the right-hand side, uh, where it says send message to studio. Uh, write your message there, and they're the white ones that come up across my bottom. Now, if you scroll down the page, there's the early bird. We will get the price reduced, I promise. This is everything we've got for the next five hours. So there's the pad. Now, can go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You see the um, pattern, the first pattern, 8 to 20. Brilliant size range, you think? Brilliant size range. Go to the next one, look. 18 to 30. How brilliant is that? We, I've always been an advocate for the more curvaceous lady and getting beautiful clothes, the more curvaceous lady. How fantastic that it goes up to a size 30. And I think with Jules, a lot of her patterns go up to that size, don't they? Anyway, carry on. So here's the fabrics we've got on offer in that hour. Uh, in different bundles there, and a few tools there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Then, and uh, there's sewing machines that our guests will be using today. Then we've got, there's Victoria Carrington's flip and stitch cushion, instructions on their own, and the bag instruction on their own, and bundles for you to make it with that beautiful, beautiful fabric. Then Jules is back with her Gertrude jacket there. Uh, again, look at the sizes, look at the sizes. What, 34? Oh my word, fantastic. That's just so brilliant, isn't it? And then we've got different bundles there in denims and in linens and everything like that. Then we've got some buttons. And then this here is Victoria's second hour where she's making the table runner. And if you've liked the fabrics that she's used during the day, there they all are by the half meter. But there are bundles, two different bundles to make the table runner. And here then are their her tools. Right, there we go. Here's the last hour. We've got the Juki uh, iron. I must get mine. Uh, we've got the Elner overlocker. Just one. Just one, the 664 Pro was sold. Oh, where is that? It's not, it wasn't on my sheet that you sent me last night. Oh, there it is. I thought it was out of stock because it wasn't on the sheet that she sent me on. And all your tools and everything in that hour. I know, brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's start, let's start, let's start. We'll have a chat with Jules in a minute, but I'll just do all the selling bit first, then we can get on with the sewing. So, the angelic address. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jules is based in Stratford-upon-Avon. In fact, her studios are literally... 10 minutes, if that, for mine. If we cut through past that big posh house, yeah. I can cut through the back lanes, can't I? I'm there in oh, no, no time. In fact, if I go to Waitrose, you go straight over the roundabout to Waitrose. If I turn right, Jules is up there on the left-hand side. I know. Uh, that's a studio. It's not a house, Elliot. It's all right. I'm not telling people how to get to a house. <laughs> right. 8 to 20 first. 8 to 20. Uh, morning, lovely people. Love, 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 Jules. So excited from Karen in Kent. I think we're going to get a lot of messages like that today. Oh. Here we go. So £20. This is sizes 8 to 20. Really excited to see Jules from Jane in Suffolk. Um, now, on the back here, it tells you everything that you need. It tells you the measurements. There you go. And you've got your finished garment size, because I'm sure there's a lot of, there'll be a lot of ease on this one as well. So everything you need to know on the back of there. And the fabric required. In fact, it's th look, <laughs> it's three metres. Just three metres for everybody, look. Three metres. So you get you, that size eight to size 18 in that pattern. And there's the dress. Oh, it's, oh, hang on. Yeah, that one's eight to 18. Yeah, eight to 18, that one. Sorry, the graphics say eight to 20. 
I'm so excited to see Jewel. She's gorgeous and has the voice of an angel. What are you watching, Jan? I just wish I had the confidence to make clothes. Jan, if you follow Jules, you will do. Because the, the thing about your clothes is not only stylish, you make them as simple as possible to make. And Absolutely. I'm not taking that away yeah. from your design No, 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 no. They don't have to be complicated. To be gorgeous. Exactly, exactly. It's just really, really simple, easy to follow instructions. Yes. So anybody can make these. Yes. Um, anyway, so that's that one. We'll talk, we'll talk more about Jules and the lessons that she does and everything later on. Right. Then here's the Angelica dress now in the other size range. Hang on a minute while the graphics go. So this one is 18 to 30, this one. 18 to 30. Beautiful. Actually, I'm just thinking as well, where, whereabouts does that seam come? You could chop it off and just have one layer because it actually comes just above your knee. So, so if you, you yeah. can have it as a dress above your knee or just like a tunic with leggings underneath Absolutely. or something like that. Yeah. So if you didn't want to do the whole lot, I mean, you could take it off there if you want to have a crop top. <laughs> Depends on how daring you're feeling, yeah. <laughs> anyway, 18 to 30, 20 pounds. Again, you've got the sizes on the back, everything like that. Okay, it's coming in tight on that. Let me get it in the right place. There you go. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh. oh Elliot's complaining because your lettering's too small for him. <laughs> it's good when you've got the packet in the front of you, Elliot. It's fine. Uh, 20 pounds, that pattern. That is your size 18 to 30 Angelica dress. I don't know which play Angelica was in. Angelica. Oh, now... Oh, my brain has completely gone. But there's a little bit of a story inside the booklet. Oh, and I also love this. How many times do you buy a pattern and you have to rip the envelope open? So when you put it back on the shelf afterwards, yeah. you've got a torn edge. Not here. I'll put it down for you. Not here. Look. Did you used to have to? I don't remember this. No, these are new. Actually. I was going to say, yeah. look, so you can take it off. Which means you've not ripped anything. It also means if you buy it for someone who's a friend, you can have a look at it first or exactly, whatever. Yeah. But it means I can also open it all. Now look, 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 look. Good quality printing paper. All the different sizes. Um, is it good? There's a booklet. There must be a booklet in there somewhere. Here we go. There you go. So I look at the instructions, right? They are so thorough. They have everything in them that you need. Even, look, there's your layout, even your interfacing. Oh, sorry, I put it in short. Every single thing you need in there, all your pattern pieces, it's so thorough. There's even notes at the back, look there. Oh, that's taking me back to um, when I was at school and I used to have a book and the two pages at the back, you'd, you'd write them for notes and everything like yeah. that. Blimey. Oh. Anyway, look, everything, everything, even... We don't take anything, or they don't take anything for granted, because we often go, oh, make a bias binding. What is a bias binding? Do you know what I mean? Make a casing. What is a casing? All of your glossary of terms are in there as well. So Jules helps you through every step of the way. So what's the story then? In the front cover. Here. There we go. That's it. There's a little bit about the pattern. Oh, yes. I'll have a bit of a read. Uh, Angelica, Juliet's early years wet nurse and foremost confident is from Rome. Now, I played the nurse in Romeo and Juliet. Did you? I did. Um, I, I remember one this week. I did, I did, because it goes like this. Come Lammers Eve at night, shall she be 14? I remember it well. Uh, I could carry on. I carry on, but I won't. <laughs> um, I didn't know she was called Angelica, though. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 go. I've got a picture. I've got a picture. I had like a wimpily thing on. and I'll find it. I'll find it for you. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Uh, do you know what I did? Uh, we we played. We did it at Kenilworth Castle. We came up from Bretton Hall, did it at Kenilworth Castle, and then we took it to London, and we did it in London. And that man that's in Star Trek, Patrick somebody, said he'd never seen such a brilliant, authentic nurse. <laughs> I was doing it a bit like a carry-on nurse or thing. Anyway, I met him years later when I was interviewing him for this morning, and I said, "Do you remember when you said to me I was the best nurse?" And he said, "I don't know what you're talking about." When water. <laughs> anyway, 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 they're twenty pounds. Let me take you through some of the fabrics very quickly. Where would you like to start? Oh, I love this one. In fact, one of the shirts. This, this is a new shirt, right? They arrived yesterday. One of them is like this, but in pink. I should have worn it today, really. Never mind. Love this, 67.92, you're getting half a metre for free. Now this is Marley Care Lawn. It's 100% cotton. It's, you get four and a half metres in it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It feels, you know what? I don't know if I should say this, but if, you, if you've had a Liberty Tarn Lawn, 
This is what that feels like. It's a really love. It's going to make a very, very floaty version. This. Good morning, John and Jules. I love Jules's patterns. I've made a good few of them, and they're so easy to borrow from Cal Caroline in Northamptonshire. Aww. Thank you, Caroline. Thanks, Caroline. It's lovely to get all this like it love is. coming in as well, isn't it? Hang on. Morning, everyone. What a fabulous day you've got planned, says Anne. Lo says, good morning, John, and the lovely Jules. Uh, morning, says Julie. Lynn says, good morning, everybody. Trisha Ann says, morning, everybody. Hope the pussies are well. They're good. Thank you. Um, Fiona says, blimey, the openings on Jules patterns take me back many years. That used to be used for government folders. Oh, I thought, see what you meant for you meant on the clothes then. Right, that's the daisy. <laughs> yep. I didn't know this was called Pebble. Black and white. Now, this one here, I, this is my own suggestion. I think you might have to line the bodice on this one, not the skirt, but on this one. Is it lined anyway? Or is it, um, no, it's no. got a facing. But you could put a lining in it very easily. Yeah, I, or just a double layer of fabric or something, because I just think that might, if you wear a red lacy bra underneath it, we might see it. You might want people to see your red lacy bra. In that case, don't. But I'm just saying, because you can see, can you see the blotches from underneath? I just said... Yeah, the blotches from underneath. There, double Beautiful, gorgeous fabric though. Four and a half meters. You're getting half a meter for free. The animal printy one. That's nice, isn't it? That's cool. That one. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Really lovely. That one. Uh, that's oh, oh dear. This is Cat's favourite. Don't let that put you off. Pretoria. I love Pretoria. I filmed in Pretoria with Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. Anyway. Are you getting half a metre free again? 67.92. Remember, this doesn't include the pattern. You do need to buy the pattern as well. Nice. Then we've got these up gorgeous thing. Right, which one should I go to first? This, I love this. Out of all of them, I have to say, I think this is my favourite. In fact, it's not that it's far. Not it's far like off. a busier version yeah. of yours. Oh, 48.99, this one. 48.99. Now, it says it's viscose elastane. Hang on. Oh, yes. It's got the tiniest stretch in it. Tiniest stretch. Now, I'd need to use a ballpoint needle, would I, for this one, if it's got a last stain in, do you think? Or would you not? I probably wouldn't, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, controversial. Know. I know, but what I might do is use a walking foot because you don't want it to inadvertently stretch, especially around through. the neckline. Tips galore already. They've only been here five minutes. I love that. Hang on a sec. Look at Oh, I love it. Oh, okay, there's only eight left now. It's been very popular. Look, once it's gathered up as well. You have to see it in a big piece, don't you? Yes. Ready for yeah. the summer. Ready for the summer, this one. But the thing is, with this dress, autumn, winter, summer, spring, oh, exactly. it's all year round, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. I'll just put that one there. I'll I will fold it up in a minute. Right, let's do this one next, then. Though this one is Rosala by Penelope. Oh, it's not far off my shirt, is it, actually? Um, right, so what's this one then? Again, same fabric. Oh, they've called it taupe. Mm. Uh, I'd call it latte. Anyway, 48.99. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And what one? Last one. Oh, yeah, christening. Lovely for a christening or a wedding or something like that. Oh, well, yeah, I've moved on, my love. Now, is this the same print but just in a different colour? Looks similar, doesn't it? It looks like it. Hang on. Yeah, it is, look. It's, that just goes to show you, doesn't it? Different colours makes it completely different. Oh, yeah, make the denim jacket to go with it. In the, in the denim, be lo in any of these, it'd look lovely, wouldn't it? Right, I've just got a couple of other things to show you. You are going to need some lightweight interfacing. Yep. Yep. So you might already have this, but with some lightweight interfacing, two ninety nine. Right, and the other thing you might need, oh, two other things I'm just going to show you very quickly. Covered buttons for the back, if you want to put covered buttons down the back. But it has got buttons and buttonholes down the back, hasn't it? Yes, you could cheat and not do the buttonholes if you really don't want to. Oh, you could, could you? Yeah, could you, you want to just pull it on over your head? Yeah, you can still pull it on. You don't need to undo that. Oh, one. so if you're, if you're new and you don't want to do buttonholes, then you can pull it on, so on over your head, 249. And then one version, if you want to elasticate the sleeve. So the sleeves are either a lovely little short sleeve like that, or then a little puff sleeve with a little elastication at the bottom. I've got a little bit of elastic there. 
comes pre-cut, one meter, six millimeters wide. Actually, that's the perfect width if you are going to make more masks. I don't know what's going on. I heard on the news last night that it's all over. Who knows? And yeah, a friend of ours, I won't say who, but a friend of ours just found out she's got know, it, hasn't it? Yeah. Isn't she? Oh. Right, so, Jules, I'm so excited you're here. It's, it's taken me forever to convince her to come here. <laughs> um, now, for those of, you who, those of you who don't know Jules, tell us who you are, where you come from, little resume sort of thing. Oh, gosh. Um, I, didn't I didn't warn you, did I? I forgot no. I didn't tell you. Well, I think off the top of my head now. Oh, yes. Um, I run a business called Sew Me Something, and it's our 10th anniversary <gasps> this year. No. I know, yeah. We've been going for 10 years this year, which is rather fantastic. Um, we started off as a little kind of haberdashery in Stratford. We had right in the centre of Stratford. That's it. We had a little shop yeah. with a studio above and we were running workshops there. So you, you must have literally set up just as I moved to Stratford because I've lived in my house for 10 years. Ah, oh, yeah. So I, ca I must have seen your shop literally just when it first opened. Probably, yeah. Because yeah. I remember going, wandering around past the Christmas shop, yeah. turn left down there and there was a wedding it. dress shop and you were down there, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> we had about 15 rolls of fabric when we first opened. Aww. I know. Um, so we were there for six years and now we've moved into a big barn conversion. You've been in that barn conversion for four years? Yeah, I'm I know. I'm moving and everything. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's on a farm. What it is, it's like a farm on yeah. the outskirts of Stratford-on-Avon. And they've changed all the barns into... And they're all creative. Yeah. So next door, you've got... Um, We've got Rianne the Potter. Oh, I, I, yeah. Don't don't the mistake I made, though. I went, well, this is nice. How much is this one? She went, oh, that one's a second. So I said, don't mind, don't mind. It was £800 still as a second. They're beautiful. They are stunning. Absolutely and you buy gorgeous. one of the little ones just to have one of her pieces of yeah, pottery, don't you? Exactly. Just stunning. Yeah. And then you've got... Isn't there a singing studio up there? We've got a music studio next yep. door to us, which is a little bit awkward when we're filming sometimes. Oh, yes. Because we do have the drumming and uh, various bass guitars and stuff like that going off next Fine. door, which can be uh, interesting. Uh -huh. And then isn't there, is there a cake? Isn't there a cake I one know, down here yeah. and a coffee we've, one? And yeah, well, we've got... We, our studio used to be a coffee roastery. Oh. So, yeah, so we have um, their coffee in our studio. Um, so that's where we run all of our workshops. Yeah. So you can go, uh, you, you can go to a Jules workshop to learn yeah. how to use an overlocker, learn how to make any of her patterns or any anything like that at all, really. Can't yeah, we? we do all kinds of different yeah. things, actually. We've got somebody in there this weekend doing um, lino block printing. Oh, oh, I know, which I is see. really cool. Very so, nice. So, yeah, all kinds of different things. And, and where, where's your fashion background come from? Oh, then? gosh, I'm a pattern cutter by trade. Uh -huh. I spent <clears throat> years in the industry and then kind of fell into lecturing when my kids were little. Mm -hmm. um, I fell out of love with the politics of teaching for a big kind of, you know, organisation. And that's when we set up So Me Something. Wow. Yeah. So you always, because I trained as a pattern cutter. Well, obviously mine was in fashion, mine was in theatrical. Yeah. But, uh, but it, was, it was all, I love looking at something and creating, I, I got to the stage where a designer could bring me a drawing and I'd know what the pattern yes. looked like on the flat because yeah. that's what you do all the time sort of thing. But it, it, that's a, I used to love drawing up the pattern, getting something ready for first fitting, and then after first fitting, I'd be bored with it after that. But then I, when I worked in theatre, I'd like Carol, my assistant, who I'd then go, right, finish this off. And yeah. she loved finishing and binding and, and all that sort of thing. So I could mm. do my job and then I could just pass it on to something that she loved it. Yeah. Uh, say that again. Oh, three of the navy floral bundle left, the one that I'm going to fold on the floor. It's on the floor. It's on the floor. I'll show you in a minute. Right, OK, come on now. We're halfway okay. through the hour. So we, what are you going to show us today? Because obviously you can't so, show the whole frock. No, can't do the whole frock. In actual fact, it's dead easy because the skirt part of it is just rectangles. Right. So it's dead easy. Now, the version that we've got included in the pattern has a little envelope kind of opening on the shoulder. Can we see that, Elliot? There we go. There we go. So we, it kind of crosses over. Just and he's, he's coming shoulder. in, bringing one. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Yes, because when I looked at it on your website last night, it looked like a raglan sleeve. Yeah, but yeah. then on the pattern, no. you can tell it's not a raglan sleeve. Yeah. So what exactly is it then? So basically, you make up the front and the back, and you finish the neckline first, and then you overlap them. Oh. So I've got his in true Blue Peter style. Yes. Here's one I made earlier. Okay. Now I need to just say that the fabric that Jules is using is from her own, from his her own, because we didn't get our fabric to her in time. That's that's fine. Yeah. We oh, can make the dress out also because that's linen. Oh isn't yeah, it? this is one of our linen. You can make it out yeah. of linen, yeah. 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 So I've finished off the front. So this has a facing on it. Right. So if you wanted to line the bodice, like you recommended earlier, yeah. it's a really easy one to do. All you want to do is to cut 
the bodice out of the lining fabric and you can kind of lay the facing straight on top and top stitch yeah. it in place. So I've just finished off that outer edge with an overlocker. Okay, you're going to have to move your, your necklace, I'm afraid. It's banging on your um, microphone. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. There we'll we go. See. Okay, it's when you lean forward. Then. I, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Shall I take it off? Excuse me. That, I didn't know you were still doing stripping these <laughs> days <laughs> from your stripper days. It's, it got, does, it's got a magnet on the back. It though. has. I know. Look at that. How brilliant. That's so Sorry, cool. it's just that it keeps knocking on the mic for the Then top. it's not going to knock on the mic. Yeah. So I've just finished off the edge of the facing with an overlocker, but you could use a zigzag stitch or a mock overlock on your sewing machine. And then I have stitched, clipped, and understitched, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. Perfect. Because this is something that people are tempted to skip right. when they make things up. And then they kind of think, oh, the neckline doesn't look right. It's not sitting properly. Right. So this is a really key thing to be able to do. So you have to have it there. It's not, an, it's not a thing that you go, I'll have it with or without. Because what I thought it was, was a shoulder seam that you then overlaid a finished piece onto. But it's nothing to it. It's actually part, it's of, actually the part of the pattern. So you have to have this. Yes. Yeah. Now you could oh, yes. do a bit of a pattern hack. Right. Which is what I've done on here. And I've just put a shoulder seam in. Oh, OK. So the shoulder seam line is on the pattern piece. So if you didn't want to do that, you could just fold it under, mm -hmm. fold that extra little, yeah, it's yeah. like a horn or something, yeah. fold that under and just put a seam allowance onto the shoulder seam and do it that oh, way. Oh, okay. So if you know what you're doing, then, I mean, maybe not really the first time you do it, but um, yeah, brilliant. It's a nice, easy one to do. So what I'm going to do is just stitch, if that's okay. Oh, look at this. Morning and all, I love Jules and her gentle, calm way of teaching. Her patterns are fabulous too. Oh. Sorry, bit of fangirling going on here from Jojo. And Thank I've also you. got Lynn Tewitt, so it's so good to see the lovely Jules back on our screens. Her patterns are so easy to follow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. It's what, can't you say? Yeah, this one's too, this one's too beginner plus this is. So not your very first pattern, but if you can sew a straight line, then this will be perfect for you. That's it. So what seam allowance do you have on now, this? All of our patterns have 1.5 centimetres. Centimetres, unless it kind of tells you otherwise right. in the instructions. Now, I'm just coming up, I, I, this is quite a nifty little trick actually. Oh, okay. Here. I'm we just going to come and turn a corner. Mm -hmm. Now, on the machine, there are markings that will help you turn it in the right place. Okay. So, I don't know if you can pick this up, but there's a little line just oh. here. I tell you what, if I move... If you spin, spin it round a bit, there you go. Where, where's, where's the line? It's oh. just here. Hang on, Elliot, where are you going? I'm going to try and get that on another camera. Oh, okay. But there's a little marker. There's a mark. little marker yeah. on the metal plate on the machine. Yeah. So that is 1.5 centimetres away from the needle. Oh. So if you use that as your marker and sew up. So no, that's fine. We can, what we can do is we can turn, this, turn the machine yeah. around later. So I'm just going to turn there. So now I've got the, the edge of my fabric is level with that little line on the metal plate. And that's, uh, that's not your machine. So no, no, must, no, that's, so your all, machine that's all machines, is yeah, it? Or so 90%, let's say 90%, just in case someone yeah. hasn't got it. So now when I turn that round, it's sitting back exactly in the right place. Oh, perfect. Because so yes, because it's, it's that thing about your eye. Yeah. Even when you do a lot of experience, so you go down and think, oh yeah, that's an in, a, a centimetre and a half. And then you turn it and think, oh, it's nowhere near. Nowhere I know, near, I know. So it's just a really nice little trick to use on your machine. Um, Kirsty says, I love this dress. I've sent a photo in of my working toile. Can't wait to make it again. There you oh. go, so that's a good idea to make, if you want to make the bodice out of an old bit of fabric just to practice yeah. first. You don't need to make all the skirts because they're just, like Jules said, they're just rectangles that are gathered up. There we go. So we've stitched that bit around the neckline and it's really important to add your interfacing to the facing, to the facing part yeah. as well. Now I've also, because this is quite a loose weave fabric, um, I've just made sure that I've done a stay stitch around that neckline as well, just to stop so it from So a stay stitch, out. in case you don't understand, is? It makes it stay put. So a lot of sewing terminology does what it says on the tin. Yeah. So a stay stitch will help that fabric stay in that shape. As and it's just stitch. a line of stitch, straight just stitching. Normal straight stitching. Inside the seam allowance. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that's cool. Now it's important to trim that back because we don't want all of that bulk in there. Uh -huh. So... I can trim that off. Now I'm just taking it back to about half the width. And if it was going to be a slightly heavier fabric, 
Now, you could make this dress in denim, actually, and do some really interesting... Like heavy stitching. denim, not, not a yeah. lightweight denim. Yeah. Or you're, no, because you're, you're, what, what fabric have you used on your sample behind this you? This is actually like a chambray. Like so a that's like the, the, the early bird, but in dark, the dark blue. It's that yeah. lighter yeah. weight, isn't it? Yeah. But you're saying you can make it out of regular denim, yeah, which I've got an, coming up later. Yeah, just a normal eight-ounce denim, actually. Yeah. And that would be really nice. Especially if you made it shorter. Mm. You could wear it with some funky tights and boots. Yeah, then. exactly. So I'm also doing the same around the neckline. And... I'm, what I also need to do, and this is the really important bit, is to make sure that you clip into the seam allowance. I'm just going to chop off that corner at 45. Okay. So where we've got that curve, we want that seam allowance to fold back inside. So we need to snip that. Right. So it's a, you're just are you cutting into it, or are you cutting triangles into it? No, I'm just going to cut. Now it's interesting because we've got two to kind. We've got a, yes. We've got a, a happy curve and a sad curve. Okay. Or concave and convex. If that's you were. it. So I'm going to snip roughly every centimetre on the sad curve or the con. Concave is the um, one where you can live in a cave, so it goes in. Convex is one you can't live in, so it comes out. Oh, I like that. That's a good way of thinking about <laughs> it. Yeah. So you're on concave at the moment. Yes. And then you're about to start on the convex. So on the convex one. Uh, love Jules. I can recommend her classes. So informative and a great help. You will enjoy it so much. I know that because Laurie went there for her birthday. Oh, yes. And you well, came. Hang on. Has it been three years ago? It was. It was, it was bef before. Before lockdown, wasn't yeah, it? And everything. Yeah, yeah. And she was there on her birthday and she was doing the Cotigan, which is called the Bianca. Bianca. And um, she wasn't concentrating and she cut <laughs> a centre-back seam into it when you shouldn't have a centre-back seam into it. But Jules was able to put her back on track. We've got oh, it now, So on the concave, you're just doing snips. Sorry, can we, look, can we see that, um, there we go. Elliot? So on so. the concave, you've done just snips, but on the convex, you're actually cutting out little triangles. Yes, because when we fold the seam allowance back inside, we want to make room for it because it's going to get squished up otherwise. Brilliant. So it's, it's quite a nice one because it shows you two different ways of dealing with the curve. Uh huh. So once we've done that, we want to make sure that when we turn it around the right way, it's going to stay put. Yeah. So this is where we do the understitching. And again, this is something that's quite important mm -hmm. because it means that... Again, with the kind of terminology, it's going to hold it under. Of course. So I'm going to move my machine back again so yeah. I can just sew. Now, Tina, I'm not, I don't understand this. Tina, she says, morning, John and Jules, twice in a week, Jules. Do you know Tina, if you've seen Tina in real life? Oh, we do a Facebook Live on a Tuesday, so she might have been watching. Oh, that that's what it'll be then, because it said, twice in a week, Jules, great to see you on TV again. I love your patterns, as you well know. Oh, thank you. And Lynn says, thank you, what a fantastic tip. tip. Thank you, Jules. That's good. So I've got it back onto the machine now uh -huh. and I'm making sure that I'm pushing all of the seam allowance to go towards the facing. OK, we're coming. There we go. So I, and I'm not pressing it first. Right. Oh, OK. Now, there's a little bit of a debate on this. Right. I prefer not to press before I understitch. Right. Because? because it means I can hold the fabric away from itself. Uh -huh. without accidentally pressing any creases into the fabric first. Oh, OK, good idea. So I'm just going to line that up and I want to stitch literally like a millimetre, two millimetres away from that stitch, from so the seam line. So you're stitching on the facing. On the facing. But you've got the seam allowance underneath the bit you're stitching. Yes. Brilliant. So I'm just lifting it up and just gently holding it apart mm -hmm. and sewing close to the edge. Now, it does get a little bit tricky when you're doing it on a curve, so you'll just do a little bit at a time. OK, we've had a message from who today? Jane, saying, do you ever grade your seams? Yes. If it was a slightly heavier weight fabric than this, like when I mentioned about... What does the that denim, mean? I don't know what it means. Grading? Yeah. It, sorry, I should explain. No, no, no. I, but I, I, know, I oh, don't know. I might notice a different name. In layering a the seams. It's what? Layering. Oh, yes, 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 yeah? yes, yes, yes. So you're... Well, I just trimmed off... The seam, straight line. The straight line. I might have trimmed the interfacing off slightly more, right. so that you get like a little stepped yeah. seam. So that just reduces that big lump of seam. Of course, yeah. So the thicker the fabric, the more likely to do that, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah. Uh, Rachel's message saying, "Saw Jules in Cornwall on the beach last year. Oh, yes. What a lovely lady." <laughs> that was what in Lou, were you wasn't doing it? That was on a beach in lockdown? No, it was when we were out of lockdown oh, and okay, we were allowed yeah. to travel. We were. I think it must have been Lou actually. Oh, I was in. The, I went to Lou just recently. Did you? I love it there. Um, because uh, I was did a open at Marina. 
who does an, is an artist, she had an opening of her art exhibition in Liscard. And we went driving around and saw all the different places like Lou and things yeah. like that. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I don't like it. Don't you? Well, no, I didn't like the little country lanes because if you're driving along and a bus comes towards you, you're done for. <laughs> uh, Kirsty, <laughs> picture. Thank you, Kat. Good oh, morning, brilliant. John and Jules. This is my working toile of the Angelica dress. It's a bit see-through. So I bought a slip so I can wear it. I love it, can't wait to make it, make it again, some Kirsty. Well, it might be see-through because you're holding it up against a window. Kirsty, <laughs> mightn't it? Have you used Brojo um, Anglais? I haven't seen that for years. I love Brojo Anglais. Oh, Anglais. we've got some nice ones, Oh, wow, actually. lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Actually, that would make up really nicely in this. Oh, it was Falmouth she saw you. Oh, Falmouth. Falmouth. Ah, oh, yes, that's where my son's at uni. Oh, is it? Yeah, so I go down to Cornwall quite often. Uh, like Elliot applied times. to go there and they wouldn't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, Falmouth? Yeah. I didn't even know it was a university. Is it the University of? Falmouth. Oh. They do lots of creative stuff there. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah. They do quite a good fashion course as well. Question from Carol. Good morning. Love Jules' shows. Could you ask if there's a reason for doing a wide seam then cutting it back instead of just doing a narrower seam? Good question, Carol. Well, normally, if you are working in production, so if you're manufacturing garments, you would have a much smaller seam allowance. Yes. But when you're making things at home, sometimes you want a little bit of a larger seam allowance just to get the adjustments right. So you might want to let it out a little bit so you've got the extra space there just in case mm -hmm. you need it. I, it. It's one and a half centimetres, five eighths of an inch. Yes. Because I always worked to five eighths of an inch, apart from at the centre back or the centre front where I had more just in case I need to kind of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So having... Oh, now there's lots of people got the pattern in the basket. You need to check out, check out, check out, please. Check out, check out. Remember there were the two different sizes. There's the um, uh, 8 to 18 and 18 to 30. So that's the 8 to 18. It says 8 to 20 on there, but it's 8 to 18, right? And that one over there is your 8 to 30. Uh, 18 to 30. 18 to 30. There we go. So we've stitched it, and you can see just by understitching, I haven't pressed it or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just holding it much flatter. So, so have you understitched? round the neck and down the front as well yes now you won't get into that corner so don't worry so oh, just okay. go as far as you can around the curve yeah. and then start again on the straight brilliant so that's not a problem and then if you've got any ends just or the back that's it's not the front isn't it the back yes yeah so when we're pressing what i want to do is to just try and see is it on oh it works yeah it works with the base or without the base whichever one you oh, want okay oh, that's mm. handy mm. so what i want to do when i'm pressing this is I want to just tuck under, but I want to see just the tiniest little bit of the right side of the outer of the outer fabric. Uh -huh. So that way, oops, I'll know that when you're wearing it, you're not gonna see the facing poke through. Yeah. There's nothing worse, is there, when you see an outfit, beautiful outfit, and then suddenly like there's a bit of facing I know, just yeah. So we can do the same on the centre back as well. Now, is one side of the back a different size to allow for a button wrap, or are they both the side and then they over, overlap? No, they overlap, yeah. So you don't have to, this is what we were saying earlier, yes, yes, yeah. you don't have to actually do the proper buttons and the buttonholes, mm -hmm. because on the back of the dress, there we go, she says, try not to knock her over. Yeah. There we go. Now, we've, I've done it here so that you've got proper buttons and buttonholes. Right. But if you don't want to do buttonholes, because a lot of people, people get frightened by buttonholes. Yeah, no, no. And also it's the last thing you do on a garment. If you're oh, so yeah. happy with the garment and then you're frightened about buttonholes, it's going to be the buttonholes that goes wrong, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to do those. You could just overlap it and just stitch your button through both layers. Would you, would you just literally hold it with the buttons or would you top stitch it down? You could do either. I mean, if you're sewing your buttons on securely enough, then it yeah. would hold it together. Yeah, 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 of course so it that would be fine. So and also it will look like, because you'll get the little gaps, if you were to top stitch it down, yeah. it would be solid. Whereas if you've sewn the buttons, you'll get the gaps between, so it looks like the buttons. Yes, I mean, you could make okay. a feature out of it if you wanted to. Okay, uh, could you just repeat understitching, please? A few people mentioned okay. saying they didn't quite understand the understitching. Understitching, if I show you on the front, because I can open it out a bit yeah. better. So understitching, I don't know if you can see, there's a little row of sewing Hang on, Elliot's just coming here in on that, now. that goes around the neckline. Right. So if I open that up, so what I've done is we trimmed and clipped the seam allowance. Uh -huh. So we've taken out the stress in the seam allowance to allow it to kind of tuck back inside. Uh -huh. 
And then what I've done is I've turned it so that all the seam allowance is towards the facing. Mm -hmm. And then I've stitched from the right side through just a millimeter or so onto that stitching, onto the facing side, away from the seam. So line. it's on the facing. So when you actually yeah. wear the dress, you'll never see it. No, you don't see it at all. It's all tucked inside. Mm -hmm. So that what that does is it rolls the facing underneath. So when we press it, we don't see any of the facing bounce. So that's what people will see from the outside there. Yeah. So that's on the inside. You get your row of stitching on the inside, but you don't see anything uh -huh. from the outside. And the next question is, what size stitch do you use normally when you're sewing? Um, I use a 2.8. Oh, 2.8? 2.8? 2.8, 2 yes. It's a little bit longer than a, a, a lot of the machines are kind of, uh, de their default setting is about 2.4 or 2.5. Yeah, 2 mine 5. is 2.4, yeah. So I take it up to 2.8. Oh, okay, because quilters take theirs down. And then when you're doing the understitching, is that the same size stitch same again? Same size stitching, exactly. So you just leave it on the same size yeah. all the time, really? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. If, you, if you do top stitching, do you make it even bigger or do you do top stitching a 2.8 as well? No, you want top stitching to be a bit longer because you want more of the thread to float above the fabric, so you're going to see yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, full of tips today. There we go. Uh, what do you say, Kat? I'll make another question. Good morning, John. Good morning again, Jules. Lovely to see you both on telly again, nattering and sewing. From Oh, look, oh, from Jules' beardy, beardy hubby. Char you nearly got a call earlier to come out, Charlie. <laughs> Very nearly. Uh, well, no, Kat wants to meet you. But um, oh. but because uh, we were chatting about you earlier about your beard, how long's his beard at the moment? Oh, it's about here now. Because I'm sure I saw a picture where it had suddenly gone shorter. Oh, that might have been a really old old Maybe, photo. Because yeah. yeah. he doesn't age, does he at all? No. no. <laughs> anyway, coming. anyway, no. So uh, Charlie's your other half, and he's a photographer. He is, yes, yeah. yeah. And he's got a very long beard like this. He has got a very. He looks a bit like. And a he's bit. called the tall photographer. If you want to go and look for him. He is absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you remember all this? It's funny, isn't it? What your brain holds on to. I know. So half. Half the stock of the patterns have gone. Half oh, the stock of the patterns have gone now. Right, okay, so what's next then? Next, now we've completed all of those bits. We want to kind of overlap them to right. create that neckline shape. So you've, you've made the two back pieces exactly the, the same way you've just seen, and you've finished the front piece. So all of the yeah. necklines are all finished All now. done, yes. Yeah, so right. the necklines are all entirely finished. And now is actually a good time to do your buttonholes as well. Oh, oh yes, because then you haven't got the bulk of the dress. Yes, so exactly. if you are going to so, do buttonholes, do them yeah. now. So that's a good way of doing it. It's funny it. you've done those before you came in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had a little sewing elf for me at home. Oh, did you? Back at the studio. Oh. So what we want to do is to overlap things. Now, let's get that round the right way. So we've got the top, the front, the round the right way. Uh-huh. And we've got the backs round the right way. Now, on your pattern markings, there will be dots inside. Now, I think, I'm hoping they haven't come off. Yeah, there they go. So we've got a little... But they're on the inside. They're, they're on the, the inside, inside yeah. Now, if I try and mark that bit better. There we go. Now, it's a bit of a fat one, but yeah. you can see. <laughs> so what we want to do is to line up those... There we go. Those oh, is it dots. just one dot or is it a line of dots? There's a couple of dots. Right. So we've got a dot here. Actually, if I put it on there... There we go. So you can see it on the outside now. Mm-hmm. So that's where those points need to overlap to. Okay, so you could do a tailor's tack or something like oh, that absolutely. if you wanted to match it up. Yeah, 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 that would be fine. So what we want to do then is to overlap those. Oh, no, actually, that's it. There we oh. go. There we go. I'm looking at the wrong ones. Yes. We'll, re we'll reiterate that one again in a minute. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, no. So I'm going to put those back in again. Thank so. you for explaining unstitching. I've watched heaps of demos on YouTube and I'm still unsure. Completely clear now. Great exp explanation from Anna in the Highlands. Good, good. Right, so there are actually two dots right. on the armhole, on each armhole. So the first one is your shoulder mark. Right. So we overlap that one. And then it should be that the edge falls and it follows the, the, the curve round. And it follows the curve of the armhole. Brilliant. So we can keep those in place. There we are. Now I'm pinning with the head of the pin off the edge of the fabric. So you've got the wrong side of the... So the fa so if you keep all of the right sides facing up... Facing up. Then oh, oh, and yeah. just overlap them. Yeah. That's the yeah. easiest way to kind of think about it. Now, if you want to, you can just put a pin in there just to hold it in place right. if you want to. 
Now this is where I'm going to do a basting stitch. Okay, which is? So, which is a long, you could hand sew it. Oh, old fashioned tacking, basically. Old fashioned tacking, yeah. yeah. And I'm just going to do it with a really long stitch on the machine. Okay, within the seam allowance again. Exactly, yeah. So all I'm going to do is take that over there. Jean says, good morning, Jules. Morning. Lots of helpful tips this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely. And Bernadette says, hi, John and team. Lovely to see Jules. Great to see her back on TV. Great see sewing and seeing you, John. Welcome, 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 Jules. Love, Bernadette. Oh, oh thank you. So you're literally st stitching I'm literally those just in place now. holding those together. And I'm running the edge of the foot on the edge of the fabric. Uh-huh. And what, when you say a big stitch, what number are you on? I'm on five. I'm on the, oh, big, the biggest. The biggest, biggest one it will go on. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So that's now going to hold that in place when we make up the rest of the garment. So you do the same on the other side. Yeah. So that means you've now got the equivalent of your shoulder seams have done and your neck's all done. Yeah. So now you show up. You so, so the side seams. So, so is it, that's what I was going to say, is it a one where you sew up the side seams, then put the sleeves in? Yes, yes, absolutely. So I would now go and do the side seams, uh -huh. and then you can put the sleeves in in a normal as, kind as of way. As normal. Yeah. And uh, do they have much ease in at the head of the sleeves? No, they sit oh, flat. Oh, no, that was a, no, no, John, no, they do no. not. <laughs> no, this one sits absolutely flat. Right. So you will need to put in, and I didn't realise we were going to have... I could have brought the sleeves. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't time. matter, it doesn't matter. So the best thing to do with putting a sleeve in is actually doing an easing stitch right. across the sleeve head. Okay, so you've got your sleeve out. Yes. Have you sewn it together or is it still flat? It's still flat. Right. So that way you can have it, hold it underneath the machine and it keeps it nice and flat okay. and still. And you do a running stitch or like a, an easing stitch on a long, long stitch length. Yeah, yeah. Basically from one notch to the other. Right. So it's like a gathering stitch, but it's not... Exactly. Gathering. Yes, it's only one row. Right. Not two. So, so you don't want like in a puff sleeve where you've got loads of together. It's literally just you just pull it up slightly just yeah. so it fits into the armhole. Yeah. And then very quickly on this one of the sleeves, you've got at the bottom of the sleeve, you've got it hemmed like yours. Oh, and then the other one. Oh, now you've got long sleeves on yours. I know. I just made mine longer. Can you just extend exactly. the pattern? Exactly. It's really easy. Really, really easy. So doing hacks on this yeah. is brilliant. And. To be honest, that's what making your cl own clothes is all about, isn't it? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you totally. want to wear the stuff that you want to wear. Yeah. Um, and I love it when people do that because it's all about making the pattern your own, really. Yeah. Um, so it's very, very easy. All I've done, there are lengthen and shorten lines on the pattern pieces. So you just slice it. So you and just, exactly. And just then you just put a casement at the end to put yep. elastic through. So all I've done is I've overlocked around the edge again. Mm -hmm. Again, you could turn it up and turn it up again if you wanted to make a proper casing uh -huh. and then just thread it through the elastic. And then the two tiers are literally two rectangles sewn together and then gathered around the top. What I like is they're not full, no. it's not, it's not no, sticky it's not out sticking together, out, so. no. And they do have pockets. <coughs> I know when Kat was putting it on the mat, moving the mannequin earlier, she said it's good to pocket. So yeah. that, that, but the instructions are all in there. Right, now before I do a round up, I just want to talk about this if that's oh, all right yes. with you. This is Jules's uh, most recent book. Uh, same thought. Now, we've had this for quite a while and we absolutely love it because it goes through the seasons. Now, these aren't patterns that you're going to see available like this, are they? No. These are completely separate ones from yes. here. Yeah. What you also get in here are cake recipes and drink recipes absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Uh, so, something for every single season. So, how did they. Oh, there are patterns in it. I didn't mean to say there's no patterns. You do get the patterns for them, but they're not patterns that you could ever get in a shop or sell from us like that. These are exclusive to the book, aren't they? Are, they? Yes. So what it does, it takes you through the different seasons. So where did the idea for this book come from then? Well, it, we actually wrote it during first lockdown. Oh, did you? Yeah, um, which is why um, they, we, they weren't able to take any of the photos at the studio. So we had to send all of the garments down and they took the, the photos of them um, where the pub with the publishers. Didn't Charlie do them? No, oh, no. I've been saying they're all, I've been going, oh, Charlie will have done this, and Charlie done No, because it was all, um, it, we, we wrote it right in the middle of the first oh. lockdown. Oh, of course. And it was kind of like, do you know what? Sewing has been such a solace to so many people oh, through all of that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's a brilliant. And it was also because we could slow down, you could see the changes going through the year rather than just rush, rush, rush. Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, and of course we have, we always have, coffee and cake at the studio. Uh, yes, I can vouch for that. And so we thought, well, why not put the two together? 
But it's lovely, isn't it? All these lovely... So we're in spring at the moment, right? We've got a chocolate... Or I've gone straight to the recipe, obviously. <laughs> the chocolate. But we had like a little shirt dress. We had a T-shirt. And yes. we had an embroidered neck of a T-shirt there. Yeah. Then we have the chocolate orange and homemade mocha latte. <laughs> and also, you're a real coffee connoisseur, oh, aren't you? Coffee. You love... She comes... Yeah. yeah, yeah, she brought her own coffee here and everything with her today. I did. We, uh, don't blame. I, I did text her saying, oh, there's very rarely coffee or anything. And I thought, actually, no, I've never seen her do that out of a jar. She's going, Zzz, and all that. And anyway, that's... then we look, these are gorgeous. Now, they're very, very wide legged. They're those, proper palazzo they? pants. Yeah. 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 But I they're, think they're beautiful, fab. aren't they? In fact, didn't, didn't Adele, hasn't, haven't we, hasn't Adele made those? Uh, one of our dressmaking experts has made those. They're lovely. Um, so very, very wide. Then you've got your sheared summer. Now, is that shearing, el with shearing, the shearing elastic. elastic, which yeah. we should do a, a demo of one day. And then you've got your cami and your shorts, for winter, summer, obviously, now. Then we go to lemon drizzle cake, my favourite ever cake. Palacia elderflower cordial. So it's all just such a lovely book, but fabulous for gifting. Then we're going to the autumn where we've got the oversized shirt. Now this is this kind of shirt is what I think of you because yes. this you wear things I like wear, this all I wear, the time, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. So you got you got brilliant. all the patterns in here for them and everything, and all the instructions. You have got a classic T-shirt. So also in this book, not only you're working with like denims, cottons, but you're also working with stretch fabric, which is what I know you for as well. Because when you used to first come on Sewing Quarter, we just used to do stretch tops and things like that yeah. didn't we but the, the your your range of your patterns has got bigger and bigger oh and gosh, bigger hasn't yes, it yes you know? we've got over 30 now yeah i know yeah. And, and it's something for everybody and what i love if you're making a capsule wardrobe exactly you can literally go i'll have that pair of trousers that shirt that jacket they're all different but they all go together don't they they've works, all got the jewels yeah. kind of um signature i don't know what to, what to want to say well, because you've designed them all they all fit together but it's a complete the whole company everything's done there so you draw up the patterns you do that you make them they print their own patterns and everything yeah. don't you it's a whole little hive of industry if you go there there's the classroom downstairs and the fabrics and everything you go upstairs there's jules's office and a filming room and a, a printing room it sounds very <laughs> grand it's not grand there's a room upstairs with a printer in it the printing room there's a room upstairs with a desk in it Jules's design desk and everything. But anyway, this book is lovely, 1999. Then we go into winter, you see. And also, it tells all the techniques, lots of the techniques we talked about today will be in there. So yes. it's, everything is covered. You're never left on your own. And then I'm sure there'll be an email address in here somewhere where people can get in touch with you. Oh, absolutely, there? yeah. So that's brilliant. Now, I just have to recap a message from Kay. Hello, John and Jules. Lovely to see you back on TV. Love your patterns. Made quite a few from Kay, Kay in Hertfordshire. Oh, thank you. And the thing is, well, it's what's lovely. Oh, got a question. Morning, John and Jules. Once you start dressmaking but find patterns confusing, would love Jules's classes but live too far away. Is this for beginners? Uh, I would say yes. But also, we do a lot of online classes as well. So um, all of the major patterns that we do, we're working through and we're doing them as whole video classes. Oh, brilliant. So um, you can always have a look at those as well. Uh, totally, so, totally. Yeah. But, but you shouldn't ever, if Jules does anything complicated, which isn't, no, it's not often, yeah. but your explanation of doing them makes it look completely and utterly achievable. So yeah, if you're just new to it, then obviously go for one of the more simpler patterns like this. The other thing that's brilliant about this dress, like we're saying on um, Sewing Bee, they called it a buffet dress because you could go to the buffet and eat as much as you like. <laughs> Comfort wise, <laughs> If you worn those oh, like for yes. Christmas dinner, oh, it's perfect. You could eat and eat Absolutely. and eat, couldn't you? I'm a big exponent of actually being comfortable. I think that being about Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> but I spent I spent far too many years when I worked in fashion being uncomfortable. Oh no, well that's just it, isn't it? Fashion isn't always about no. comfort, is it? Yeah. Uh, you're giving me a problem today, as I'm currently a size 18, but trying to go down. Which pattern do I order? I would go for a Mrs. For the, 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 that's for the, the smaller one. Eight to 18. Yeah. Yeah, but. Always go by the finished garment measurement. Right. So there will be a difference between the body measurement and the finished garment measurement. And that's the amount of ease, which is space between you yes, and the garment. Yes, because if you look at the, how much yeah. space you've got, so you'll so have made that to your size, yeah. but then all that ease is exactly. all in there for comfort anyway. Yeah. yeah. So but you it's, see, not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be fitted. No, no, no. This is what we're saying about fashion is so much of fashion is not how you feel, it's how you look. Yes. Whereas you do stylish and comfortable as well. Like there's none of your, but you could be very smart in some of your outfits, mm. but actually they're still made yeah. for comfort, aren't yeah. they? Right, I need to do a quick round up, quick round up, because we've only got a couple of minutes left. Uh, eight to 18 first, that's this one here. 
beautifully packaged. Look, you don't have to rip the envelope or anything because it's got the little tie on the back there. Uh, all that you need to know, the Angelica version one, version two. You've got eight to 18 in here. And on the back here, loads, you've got this in your basket. You do need to start checking out now. Please, please, please check out. So it goes dress sizes eight to 20, but they're your body measurements and they're the finished garment measurements there. You will be able to read them in real life. It's just our camera that can't see them, that's all. Um, so it's brilliant, isn't it? That, that's the Angelica 8 to 18. We've also got it in the 18 to... Now, what I love is, right, that range is called Misses, right? This range is called Curvy, which I think is lovely, not rather than plus size or anything like that. It's just, you know, celebrate. You have to celebrate your body shape. Um, brilliant patterns on fantastic pattern paper. A booklet that explains absolutely everything everything you could possibly want to know takes you through like everything we've just done today look i've just seen it there uh i just saw, there you go here we go this is a bit of prep you need to do putting your interfacing on everything jules has done this morning look 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 how every single stage has a drawing it's fantastic please check out your baskets what's the what's the most popular the 18 to 30 or the 8 to 18 oh they're neck and neck they're neck and neck at the moment Another question. Will Jules be at the Stitch Festival next month? Yes, we will. We'll Everyone in Islington. That's what yes. is Islington. Yeah. And, and you can always, you always know Jules' stand because like Beth Studley, you go to the quilting bit, Beth Studley over there, huge crowd around it. Go to Jules. You can't get near. You have to wave <laughs> and go like, blow kisses. You'll blow. And you all got to be wearing your Angelica dress when you go to the store. You're not allowed to the store if you're, unless you're wearing an Angelica dress. <laughs> we do like a bit of show and tell. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Anyway, so Jules will be there. Um, right. Which fabric shall I do? The three, uh, uh, the, is the blue one sold out then? Right, there's one, I'll do, tell you very quickly, there's one, I didn't get to fold this up. There's one of these left. Oh, but three people want it, so I'm not gonna show it. Right, okay, so then we've got the floral on ecru with the blue flowers. This is brand new today. Four, only nine of those left. Only nine of those left now. Beautiful, isn't it? Do you wanna have a look at that one as well? It's right, because Elliot's going to be packing up. Oh, okay, hang on. So, <laughs> this is Kat doing a bit of styling now. This dress in this fabric, Landscape Artist of the Year judge, the young one. Which is the young one? Yeah, you've been really rude. The blonde one. No, the other one's silver, I'd say. Anyway, anyway, this is her with, with Jules's denim jacket on later. That's what she's seeing. If you watch La Landscape... Oh, and some white converse. Listen to that. White converse. White converse. Anyway, I love that programme, Landscape Party of the Year. And then we've got the one in the taupe. Oh, you'd wear this one with heels, would you? Oh, OK. Or wedge. I'm seeing a wedge. Does that make me old-fashioned? Oh, no, I like wedges. Uh, looking forward to seeing you at Stitch Festival and meeting you, says Michelle. Tina says, Jules, if I do longer sleeves, can I still get the dress out of the three metres? Yes, you should be able to. Yes, you should be able to. Uh, they, oh, these are four and a half metres, these, actually. Oh, no, I, I'll tell you what the, why these are four and a half metres is, because they do the larger size. So if you're, if you're not in the 18 to 30 range, you'll definitely have. You'll definitely have. There's plenty of fabric left over. OK, lovely. Right, we're going to... 8 to 18, there are 20 left. 8 to 18, there are 20 left, and that's it now. Right, uh, don't go anywhere, because straight after the break, Victoria Carrington is up to do a... Stitch and flip tote bag and a stitch and flip cushion cover. See you in four. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? 
don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. It's a right old full day today. Blooming Victoria Carrington's here now, being a diva. What's this? What's this? Why is this here? What's this? Here? <laughs> anyway, before, there she is. Look, 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 look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you just love her? <laughs> She's as mad as a bag of spanners. That one. <laughs> and we've got loads of gossip to tell you. Oh, I'm not allowed to tell you. Anyway, <laughs> before we get on with it, right, um, the early bird today, the price wouldn't crash, right? It still won't crash, but I need to warn you, right? We had hundreds and hundreds of metres of this, right? We've only got 15 metres left. It will go down to 3 99 for half a metre. You're buying... This would be perfect for that dress that Jules has just shown you, right? Absolutely perfect for that dress because it's the same weight as the dress that was behind her, but in the paler colour, right? Goes to 3 99 We promise, I promise, I promise... I promise, I promise, hundreds of you, like hundreds of meters of this has gone, right? So you've, you've all trusted me. The reason I closed it up early is because like, people, because I wouldn't buy something if I hadn't seen the next, the proper price. But you are, now I've got to warn you, there's only 15 meters left. And it will, it, it comes cut off the bolts, you get as much as you want in half meter increments. Three meters for the smaller size of the dress in the last hour, four and a half for the larger size. Uh, but it will be 3.99. It will be, I promise you, as soon as it happens, I'll bring it back in, but it might have sold out by then. That... Okay, if everyone checks out, it's sold out, but I promise you, we will prove at some point that it's gone down to 3 99 So as soon as Hayley sorts that out, we'll do that for you. Right, Victoria Carrington, what have you been up to? Um, prepping for this. There's a lot of prep gone on for this, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, and then I'm st I've already started my stuff for the birthday week. Are we doing show? a birthday week? Are we doing a birthday week? <laughs> that surprise that we're not supposed to tell people about. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, 
there you are. Can you remember? The Thursday, I think. Third. Oh, is that the one day I'm not in? I'm doing every single day Aww. apart from one day. I'll check in a minute. You'll be better off without me. We'll check. Because oh, also, oh, and I can't tell you. I can't tell you. It's what? Oh, I'm not in on Friday. So I'm on with oh, you on okay, the Thursday. Good. Is she on the, early in the, in the morning? Oh, no. So one hour will be with me and one hour will be with, with Vix. Okay, br so oh, brilliant. Right. I'm just going to Okay, 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 okay. Now, giving too much away. Sorry. What, before we talk, start, this is called Stitch, Stitch and, and flip, flip, right? What does that mean? Oh, actually, no, let me tell me what it means before we start saying anything and then I'll just show you the bundles. So, if you don't know what it means. It's a bit like quilt as you go really so you're attaching your strip straight to the wadding right um and then it's just a really quick and simple method to get kind of a patchwork effect without much effort or and is the backing on it as well or just you're just doing it onto wadding so i'm doing um because it's a cushion i'm just doing it onto the wadding of course and then um we're doing the bag which is onto the bows yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the foam. Yeah. And then that was that's lined. Okay, perfect. So right. Okay, it's the so the same did... technique for both projects. And you're going to do them both in an hour. Yeah. That'll be that'll be a first. Right. Okay. So you've got the tote bag behind you. You've got this one. So this is the one that she's already made. So what you get is you get. Oh, these are beautiful. Lewis and Irene, look at the peacocks there. So you get a fat quarter of that. Uh, is the metallic in there? Yeah. Oh, copper, yeah. Because mm -hmm. look at the pairs. Look at the pairs there. They're lovely, aren't they? Uh, they've got copper in it as well. So you get three fat quarters, all from the same range of fabric. Fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, half a metre of the copen, I'm seeming to remember. Yep. Plus the instructions. You do not get the child included. <laughs> Now, is this the moody one or the happy one? <laughs> <laughs> the cheerful one. The happy one. They'll be Bless at school, they won't be watching. Bless them both. Bless them both. But it is, even though it's got a child on the front, it does fit over my shoulder. Okay. And I'm not small. No, you said it. Twenty two ninety nine. So you will need some... War no, you'll need some bosal with this one, won't you? Some, some with the bag, yeah. Yeah, with the bag. The bag, yes. Yeah. So this is the bag pattern for that one. Pattern, three fat quarters in the blue, $22.99. I've also got it in like an orange and teal, which I'm th thinking might be my favourite one. I'm just having a look, see if we get... Yeah. Here it goes. So you get half a metre of your... Is it vanilla or cream, that one? Whatever, you get half a metre of that. Then you get... Look! Now that's not got copper, that's gold on that one. That's beautiful, that teal, isn't it? Then you've got your orange pears. Then you've got your lovely vine. You see, that's very Essence of Liberty, that one, isn't it? Mm. That's the one. Uh, 22 99 three fat quarters, half a metre, and your instructions. I love this. Love, love, love this one. Well, I like, I like both of those, though. I like that one as well, but I like those more. <gasps> Talk about dig yourself a hole. <laughs> right, okay, that's that one. And then the last one, which is this lovely soft pink version. Let me keep myself all organised here. So this one, you get the pattern. You get half a metre of the very, very soft pink. Then look at these. So that's your peacocks on your kind of... I wouldn't call it pink. I'd call it kind of... What would I call that? I want to say soft plaster, but that's not right, is it? You know what I mean? It's a yeah. lovely, the, the background. What would you call that? Grey pink. Grey pink. Okay. <laughs> it's just why she doesn't work in a naming department, isn't it? <laughs> then you've got this one. Oh, we've not seen this one. We've not seen that one so far. That's beautiful, isn't it? And then look at that lovely soft pink one there. So this is all the tote bag, which you will see Victoria doing a bit of a demo of during the hour. Now I've got, so there, oh, now I've got the pattern on its own. Pattern on its own. Small stitch and flip, flip tote bag. Very popular on pre-order. It's height 12 inches, width 11 inches, depth 4 inches. There it is, in the blue. Beautiful, isn't it? 9.99. The thing about Victoria's instructions, you know they're going to be incredibly thorough for your 9.99, not just some flimsy bit of paper. Another fantastic guest. Who's she talking about? 
Let's lean to it. Let's lean to it. What a great day. Thanks, I must Lynn. say, apart from being a great designer, oh, here we go. Victoria is an amazing artist too. Oh, oh yeah, I need to ask you. about that. I need to ask you a question about that later. Right. Okay, so we do the cushions next. Cushion. Now, if you used to watch the John Scott show back in the day, it must have been about a year ago. In fact, it was a year ago you were on because it? it came up on my um, oh. memory thing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we did something like this on the John Scott show. There's your pattern and instructions. There's your, was that a meter? Was that, that's half a meter. Half a meter. Plus four fat quarters. Same color ranges as you've seen. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. 24 99. That's what you can make. That's the pinky version, which I'm going to show you in a second. I love the border and everything. Right, here we go. And then this one's in the pink. Now, if you want to buy some wadding, I think that's in my neck, in Victoria's next hour, we put that in. Right, so here we go. So this, this is a pattern. Oh, half metre of your pink. Fat quarter of your pink. Fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter. And that makes this. Are they prairie, what's it? Prairie oysters. Prairie points. Prairie points. What's a prairie oyster? Don't know. Prairie oyster. I think it's a cocktail, isn't it? I don't know. I don't drink and I don't eat oysters, so I don't know <laughs> why I know either of those. But anyway, isn't that gorgeous? No. $24.99. Right, OK. Uh, if you want to buy some bosal... Oh, sorry, just another one. Jumping ahead. I, I don't... It is this bosal. $9.99. Pretty, isn't it? Instruction on their own, $9.99 to make that. Gorgeous. Right, if you're going to make the tote bag, you might need some of this. Single-sided. Look how wide it is. Hang on, look. Oh, does it? It's not, it's not sold by the, fifth, by the 50 set. So it's cut your drink like you do fabric off a bolt. So it, it won't come in pieces, this one. It comes like you can just... If you want four metres, you can buy four metres. But that'd be enough to do the bag, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to think whether you could get two out of that. Oh, easily. Look. Yeah, yeah. Or could you? This is what you... That's what you need. Two of those. <laughs> Mess up your whole desk. <laughs> it's been ages. It's a good job they didn't go everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Becky says, good morning, John of Victoria County. Morning. Loving the pattern. Uh, Catherine, oh, all the experts are watching today. So that was Becky Alexander for us. Now, Catherine Wright says, I love the orange and teal too. Aww. Busy whizzing up my samples for Monday and listening to you guys. Oh, my word. You're so, just a little tiny bit short of two, but you can definitely get the, the one out of it. Make the one a bit smaller then. Yeah, it could do. All right, can I have it back now? Yeah. It's 11.99 for half a metre. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll be doing wadding in Victoria's next hour. Right, so should we start then? What you, I'm gonna, while you start, I'm going to turn the aircon off because it's freezing. In yes, <laughs> the hairs are sticking up on my arms. Yeah. Right. Okay, so pattern. Yeah, go. So what I've done here, so this is basically a really straightforward pattern to do. Um, so it's, it's definitely sort of a beginner's project. So what I've done is in order for you to be able to look at the picture and compare to what you've got to this, I've done some little boxes where you can label up um, your types of fabric. So I've put the solid blue, duck egg flowers, that sort of thing. So I can just refer to that as I go along, yep. which makes it easier. OK, so you've got obviously got your cutting out, which is really straightforward. And then um, you've got a little tape, a little diagram there, which shows you what, st what strips to put on and the size of them as you go along. Uh -huh. And then um, all your pictures and description as you go. Well, let okay. me just following on from that. Anne says, always brilliant demos from Victoria. Thank Wait you. Wait for this. Her patterns are the highest quality on the market. Oh, thank Loving you. Loving it, says Anne. Oh, thanks, Anne. Right. Okay. So what I've done is, um, first of all, so from the cushion, oh, can I take this down? Is that all right? Oh, if you must. Thanks. Makes the shelf look very empty. <laughs> I'll put it back. <laughs> okay. So I've made the cushion from the kit and then I've got all of this left over. Oh, so brilliant. you can make like you can make a little 
it's not enough to make a second or something. one. Though. I mean, you could get the majority of it out of there. Um, I think you just might struggle with a couple of these um, triangles, but you could you could mix and match yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah, course. that's that's easily feasible. So your half meter, turn it around. Does your half meter does that as well? The whole kit does that as well. Yeah, so well. everything here, you've got that and then you've got this oh, left brilliant, over. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So you would need to buy extra backing to do, if you did a second one. Yeah, you yeah. would, yeah. Yeah, okay. Prairie oysters are revolting. It's a raw <laughs> egg, Worcestershire sauce. Not yours, no, 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 no. <laughs> Prairie oysters, Sylv says. It's a raw egg, Worcestershire sauce, vinegar and a hot sauce. Salt and pepper, optional. Oh, oh. it's a hangover drink, isn't it? Elliot, oh. you should know that. It's the, it's the hangover drink. He just has a beer the next morning. Yeah, right, come on. Okay, then. so what I'd recommend, because you've got nice, good, chunky pieces left out, yeah. uh, left over at the end. I mean, that's that's what I've got left over of, of that fabric. Oh, crap, um, there's a lot. So when you, when you cut your, so imagine this is a fat quarter. So when you cut your strips for your, um, for your cushion front, you want to be cutting those from the width of the fat quarter. Right. And then the way I did it was when, when it says to cut the squares, I cut them from down the side rather than across oh, because okay. then you've that's a more usable piece course, like that yeah. isn't it okay so <laughs> did you need that bit <sighs> okay so i've cut my wadding to the size that that it says in the pattern um and that's to the actual size of your cushion then what i've done is i've cut all my strips which are different widths, and then I've laid them out as per this diagram here. So it says strip one, so I know that's fabric D, which I've put here, fabric D is the navy pairs, so I know that's my first oh, strip. Oh, of course, because the pattern will have been, the original one will have been for the pinks or yeah, something. Exactly. Or if you've then got the pattern and you make it in a different colour way completely, yeah. you just mark up what each one is. Yeah, so that's why I've left those boxes so people can write in what, what their fabrics Lovely. are. Okay, so the first thing you do is you put your first strip across the bottom and you want some overhang either side. So you've got plenty of that from, uh, from your width of your fat quarter. Okay. And then you just want to pin it, do it quite, quite far down because you're going to go over this with your walking of foot. Course, now, yeah. you can do this without a walking foot, but you do definitely get a better finish because you're going through um, wadding and fabric yeah. if you use a quilting foot. Okay, Lisa Lamb says you're looking very glamorous, Victoria. Thank you. She says, uh, fab shirt, John, thank you. It's from China. Uh, <laughs> loving watching you two whilst I prep for... Oh, she's in on the February the 27th. What day of the week Not is long. that one? Is that birthday week as well? Day before birthday week. Is that me? Oh, it's not me. You've not got me, Lisa Lamb. Oh, oh they're keeping us apart. Anyway... Yeah, go on. Okay, so then you take your second strip. So again, I've got the strip two, fabric B. And then, so this is directional because we've got the flowers on here. So I position it as I want it. Yeah. And then I'm going to flip that down. Yeah. Oh, that's the flip, is it? Yep. Right. And I'm going to level <laughs> those raw edges up and I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch along that raw edge. Brilliant. Now, you want to be do because there's so many different um, seams. You want to be doing a scant quarter of an inch. Okay. What does that mean? So that means so if you've got your quarter inch line, so imagine that's a quarter of an inch line. So that's my quarter of inch seam. Right. And then you want to stitch. Oh, wrong one. Wrong end. So you're just along the edge of where that quarter of an inch would be. So that enables you to then, when you fold it back, then you've taken into consideration the, the fabric in the fold. fold because yeah. it only seems like a minuscule bit and you think, how is that going to make any difference? But by the time you've got through all of those, you can be like a bit off at the top. So um, you want to be doing it scant. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to pin that mm -hmm. now. Julie says, I love Victoria's designs and demos. Thank you. Always remember her first demo on Sewing Street of a strawberry drawstring pouch. Yeah. Was that Sewing Street or Sewing Quarter? Sewing Street. Oh, that was not with me then. 
Is no, I was because I was on on the first show on Sony yeah, Street. Yeah, and it carried on. It stayed open. I know. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't it? Because on the first show we had nothing to sell, so um, I'd done a. Um, you know when we did those videos, they yeah, they yeah, filmed yeah, yeah. us. Mine yeah. had no sound on it, right? So they let me do it again when Sewing Street oh, started. Oh, okay. So. Do you know that's the highest viewed YouTube film of all of Sewing Street's shows? Really? I don't know why. Do you take your top off or something? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to ask a quick question. Why are you going down with the bulk of the fabric in your throat and the throat of the machine? Yep. Rather than turning it round and going with the fabric on this side. Because I need to I need to stitch here for the fabric to go that way. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Right now, is there a problem with the checking out? There are so many people got both patterns in their baskets, but there doesn't seem to be any, many, many checked out. Oh, Lisa Lamb says, ought to be my first show without my right-hand man. I know, Aww. Lisa. Has you not got me written into your contract then? Do you want to borrow my glasses? <laughs> Do you know what? The other day, I had this out. And I was looking for a pin and I spent about two minutes trying to, trying pick, to pick the up. picture off. What, it was a picture of a, a, a The pi picture of a pin. I was going like this. <laughs> no word of a lie. It's just that you squinted at the machine, that's all. Okay. Okay. So then we take the pins out. Yeah. Yeah, stitch it and... And flip it. So... Oh, wait, I want to ask a question. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just press that. I was going to say, do you press it? Yeah. It just gives you a, a nicer finish, especially if you're going to quilt it um, later on. Oh, yeah, now, it makes you it see, because nice you're on normal wadding, it's fine yeah. to do that, because on a lot of the... Um, June Taylor quilt as you go so they tell you not to press it right that's because it's the polyester wadding and if you get your right. iron on the polyester wadding it can either melt it or it can um, make it go like a biscuit yeah. can't it yeah. yeah okay so you've got that then now all I'm going to do is do a top stitch oh. along there just okay. to make, give it a bit of interest now you could <laughs> you could use your um, different decorative stitches on your sewing machine if you wanted to. I've just done a straight line. Right. Um, but you could use different decorative stitches on your machine if you wanted to. Yeah. I think, though, with the, with this fabric, I think the fabric does the talking anyway. You don't Definitely. necessarily need a fancy yeah. stitch on it. I'm thinking if you're making it out later on, after you've made it out the bundle, make it with plain colours, then you could introduce yeah. all of your stitches on plain colours. Yeah, you? definitely. Because it would also look lovely, wouldn't it? Like, like using red, blue, green and yellow, or like bright, happy colours like Yeah, that, like a rainbow -y. Or you could do like an ombre, couldn't you? Oh, yes, you could. OK, so then I've just stitched across there. And then we just repeat. Oh, one thing I was going to mention was you want to be using a, a longer stitch length. Why? Um, just because it's, if you do, it saves you, um, it saves you having to keep changing it and thinking about it when you're doing your, your kind of quilting line over the top. So I just stuck mine on three for the whole thing. For the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Because when you're piecing, if you're doing a quilt, yeah. you do a smaller stitch than that. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. Because, you're, because you've got this as kind of a um, stabiliser, um, it doesn't come apart yeah. or anything like that. Also, if you make a mistake, it's easier to unpick three size three stitches than it is one yeah. point eight stitches. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm just going to do that again. And I'll just take us to where the prairie points go. Okay. And then we'll have a go at making the bag. Okay, so again, I'm just pinning that in place. And okay, so while Victoria, normally on your graphics, it would tell you what you get in your bundle. Uh, all it says is blue, right? So what you're getting, you get four fat quarters of designer Lewis and Irene fabric. Half a metre of your Rose and Hubble. Uh, is that Copen as well? Copen. And your instructions for £24.99. Is it Cobalt? Oh, is it? no, that's not Cobalt. What colour is this one? Does it say on your... OK, it's definitely not Cobalt. Oh. Cobalt. That one. Oh. Oh. You keep going. 
Cadet. That's it's cadet. cadet. It's not. It's I was wrong. We're both wrong. It's called Cadet Blue. Oh. Cobalt's more of the colour. Isn't Cobalt the brighter? Do what? Oh, hang on. oh, sorry, Cadet Blue. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't trust us, did she? Look, she didn't trust you. had to go and check. <laughs> yeah, she'd have seen her with all her prep paperwork and everything, all her printed out sheets and everything. <laughs> I don't like being stressed when I get here. I just like to just. Do you remember when you first calm. started? You couldn't pick <gasps> anything up without it shaking oh. off the studio. It's only taken me three years. Now, you see what I've done here? <laughs> Because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. I've put that one on upside down. Can you see? So oh, if you've got down. directional, the oh, tulips yes. are... Well, it that doesn't, doesn't matter. matter though. That doesn't no. matter because it could be... Um, what's those famous William Morris flowers that look down? Uh, snake? Snake oh, heads. Oh, snake heads, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm at the solid now. So I'll just whiz across that line. Could you make one of these in an afternoon? Oh, easily. Yeah. But don't rush. It's a lovely project, so you'd have to rush if you don't want to. What machine are you using? Uh, the excellent 680 plus. Oh! Right, very quickly, before you do that, remember they're still on pre-order, and if you buy it on pre-order, before they come in, you get £50 added. But they must be in any day now, because they said, didn't they, mid-February. Well, it's mid-February on Monday, isn't it? I'll find out when the office come in, in the break, I'll nip out. Is there anyone in the office? I'll nip out in the break and ask if they've got any news on it. Sorry, Victoria. It's all right. Because I've got the 680. Well, no, you know about the 680, because I used to have it on my show. Yeah. The John Scott show, didn't I? Yeah. Yes, she came in from some very, very I got there really early, didn't I? Yeah, very early. <laughs> you and your dad's car weren't you that day? Yeah, well. I was. <laughs> you got a good memory, crikey. Oh, oh, I can remember, but important things. No. <laughs> yeah. Not a chance. Okay. Right. So... So you can see how easy this is. It's not, yeah. not using your brain much, is it, really? And the thing is, like, before Christmas, I was having a bit of a... I'd lost my sewing mojo. I do. Yeah, and I haven't, sewed, I haven't sewn for ages since till I was doing this prep. And then I was doing these, and because they were really straightforward, I kind of got into it again. Yeah. So, OK. So what you do now is you take your squares yeah. that you've cut. Do you need to worry about direction on this? No, okay. no. And then you put it wrong side up and then you just fold it in half diagonally. And you want to use steam on this because it'll make it nice and crisp yeah. or creased like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and then fold it again. And you could use this technique on lots of different things. So if you've, if you've got a quilt with a border on, you could always add these in. I've done quilts before with these, like, all down the side. Didn't your of it. Um, Princess Fairy ballet the ballerina one? Ballerina one, one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, so... John, great show today. Could you show the three colourways again for me as for the tote, as I can't make my mind up? We will. We'll, we'll let her do, we'll, I'll let her do her prairie points and then I'll, I'll show you. Okay. So I know that the next, my next strip is going to be this one. Right. So just because I'm neurotic, I'm going to put this one in the centre because it just looks better. In your opinion? Yeah. So on this one... This is just me being neurotic. It but you've got really four. Matter. You've got four to choose from. You're only doing three prairie points. Yeah, because I've used one for the binding. No, no, no. You know, what I mean is, yeah. is oh, I see. Could because you could choose not to have the one like you've you've put the prairie point that's the same as the fabric that's coming up next. But you could actually have ones that hadn't got the same fabric coming up. Next. Yeah, yeah, you could yeah. do whatever you wanted. Yeah. Um, and you could probably you could probably put me all hurt then. <laughs> <laughs> you could put another one in as well, but I think odd. No, 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 no. no. But, but you don't have to use the fabric that 
you've just used because you've got the choice of four different. Yeah, exactly. Fabrics, you could yeah. use that the the one yes. that I've used for binding or something yeah. else. Yeah. Or the the pink would look nice on the binding for that. You might have to order another half meter, yeah. but it's yeah. it's not a lot of money for the solids, is it? Okay, so this is going to go in the middle, and then I've got my other ones already pressed, mm -hmm. and I'm going to like nestle them together. Yeah. And I think I've put in the pattern, like put it an inch and a half away from the side, something like that. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that where they overlap, so I've got that open and I've put him inside, so that's a single fold. Right. And then he flips over the top. Right. And you want to make sure that from there to there is about a quarter of an inch. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Okay. And then I've got my pairs, pop them in, and then I'm just going to pin those on. And then um, what I did is your favourite thing, John, added some buttons. Yeah, so you bought buttons. Yeah. We've got no buttons for sale today. Um, so I put some buttons on or you could use some um, like in nice embroidery thread and just do a little cross there or just leave them loose. It's mm -hmm. up to you. OK, and then all I'm going to do now is stitch across there like just about an eighth of an inch okay. um, on a long stitch just to tack it in place. Uh, they're Lewis and Irene Fabrics, Christine, and they're available. Uh, if you're not buying the kit, uh, there are, if you look to pre-order, all these fabrics are available by the half metre. $6.99 a half metre. Lewis and Irene Fabrics. New. New. Lewis and Irene Fabrics, right? $6.99. Uh, just go down, go down pre-order. Uh, Victoria. Victoria. I never call her Victoria. Victoria got to chose them. Mrs. Carrington chose to... <laughs> Oh, now, God, my needles come out. Oh, Sorry. no, that was nearly a swear word then. While you sort that out, I'll just go through the bundles we've got available here. So I'll do the cushion first. Su Suzanne, we'll do, I'll do, was it the tote bag she wanted to look at? Yeah, I'll do the tote bags in a minute. So the one that um, Victoria Carrington is using at the moment in the dis demonstration is the blue. So you get half a metre of co cadet, 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 cadet. Then you get a fat quarter of the blue flowers. Oh, hang on, I'll wait for you. Fat quarter of the flowers on pale blue. Fat quarter of those lovely, I don't know what those flowers they are. They're like what flowers, you say? Oh, they don't have the name on just a number. I forget, Lewis and Irene don't do names, so they? Yeah, copper metallic on that one. And then you've got your copper metallic pears. $24.99. 12 in basket. You need to check out. You need to check out. You need to check out. Right? That's the blue version that Victoria's using at the moment. If you could see her struggling. <laughs> see, I'll get the floor managers come in and help you. Yeah. yeah. And then this one here, we've got half a metre of your lovely soft pink. Then you get a fat quarter of the beautiful florals. Uh, that one there, I don't know what they um. No. See, cat's seeing cat's eyes on there. I'm not at all. Then we've got that love, this beautiful background fabric. Stunning, isn't it? And then that one there. So you get four fat quarters, half metre of the pink, plus the instructions, $24.99. And that's what you can make. Are you all right over there? No. No, she needs one with the walking foot if you've um, got the machine over. Righty-ho. Then the far. bundles for the bag. Now, this is, Suzanne wants to see these, these three different ones. Starting with the blue, blue is the most popular, so you get half a metre of your cadet, cadet or cadet. You get fat quarter, you're right over there now, fat quarter of the blue, fat quarter of the pears, and a fat, the three fat quarters in these, 22 99 plus the instructions. So that's the blue one, the most popular one so far. Then I'm going to do the teal one. I love this one. So you get your um, vanilla or cream. I'm not quite sure which way around it is, but you get that one. They've called this red for some reason. Okay, so you've got it in teal, beautiful teal there. Then you have the cream with the orange flowers. And then you have the orange with the pears. There's no red in there with gold. That's not got copper, that's got gold on that one. And that's the, the colourway of blue, but that's what you're making. Oh, cream, the backing is cream. 
and the instructions. 24, 22, 99, 22, 99. It's very good, that. And then, oh, I've, and I've also I've got the instructions on the own. I forgot to do that with the cushion. I'll do that in a minute. So here we go. Here's the third colorway, Suzanne. Now, they're called this pink because you get the soft pink half a metre for your background. Then you've got your lovely um, peacocks. Do you know why Christine loves this? Because she, um, when we did Lewis Naomi Peacocks years ago, so of course she made a lovely quilt out of it. There's your three colours, your soft pink plus your instructions. 22.99. You do need to check out though, you do need to start checking out. Right, okay, here's the pattern on its own for the tote bag. Thirty left. Oh, the won't. There's not thirty left. There'll be twenty left. When you've checked out, there'll be twenty left. We had lots of those, didn't we, Victoria Carrington? She's nodding. Had to pack them in their bags. She had to pack. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, but it's really impossible to try and put them in. As, do the bags have a little thing you slide off? Because yeah. if I open that and then try and get patterns back in, I know, it's impossible, sorry. isn't it? That's what children are for. They'll pack envelopes. Okay, and then the instructions are going for the cushion. Cushion. They get fed and got a roof over the head. <laughs> Nine ninety nine, a posh roof over the head, I believe. Nine ninety nine. Makes it sound like I've said that now. No, no, you haven't <laughs> said that. It was Elliot that said where Victoria's recently moved, you see, and, and Elliot went, Where have you moved to? And she said, Where I'm not gonna say. And he went, Oh, it's right posh there. It's right expensive there. <laughs> Cat's now not wants the cat now wants to know where you live. You're nowhere near you, Cat, don't worry. Cat's got a new windows fitted, everyone. Well, no, it's the front door that the sound's coming through, not the windows. Right, okay, so we've, we've done the prairie Okay, points. yeah, so I've tacked those on. Yeah. Panic over. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take my next row with my flowers pointing up this time, flip it down, and then stitch the quarter inch again Lovely. and then after you've done that then you're just carrying on doing exactly the same as you've done so the line of top stitching is almost like a quilting line yeah. isn't it and you can you can do um and then what i'd do is then if you wanted to you could al always put additional lines of stitching in as well of course and um, to make it a bit more quilted it's like this just gives you a basis and then you can just do what you want with it then Hi, John and Victoria, love time. Hannah is right about the cat's eye. Cat, it's not Hannah, it's cat, my love. Cat's eye effect on the fabric, I can see it as well. Love cats from Elaine. Oh, Elaine, you'd love my new cats. Um, and also, cat has messaged in, not that cat, saying, I taught my husband this technique to produce 28 golden orange tabards for the finale wow. of the panto. He had never stitched before, there you bless go. him. Hmm? Brilliant. Just shows how easy it is, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, no, you're saying men aren't clever now. No, I'm not saying, saying that. That he'd <laughs> never done it before. Yeah, That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So you just then continue that. So so that's that one. Okay. okay. And then you just, have you put an envelope so back on the back of it? Then I've done an envelope back out of the cadet. We, <laughs> is it cadet? Cadet. Cadet blue. So I've just hemmed one. Sorry, cat was putting me off. I've just hemmed one edge a quarter of an inch well, yeah it's not very clear is it so i've just turned that over twice and then stitch across that and that will be the bottom one and then i've just made a bit of binding from the binding so i chose to use the um this fabric for the binding with the blue kit right i mean you don't you don't necessarily have to use that you can keep that for something else or use that as the back of the cushion if you yeah. wanted just double check the sizes before you start cutting anything and then i just folded those edges into the center and stitch that along there once i've done my prairie points in exactly the same way i've done on the front lisa lamb says totally agree that kids are great for helping at hem lending a hand i give mabel a fiver to spend in the toy shop for helping me pack kits she loves it she's generous mm. those children used to love going up the chimneys <laughs> same thing what? back in my day we used to have to go up a chimney right we're moving now on to the bag right Let's shift this off. No, this lovely. We haven't seen anything in this colourway. Look, they've called now. Have they called it red on this one as well? They have looked red. 
I don't know why they've called it red. Okay. Right, go on. Okay. So this is done in exactly the same way, technique, as we've done the cushion. But obviously I've given you the different sizes in, in here. And um, so again, you've got the table to put your fabric. Oh, yeah, because it might be a different fabric. Yeah, yeah, and I've gone through all the instructions step by step, showing you how to make the handles and constructing it as well. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is what you'll end up with. So you cut your bosal to the size it says in the pattern uh -huh. and then just do your strips as we did right, before. Right, now, hang on. Our bosal cat is one-sided adhesive, isn't it? You do, do you need to use it? You don't use no. the adhesive, so be careful when you're ironing it because you don't want things to stick to the... I'm just trying to think of the bosal. Which way would you do it if you've got one-sided bosal? You'd want the sticky to be underneath the fabric, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd probably have it up, wouldn't you? But yes, you just have yes. to be careful that when you're pressing it, your you iron doesn't yes, exactly. touch that. Otherwise, exactly. you'll end up with a sticky iron. We've got sewing on the website if you want sewing on the website. Okay. Yeah. And then, so after that, what I did is, um, so you cut out a two-inch Oh, it's very close to the, um, corner. to the edge of the orange, isn't it? Yeah, so I just left it as a, so you've got your... Hang on, you hold it still. <laughs> you hold it still, Elliot will find you. Okay. You hold it still. You can't so see Elliot's on the camera. That's moving what your bum around, looks yeah. like. So that fabric is the same as your handles. Yeah. Yeah. So it does go over my shoulder. Yeah, watch that eye. If you want, um, you could always extend the handle slightly if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Um, so we're going to cut the, if I cut the two inch. No, it's not just the bottom cap because it, you'll see it because it's part of the thing. It's not a separate bottom look. It's part of the pattern that cats worried that you'd use Lewis and Irene fabric for the bottom of the bag that nobody will see. And you could have used calico or something for that. Well, says. you could have. It's, there's not a lot of it, though, is there? I'm just going to use this pen, which I shouldn't be using. I can't find the other one. So what am I doing? Two inch. Two inch. That's that. Lots of new customers checking out the bag today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Always lovely to see you. I'll just cut that out of there. Yeah. I don't really do bags, do I? No. So. Even I could do this, it was easy. <laughs> um, and with this one, yeah. you want to quilt it before you obviously stitch it to the other side. Yeah. Um, so all I've done on this one is just um, quilt it across the cream bit just to give it a bit of interest. But and that's then, gone through the bows all and everything. Yeah, yeah, it? easy. And then on this one that I made as the original sample, um, I've just I've Turn quilted it, it all. That's it, Pat. I've quilted it all across. In oh, that's that ballerina fabric I was talking yeah, about earlier. Yeah. yeah. So no, um, we haven't got that. That's the, the original no, I was just one that showing Victoria you the made to make the pattern and everything. Yeah. So that's the one in the. But there's buttons the on pattern. that one as well. Yeah. She loves a button. I love she? buttons. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So then you take your two pieces, which are exactly the same. Yeah. And you put them right sides together. Yeah. Then what you want to make sure is that you are matching up your seams here. So. Oh, yes, because the stripe's going to go all the way around the bag, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And then I'm going to sew a generous quarter of an inch seam through from everything, there to there. Through all the bosal and everything. Yeah. And I'm going to just back, back stitch at the beginning and end. Right, you have. So uh, foot helps yeah, I was just about to say that. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I meant I agreed with you. 
get your children to do your nails as well before you come in. <laughs> Looks like they've done them. <laughs> yeah, they look lovely. <laughs> Thank you. It's normally the week before I come on here, I think, oh, my nails look terrible, stop biting them. Oh. Okay, and again, I'm going to do exactly the same there and there. Brilliant. Just do that quickly. Mm -hmm. Crazy Lorraine says, this bag is ideal for quick gifts. It is indeed. Yeah. Or if you've got a craft stall or something like that. A what stall? A craft stall. Yeah. You could make them for that. Oh, now, do you have an angel policy on your patterns? Um, I don't. If, if you've got, if, like, if you started mass producing them, which you, wouldn't, which you wouldn't, then that wouldn't be great. But if you've got, like, a craft stall or whatever and you want to make some for that, I'm absolutely fine with that. Perfect, which is like to ask. Yeah. Lovely demo, Victoria. Thank you. Uh, says Glynis, but I've got to go now, she Aww. says. Uh, I'll watch on Catch Up later. Aww. Thank you, John and crew, for a lovely show. Our pleasure, Glynis. What we're here for, my love. Elliot's obviously directing a completely different show. So then what I'm going to do, so I've got two holes in the bottom. Yeah. And then I'm going to fold those Over. together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to nest the seams so that one seam goes one way and the other goes the other way. Mm -hmm. So they sit nicely together. Okay, and I'll just pin that, I think. Yes, we're wondering where, who was the first person who's nesting, <laughs> yeah. nesting seam? I don't know why it's called nesting. Really, um, you're not nesting, are you? I've got this very expensive nesting box in my garden, and the birds have never gone in Aww. it. And I've got a hedgehog hotel that the hedgehogs have Aww. never gone in. <laughs> now they've got to put holes in the fences so they can come through. Well, I tried to attack hedgehogs, and they said no. We had some hedgehogs and um, one gave birth in the front, on the front drive and it had like loads of little babies Aww. and they all kept trying to go out the end of the drive onto the road. So we kept running round there and putting them back up, but Aww. they don't like being together, do they? They're, they're very solitary. What, even the babies? Well, the um, hedgehog parents aren't meant to be very good and they just like abandon them immediately. Oh. So they were all trying to clear off yeah. and we were the putting them way. back. You should put them in the fit back garden. Yeah. Is this before you moved to the posh area? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to move with you. To the, we're going with you to the posh area. Oh, well, I've got nothing, but apparently they're not very prevalent where I live. Oh. But never mind, it looks nice in the garden. You're doing your bit, aren't you? Mm? Also, now I've got my cats. Once I let them oh, out, yeah. they're not going to want to have cats no. in the garden, are they? So I'm just doing, and with the um, with these corners, you might just want to go over them a couple of times. Yeah. Just to secure them. But it's really easy. Like it does feel quite thick, but it goes through really easily because it's sort of a foam, isn't it, rather than yeah. anything solid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then you then turn that right side out. Linda's messaged in, Hi, super Linda. demonstration with Victoria, Thank very you. informative. Can I say I really like your shirt, John? You can't say it, but you can. No, no, <laughs> shall I tell you very quickly, while well, Victoria's just turning that through. You know I get my <clears> shirts <throat> from Claudio Lugley regularly, and then I found another place to get some shirts, and then I saw these on my Facebook page. Oh, I'll order some of those. I ordered some, <clears throat> and then uh, they sent me a message to go back saying the blue patchwork one isn't available, choose another one. So I chose another one. Then when they returned, replied to me, it was all in Chinese. There was no English or anything. And I thought, oh, is it going to be like my story? Uh, not my story, my toilet brush story. Am I never going to get them? Or they get... Anyway, they arrived just there. All of them except the one that I swapped for. Anyway, they're really lovely cotton and everything. 
I know. Wait till you see. I've got loads. They all look like uh, 1970s caravan curtain fabric. Uh, love to watch a left-handed sewer. You ah. just dropped something on the floor. Uh, does Victoria have any problems being a lefty? Well, does she have any problems full <laughs> stop? <laughs> <laughs> we have only got 10 minutes. Left, <laughs> <don't we? laughs> um, Do you have no, any not being really. Lefty? Because I, I, I can't use left-handed scissors. I can only use right-handed scissors. It's really funny because Karen, who works for uh, uh, Fiskars, said even though they sell left-handed scissors, she's left-handed, but she always learned yeah. how to use right because they, they weren't available. Yeah. So. But I think because there are so many people who are left-handed, they've kind of taken that into because you can reverse the um, blades on your rotary right. cutter yeah, and yeah, everything, yeah, exactly. so you're sorted, yeah. aren't you, really? Right, OK, so with the lining, I've done exactly the same as I did stitching that together, but I just left a little gap, in the bottom, a little space yep. in the bottom. And then again, I box the corners on that as well. Right, so to make the handles, you take your strip of fabric, uh -huh. which is the width of, you want to keep this as long as possible. Um, so, um, width of your fat that's, quarter. Yeah, width of fat quarter, that's what I was trying to think of. Yep. And then you take your, I had a strip of um, that bosal. bosal. Where is so, that? I don't know, I've lost it. <sighs> so you put that down one of the strips, one of the folds there. So I've literally just folded it into the center. Yeah. And then you fold it up like that. And then you just stitch. I so now your bosal stitches. is only the size of the finished width. It's not the, it's not the whole width of the fabric, is it? No, it's yeah. just that little, I think it's one inch. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's slightly smaller than the, um, than the pressed yeah. fabric. And then you just stitch it across four times just to make it okay. nice and quilted. Mm -hmm. And then you just trim your ends down. So try and take as little as possible off the length because uh -huh. it is only a fat quarter width, but. But like you say, there's quite a lot of fabric left over. Or is there on this as well? Because <coughs> it was there, on the other one you had lots left over. Yeah, there is, yeah there is some left. So you can make scrappy yeah, you could do a scrappy. If you want longer strips. Things, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what you do then is you make a mark. I've told you this in the pattern anyway. Um, yeah. Like that. And then, now I said pin it on the instructions, but then I realised that when I pulled it through, I was like stabbing myself with a pin. So I was like, why didn't I just say tack it on? Yeah. So tack it on. That? I don't know. <clears throat> Probably been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you repeat that I on the back. I didn't say that, folks. <laughs> and then you just need to make sure then that you line up your yeah, other handle on the, the back. Oh, I'm pushed for time, aren't I? Yeah. <sighs> Okay, and then you take your bag and leave it like that. Uh huh. And then you've got your lining still inside out. So you're you're saying tack across them, don't leave them pinned. Yes, yeah. <coughs> Otherwise, yeah. you can stab yourself when you're trying to turn it through. Uh -huh. Put your bag right side out against the right side of the lining. Yep. Yeah. Get in. And then you're going to stitch. So make sure your handles are in nicely. Yeah. And then you're just going to stitch around the top. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have time to do that. Yeah, you can because can, you can I? Stitch. No, no, because what I'll do is I'll re while you're stitching because it's just a, okay. a straight line of stitching all yeah. round it, isn't yeah. it? Right. Let me just do the it recap. It won't be very good. Doing that then. <coughs> so the blue bag first, which is the one that's on the shelf behind Victoria. So you get the instructions. You get half a metre of cadet blue. You get a fat quarter of the flowers, a fat quarter of the pears, and a fat quarter of the peacocks. £22.99. Lovely. That's the most popular. That is the most popular. Then we have the one that they've called red, which is your cream uh, like, um, cotton. Then you've got your teal with gold flowers. You've got your like snake head fabric there and you've got your pears and gold. Fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, half a metre pattern. That one's about to be the same amount gone as the blue ones. 
That's the one Victoria's working with. And then last but not least is the pink. So you get half a metre of the pale pink, the instructions, you get the um, lovely peacock fabric, you get the cat's eyes fabric, and you get the little flower fabric. Fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, half a metre instructions. £22.99, and pence. instructions on their own. Only 15 left. And how many in baskets? Oh, right, and there are 13 in baskets. So really, if they all check out, there's only two left. If you're thinking, I'll get that. I'll just hike up my trousers. Oh, message morning. Can you tell me what makes this bag stand up, please? Looking forward to seeing more 70 shirts from Annette. Annette, it's Bozal. I'll show it to you, I'll show it to you now before we move on to the cushion. Now, this one, this one has got one-sided sticky, and it's 11 99 half meter. If you go to the website, the sew-in, which I think would be better, then you haven't got to worry about where's the glue going to go and where's the glue not going to go. So buy the sewing one from the website or you can buy this one here. Now it's sold by the half metre. You can have like off the roll. So you can, if you want three metres, you can get three metres. But we sell it in half metre increments. And then very quickly, the two cushions. I've got the pink cushion here. What you get with the cushions, you get the instructions, you get half metre of the pale pink, fat quarter of the flowers, fat quarter of the cat's eyes, fat quarter of the peacock, fat quarter of the cat's eyes on, on the pink, plus the instructions, 24 99 And then the blue version, half a metre of cadet, half, uh, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, 24 99 and instructions. Instructions on their own. $9.99. Also very, very popular. Which is the most popular of those two colourways? Blue's in the lead of those two as well. By two. By two. There you go. $9.99 stitch and flip cushion instructions. Right, now's the time to be checking out because we're going to go. Let's have a look at the finished thing. Ta da! Oh, it's lovely in that colourway. So then you just want to just top stitch around the edge to keep the lining down. Yeah, of course. And buttons to go on your prairie points if you want buttons. But personally. <laughs> oh, what? What, what, what? In the next hour, just step to, step to one side, girl. Step to one side. See the table runner? Move the bag, move the bag, move the bag. Oh, sorry. Not you. You're, I'm not putting you in old bag. <laughs> sorry. You see that bag. table runner? There's only 13 left. And there is another colourway. Yeah. And there's only 16 the other colour. What colour is the other one? Pink. Pink, right? You don't have to make a table runner. You could be like me and hate a table runner. You can make a bed runner or you can make three cushions. Three cushions you can make out of that. It's lovely, isn't it? That's not till the next hour. After the break, Jules is up now. I need to tell you, the Gertrude jacket is always selling fast. And it goes up again to a brilliant size. We will see you back here in four minutes with Jules to make the Gertrude jacket. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. 
I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Did you know that Gertrude is from Hamlet and is in fact Hamlet's mother and wife to the former King Hamlet who only appears as a ghostly apparition in the play? Well, there's nothing ghostly about this pattern. Jules is back. Now, I need to warn you, these are selling already. These are going already. The Gertrude, I love this jacket. I think it's fantastic. Right, shall we have a look at the picture of it, first of all? Here it is, out in the field. And that's it made in the denim. I think it's lovely because it's like a very contemporary uh, take on a classic. That's where I live near there. That's near where I live. That's the countryside I live in. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, isn't it lovely? Gorgeous. Uh, so now I've got it in two sizes again. It goes from a 6 to a 34. S goes to a size 34. So this one here is 6 to 18. Oh, they've done it wrong again. 18. 6 to 18 this one goes to, not 6 to 20. That's our, that's our bad, we've written it wrong. 6 to 18 is this one. Very popular, very, very popular already. So please, be, I think it's adorable. Uh, can I just ask a quick question? That's obviously a patch pocket. Yeah. I could just see stitching on that side. It's because it's a secret one. Oh, inside pocket. Can you see, do that again, oh, Elliot, let's have a look again. Hang on, wait, Elliot, cut to you. There we go. Look, inside. Where, where, where? Secret that. pocket inside. So can you see the stitching on the outside? Now, because I've stitched black on black, you can't oh. necessarily. But it's a little bit more visible if you use a paler colour. But you see, if I'd made yours, I think I'd have stitched it in the orange and still had the, like a three yeah. sides. It would just be something a little bit different, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. A pocket that's not a pocket. Anyway, that's the size 6 to 18. Very, very, very popular. Right? We also have it in the 20 to 34. I was going to do a nice effect then, an Elliot cutaway. 20 to 34, that one. Beginner plus. 
We love it. We love this jacket. And now, hang on, begin the plus, which means it's simple again. It's actually really straightforward, I know. It, people look at patterns and think, oh, jacket. Yeah. But actually, it's just straight sewing. And it's there's not lined, nothing. is it? No, so it's not lined. So there's no lined. problem about lining it no, or anything like that. it's actually really straightforward. So what I love is you've got, so in the picture, that was in blue denim. You've got it in a black denim. Yeah. And then you've also done it in like a cotton twill as well. Yeah, yeah. We've actually got the heavy, the heavy linen as well today, which, be beautiful. which is going to yeah. look gorgeous in it as well, as well as the denim. So I'll show you those in a second. But it's very, very kind of versatile. I just think it's, and it's simple. What, you know, you've got two scissors here. Yeah. What's the highest scissor rate that you go up to? Then? Three. Oh, so. At the moment. Yeah. Yes. So there you so, go. Yeah. I mean, when you put clothes together, they don't have to be complicated. No. No, not at all. I mean, if you look at the stuff that you buy in the shops, it's really straightforward. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be hugely complicated no. unless you want to go down that route. Yeah. But, there's, yeah. There's a queue on the phone lines. There's a queue on the phone lines now. So uh, they will get to you, I promise. I promise, 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 they will get to you. Right, let me take you through some fabrics then. So look. Oh, no. Oh, OK. I'm going to do the denims first because I think more people will make this out of the denim. Now, We've got three metre bundles of the denim and four metre bundles of the linen. That's because the linen is slightly narrower than the, than the, the thing. But you will have fabric left over. Uh, you, if you make, so you can make any, all, right up to a size 34 oh, yeah. with the three metres. Yeah. With the three metres, you go right up to, to a, so you'll have, you only need three metres basically when the fabric's this wide. The linen is slightly narrow, not much, so you will have some left over, but enough to make like a pouch or a little bag or a tote bag or something like that. £28.99. Sorry, I've just put that one straight in because that's the medium blue. What I was going to do is I was going to show you here are the three different colour blues. Now, this isn't the same weight as the one we had in the early bird. This is your proper denim weight, this one, your eight ounce denim weight, this one. So that's the one we're doing. But I just want to show you all three for the three different colours. So that's the medium colour. It's not anything to do with the weight. It's the colour. So that's the medium one there. You get three metres. It's really, really. This, we, we, we buy this, we sell it. We buy this, we sell it. We buy this, we sell it. Because we can make so much with it. Whether you're making aprons, jackets, dresses, all sorts of things, jeans. And you get three metres in one piece for twenty eight ninety nine. Remember, if you buy two, they don't, they're already cut. So you won't get, you'll get six metres, but it will be in two, three metre pieces. And remember, it doesn't include the pattern, just the fabric. Right, so that's the medium colour. Then we've got the light blue denim. I sort of think it sort of takes you through the eras, doesn't it? Sort of 70s, 80s and 90s, that kind of look. <laughs> uh, twenty eight ninety nine. this is the light blue one. Gorgeous. This one would look nice if you're going to embroider. Actually, if you got Jules's book earlier, there was a uh, a neckline, but you could use that for putting yeah. just on your pocket or something, like just through the stitches on the pocket. Because yeah. I think a denim that colour looks lovely with a bit of embroidery on it as well. Gorgeous. And then we've also got the dark one, which is my favourite. Oh, oh, no, yours is even I've dark. Got black. Yours, yeah. Oh, yours is black. It was the one in the picture that was this one, wasn't mm. it? Beautiful, twenty eight ninety nine. In the last hour, if you want to do the top stitching on this, in the traditional red or the, the gold or whatever, we've got those coming up in the last hour. Gorgeous. Now, uh, now the linen, which th this isn't... Uh, Jules was using linen in her last hour. This isn't the same linen. Th that linen was like enzyme wash linen, was it? Yeah, the one you had yeah. earlier. This is the heavy, this is the... Now, when they bring this out, we normally have it in the blue, the lavender, the grey, and another... I've not seen these three colours before. Scarlet. Now, can you imagine? Now, the jacket will be a bit softer in this, mm. won't it? It's a still a good sturdy, because if you remember when Mark... Uh, Age ago did a denim jacket. He did his in a lilac version of this, which I noticed Clive's wearing a lot on Instagram just recently. But so it'll make this jacket beautifully, but it will be a slightly lighter weight. It won't be quite so structured as the denim, but it's going to look beautiful, isn't it? Linen in scarlet. I've not seen this one. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it from there. It's got an actual texture in it. No, it's not. A, I wouldn't call it a slub. It's a proper texture in this one. The slub is where every now and then you get a little. Um, 
what, 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 slow. It's like a, li- like a fat bit. A little fat bit, yeah. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> on the thread. <laughs> yeah, a little John every now and then in it. <laughs> but this one's actually got a texture woven into it. So that's forty one ninety nine. that one. Then we've got it in this, I presume this is called Olive. Oh, they've called it Khaki. Ooh, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah, lovely cordroy. It'd be nice if we it did would, cordroy yeah. in this one, yeah. Uh, 41 99 But once you've got the pa- pattern, you can make it in whatever you want. It's your choice, isn't it? Now, to me, that looks like it's got different coloured greens running through it. It's lovely, but I would call it Nocicelli te- Olive, I would call that. That's lovely. <laughs> Not khaki. And then, now this one's, you're going to be brave if you're going to wear this. I'll be totally honest with you. It's the same fabric, right? Oh, imagine, imagine if you had a, a, a contemporary casual wedding and the bride wore this, like this jacket, like wore oh, the dress really underneath cool. in like a little soft fabric and then a jacket made out of this. Yeah, that would look great. Be beautiful. But, but for everyday life, I'd spill, I'd wear this and I'd, it would be dirty by the time I got to the car. It would, it would be as simple as that. But it's lovely, it's gorgeous. 41 99 for four metres. They've called it ivory. It is, yeah, it's off-white, but it's, it's very nice. Actually, now, I, I need to say something. The weight of this one is much lighter than the weight of this one. So uh, just be aware, just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. Right, okay. I won't, oh, I'll, I'll do the jeans buttons as well. Now, do I, need a, do I need a tool to put these on, or do I just put these on by hand? But anyway, so, um, jeans buttons. Maybe for down the front. Get eight of them in there. You only need one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it Seven. Seven. <laughs> oh, we left the cuffs, cuffs off, yeah. Oh, well, there's eight in there, so you've got a spare one. That's good. Perfect. One to practice on. Two ninety-nine. Right, so what... Are, I love this. Uh, can you tell? I, love, I think it's such a gorgeous <laughs> design, this, because it's so simple, but it, it, you can dress it up, dress I it know, down, look yeah. at all the different colours. You know, kind of, you made it corduroy, denim, the, 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 the linen, anything, the, the twill or the drill yeah. or whatever. It's just going to... I just think it's lovely, and you can make it into whatever you want to make it into. Absolutely, can't you really? yeah. I love it. Um, right, so what are you going to show us? So... It's a very straightforward make. Now, I know people get a bit freaked out by collars, yeah. but actually it's a really simple one. But today what I thought I would look at, <laughs> she says, is, undo my, is the cuff. Because that has got a little bit of top stitching on it as okay. well. Okay, and it also goes, it, it, there's it a goes, little kind of, overlap of the yeah. cuff and everything there. So people kind of think, oh, how did, it's very, very easy and straightforward. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. If anybody's got any questions about the pocket or the collar, Absolutely. Mess, message in yeah. and we'll, an, we'll answer it live. We might not demo it, but we'll answer it live. But I can see from here, it, it's actually, don't be frightened by that no. collar because it literally is just a, sta- a collar that goes on to the revere, isn't yeah, it? So. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, right, so let's so, go with the cuff then. So we've got, now the sleeve has got two pieces, right. which again gives it a really nice shape. So what I've done is I've literally, the under sleeve, I've attached to the upper sleeve. Right. Can I just ask what you've made yours out of? Is this just This calico? is just cotton drill. Oh, cotton drill, cotton drill. Yeah, okay. cotton drill. So it's kind of like jeans weight, but it just hasn't been dyed. Yeah, yeah. So it's a natural colour. Okay. Now, you can see on here, she says taking that big fat thread off, yeah. that there is a step. So the little placket pieces on the sleeve is slightly uneven. So it's a slightly shorter one on the upper sleeve right. and a longer one on the under sleeve. Right. So what I've done, there is a dot here just on the corner. So I've stitched from the sleeve head down yeah. to the dot, reversed and just secured that okay. piece. I've then snipped in so that I've got that little placket bit is completely free. Okay. And that means then I can just overlock and neaten that seam off. Brilliant. Where does, can I just ask, where, just turn, can you show, turn around something, just shows where, because have you top stitched that seam? Yes. Look, it just runs down the back. Yeah. I, so it oh, back and how, look how it matches to the, it's lovely how it creates that angular line on the back of the jacket there as well it's almost like someone's design exactly it, it? Really? exactly i wasn't being no, no, i wasn't no. being facetious no, 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 i just no. think it's, yeah, it's, it's little yeah. attention detail like that's nothing difficult no it isn't difficult but it just makes the difference between it looking yeah. like a homemade denim jacket and one that you bought from a designer range because yeah. imagine if you bought that 
from a, on the designer range yeah. is how much it's going to cost you. Yeah. The only thing I will say is if you're working with denim or a heavier fabric, just make sure that you've got the right needle in your machine. Oh, okay. So what, what would you suggest then? I would suggest something heavier like a 90 or a specific jeans okay. needle. If you've got Is a 90 40? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've got them in the last hour, but I'll double check. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you're working with top stitching thread, I'd use a top stitching needle as well. Yes, because it's bigger for the for the thread. Yeah, to go it does through, make it much yeah. easier. Yeah, would bit, you use the top stitching thread to stitch it together with, no, or no, no, just no. for the top stitching? Just for the top stitching. Yeah. yeah, and you don't need to have top stitching thread on the bobbin either. You just have normal sewing thread on the bobbin. Perfect. And just have your top stitching thread on, on the, top. the top. Oh, marvelous! Look at that. They're being delivered to the desk as we speak. Okay, perfect. So, and I'm going to leave my little overlocking tail here because we're going to tuck it inside the placket just to neaten everything off. Oh, lovely. So we don't if I haven't have, got an overlocker... You could just zigzag it or use a mock overlock on your yeah. normal sewing machine. Yeah, or buy fine. one for me in the next hour. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, so that needs to get pressed. Let me get my little pressing board. Oh, yes. So Question. that... No, no, keep your questions coming in. Jules loves lovely. it. Would the linen be okay for casual trousers or paper bag top trousers? Casual trousers, oh, yes. yes. I don't think for paper bag... It might paper be a bit bag. stiff, but I don't know. What do you think? Uh, well, I'm not sure if it would have enough. Would that have enough? But hang on, let me read it properly. Would the linen be okay? For, definitely be lovely for casual trousers. For, uh, and those palazzo pants in Jules's book, it'd be gorgeous. Yeah, for those, it? yeah. Slightly heavier than a normal linen. But is, isn't a paper bag top trouser one where you do box pleats the wrong way around it and a bit stands up? Yeah. Uh, if you'd, have to inter, you'd have to interface it because, look, if you box pleat it like that, you'd have to interface the tops. Oh, actually, it's quite nice. It might look quite nice because you're going to double it over anyway. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So yes, it would work, but it won't. It won't be stiff like a crisp box pleat. It'll be more of a, a, a soft box pleat, but it would look very nice. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sorry. Cool. So I've pressed it yep. now. Now there's a lot of pressing in this because mm -hmm. that does make sure that you're getting everything in the right place. Yeah. So it actually makes your sewing a lot easier. I, I was always taught, because obviously I came, come from a dressmaking background, is you press always. Everything yeah. gets pressed after yeah. every... Press as you yeah, go, yeah. definitely. So I've pressed the seam allowance towards the bigger part, the upper sleeve. Right. And that means that we can fold the placket into the right position to start off with. Right. So if I've tucked that up that way, I can then fold that underneath. So we've got the larger piece, which is the upper sleeve, uh -huh. over the top. There's a little notch at the bottom, so you want to make sure that you include that because that's going to tell you how far you want to fold it over. So I'm going to fold it on my little notch there uh -huh. and then just let everything else tuck under. So I've created that first part of the placket. Brilliant. More than half the stock of the 6 to 18 has gone already. There's a queue on the phone lines. There we go. So that now, that kind of, that outer edge just runs all the way through. Okay. Which is nice. We don't know to top stitching yet then? Not yet, okay. but we will do. Yeah. It's easier to press it all first and then do your top stitching. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move that underneath one out the way to start off with. Uh -huh. What I want to do is to tuck under what's left. So there are measurements, I think with press under, is it 1.2 and then another 1.2? Right. Off the top of my head. Uh -huh. But what we want is for it to kind of be the same width as your seam allowance. Oh, yes, I see. Yeah. And we can then tuck that little bit of overlocking thread underneath. So that keeps it all nice Ooh. and neat. And don't panic that you've got two raw edges don't worry, butting don't, up together there. We're going we're gonna to sort that out afterwards. Uh -huh. There we go. So we're pressing that in place. So now we can deal with the underneath bit. Uh -huh. Now it's not going to sit completely flat. What we want to do, there's another notch in the edge. Uh -huh. We're going to bring that over. Oh. So it's in line because that seam is a slight curve oh, because it goes right. over the curve yes, of your of arm. Course. So I'm going to just press that first so don't worry about the rest of your sleeve not sitting completely flat it's not supposed to right yeah because you'd automatically want press it flat wouldn't you think it yes. has to be flat yeah yeah so i'm going to press under 
and then press under again. So basically, my little placket pieces are lying straight on top uh -huh. of each other. And we're just going to keep that. I might run out of water. Never mind. Is it run out of water? Yeah, it's okay. It's like there's a little jug. It's like jug oh, that water in it. Oh, it has. Look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Marvellous. I'm just going to top up quickly because with this kind of fabric, steam is really important. Of course, yeah. So you just want to make sure. Now, if you've got a clapper. Oh, yes, and you need to go on the charge. I think the base has come off. You need to put it on the charger to charge it up. Oh, it? okay. Because that Victoria took it off for you. There we go. So, if you've got a clapper as well. Oh, we've got that coming up in the next hour. There you go. There Those you go. are brilliant, especially if you're working with slightly heavier fabrics. Yeah. You could have your clapper to hand. Uh -huh. Do your bit of, oh, that's better. A little bit of a steam going on. Yeah, you keep going. And then you can put your clapper straight on top and that will set. Oh, marvellous, thank you. Oh, look at that, all the gadgets. So then, yeah, your clapper will go on the top, that's holding everything in place and it's going to really set the press so you get nice sharp creases, which is It's brilliant. nice to see because we only ever see the clapper on when I do a tool show and I have a piece of denim and I show how to do it, but it's actually I know, being used in situ actually here. Actually being yeah. used, yeah. So we've pressed all of the placket pieces in place. Uh -huh. So now we can do some top stitching. Okay. Now it's up to you. Well, you don't even have to, you don't have to do top stitching if you don't want to, but it's a really nice way of adding a bit of extra detail. Definitely. So I've got top stitching thread on my machine. If you're not completely happy doing top stitching, because it does need to be. Yes, it needs right, to be. Right. There are a couple of machine feet that you can use that will help. Oh, are there? So we've got, now I didn't know whether they were going to fit on this machine, but I've just bought these in. No, no, that's fine. So I've got my. Um, blind hem foot. Oh, but you can get these from Elna though to yeah, fit. They, will they, fit. they won't yeah. come with the machine. Yeah. No. And this is my stitch in the ditch foot. Ah. Oh. So because they've got those little fins, you can use those when you're top stitching along the edge of your seam. Just Oops. pull it in a bit. Brilliant. There we go, yep. like that. So you've got your fin running along the edge of the gap of yep. your seam line here, and then you can just swing your needle into position. To exactly where you so want you're, it. So you're going in exactly the right place, and then that's just going to run along your seam. You're going to get beautifully finished Because it way. puts lots of people off, doesn't it, top I stitching? Know, I think know. I'm going to, especially when it's obvious jacket, like that. Yeah. It's, if you see a wobble, you'll see a wobble sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. The other way to do it is to use another, so if you've just got a normal foot like this, just find a point, so you could run the edge of the foot along the edge of the uh, pocket, yeah. and again, just swing your mm. needle into position. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of machines come easier. with though, yeah, those these feet, if you haven't got one, things. you can buy them from Elna. Yeah. yeah, so those are really helpful. So I'm going to just top stitch all the way along my sleeve. Now, because we've got that little kind of gap in the corner there, I'm going to just move that out of the way, Right. so we don't top stitch that bit. So I'm just going to pin that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now, if you feel happier pinning, then do. I'm not going to worry because I know I've pressed it in place. Yeah. So I want to top stitch right along that edge as f all the way right up to the top of the sleeve head. So I'm going to use a slightly longer than normal stitch because we're top stitching and we want to see it. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'm going to do is to hold my threads at the back because I don't want them to get sucked down inside the machine. Of course, yeah. There we go. Oh, Kate's messaged in. Uh, what a treat to have Jules today. Loving everything about her sh the show. Her oh. demo is very informative. Loving the new shirt, John. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. That's good. So on here, I'm just eyeballing it. Yeah. But I've got a tiny little, where the, the gap in the foot is, I've got one side of the gap that I'm just running along the edge of the, of the seam. Okay, perfect. And that's just giving me my position. Lovely. And that's oh, have you got an angel policy? Hang on. Morning all, what's the angel policy on clothing patterns, please? Not just Jules, but also on mainstream ones. Love Jules's patterns and have lots from Sheena. Um, so do you mind people making them for profit or do they only make them for their own personal use? We prefer people to only make them for themselves because that's why we make our patterns. Yes. No, no, no. It's fine. I, everyone has, everyone yeah. has, uh, especially with fashion, you do need to be, there's more 
it, the fashion world is much stricter about angel policy. So yeah, make it for yourself and make it for your friends, but don't don't sell it on. Don't sell it on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look, my because I'm doing it on live telly. Of course, is it my wobbled? sewings. My sewings wobbled. Oh, honestly. But don't look at that. That's is okay. there such thing as a top stitching foot for your sewing machine? Do, do only those two. I, I've never heard of top stitching no, foot. You could I use mean, the two that you've just shown. Yeah, you, there is an open toe appliqué foot, isn't there? Yes, so there that is, might yeah. be easier. I don't know. Well, only because you can see, see right into it, but then you've got less to line up. Yeah. With that yeah. one, yeah. So, that's one bit. Okay. That's now what I'm yours, going to but do? Yours will be like that, but straight. Yours will be straight. It's just just ignore those bits yeah. there. Yeah. Where it's gone off, trying to sewing standing up. Well, no, no, up. she's saying standing up at an odd height, <laughs> height of desk and everything. There we go. Right, so I'm going to do my second row now. Now, what I want to do is to, I can feel under here where the edge of the fabric is. So I want to position that. So again, I'm doing the same kind of distance away from the edge of the uh -huh. fabric. So I can see now where my, at the edge of the fabric is sitting on the machine plate but I'm only going to sew up to the gap. So let me hold my threads again. Um, Marion says, uh, lovely shirt, John. Jules, what fabulous instructions. We learn all the time from you and you keep us going as usual. Oh, thank you. Now also double check, sometimes your machine won't automatically cut your top stitching thread because it's no. a bit thicker. So just have a little practice. So we've done the outside bit now, and I'm going to chop over those. Oh, I can. There we go. Just neaten yeah. everything up as you go. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the outside one. Right. We're going to finish all of that off later. In a minute, yeah. So now we can do the underneath one. Okay. So we know with that little notch at the end there that that's where we want our row of stitching to be in line okay. with. Okay, and that only goes from the raw edge to the placket, it doesn't yes. go any further? no. So let's go back over and do some more top stitching. So I want this to be lined up with just underneath my, because we don't really want to, we don't really want to see it, but it needs to be there to hold everything yes. in place. Yeah. Uh, Christine says, I'm so happy to see Jules today. I've got a book and I've been invited out on Saturday, so I've decided to make myself a classic tee from it. Oh, I'm nice. a size 22 to 24, so I'm going to check my measurements and try it in some awesome ochre jersey. Oh, Ooh, that lovely. sounds nice. Yeah. So I'm going to do the other side now. Mm -hmm. Let me just, oops. I want to pull my tails out. Normally you don't need to worry about that, but because it's top stitching, we don't want it to get sucked down inside. There we go. So we've now got our bits of top stitching, which mm -hmm. I'm going to chop off. As you see, Jules, even though the machine's got, uh, the, the machine that Jules is using there has got an automatic thread cutter, she literally trims threads as she goes. And it's oh, like it's, pressing, yeah, you need to get it, rid of those threads if you... It makes it so much easier. Yeah. It really does. Just keeps everything nice and Neat, tidy. Yeah. So we've got that lovely... There we go. So we've got our nice rows of top stitching and underneath is top stitched as uh -huh. well. Brilliant. So what we've still got that... We've got that little bit that we need to fix. Yeah. So we just want to turn it over and make sure. Now, if you've got fray check or anything like that, yeah. you could just put a little dob there, which is absolutely fine. Does fray check not wash off? It, what we want to do is to keep it all in place while we're stitching. So it's only to hold it in place while you're stitching, not, not as a... No, that's right. it. So what we're going to do now is to sew a bar tack across uh -huh. the end. So the bar tack is that little bit there. Righty ho. So it's just going to do, it's like a wide, close zigzag, almost like a satin, satin stitch, stitch. Yeah. that's just going to enclose and cover up all of those raw mm -hmm. edges. In my village, there's Sally, she's got four children, and Dalton, her oldest, is like a black belt judo. He's only like 12. But um, on his belt, every time he passes another exam, he gets another gold bar. Oh, nice. So they bring the belt round to me, and I satin stitch exactly like that across the belt 
so that there's more. So as he gets more and more um, qualifications, he has more and more gold lines on his black belt. Oh, that's brilliant. Mm. Um, now, it might be that you want to have a little play yes. with your stitch length and width, depending on the fabric that you're working on and the machine that you've got. So always do a little test bit. Now, what I tend to do is yeah. just start it off on your kind of default setting. So you can see what you've already got kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Then you can make a decision as to how wide and how close you want it to be. So I'm going to take that about four and a half wide and maybe 0.8. Mm -hmm. So we'll try that and see how that goes. So we're, we're a bit closer. I'm actually going to take it a little bit wider for my final one. But you can see the difference there, how right. we've yeah, kind of yeah, changed it. Yeah. So we can now get that under the machine. And again, you can feel with your fingers. Now, if you want to mark it with a pin, you can. Mm -hmm. Just where you're going to be stitching. So I want it right in the middle there. Again, I'm going to line it up with my second my outside row of um, top stitching. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just drop the needle down to make sure it's in the right place. And we're going to let it do its thing. It will sound, or all machines will sound I know, a little they bit like, because you are going through a lot of fabric there, aren't you? Yes. They? Oh, no, it works. It works, but you, the sound is like, it, just, it sounds like it's merely making an effort. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. We've got that nice little bar tack going across the top Fantastic. of your placket. And it's neatened everything off underneath. Now, again, even with your underbed trim, you still get little threads. So I like yeah. to just trim those off afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's just covering everything up, Brilliant. which is a nice way of doing your placket. On, if you did a, a shirt, would, would you use this, this idea on a shirt as well? Could you transfer this placket to, to a shirt? There are nicer ways of doing plackets on shirts. Okay. There are other methods uh -huh. that don't have, you don't have to worry about doing this. Type. We've only done it this way because it's stitched in two pieces. And also it's oh, a slightly heavier fabric. Oh, of course the shirt fabric. wouldn't be stitched in two pieces yeah. normally, would it? Yeah. yeah. But I know what you mean. You've got the shirt that's, yeah, probably it's probably on, on your shirt. Oh, already. I don't know what mine's doing, actually. Oh yeah, mine, mine is, this, oh, I'll tell you what the difference as well is, your cuff, when we come to your cuff, your cuff Needs juts out, whereas out. these have to go, it, it goes edge to edge and everything, but yeah. mine is definitely, like your placket on the top, but wider, and then a narrower yeah, one behind, yeah. yeah. It's a proper shirt placket, yeah. yes. We've got one of those coming out. So oh, have you? But yeah. a men's shirt? Because um, you don't do men's, do you yet? We, no, we haven't. Yet. I don't know if I've let up. I know, yet. Yeah, oops. All well, no, says. no, but uh, because if you think about the amount of, uh, first of all, we have like Derek and the men sewers anyway, yeah. but also how many ladies who watch us sew for their men? And if yeah. they can make them a nice man's shirt, nice man's denim jacket or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. There's no reason why a bloke couldn't wear this. No, exactly. Yeah. So we're trying to do some more clothes that... Bloke. 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 A bloke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't a know fella. if you could wear it, Elliot. Oh, well, <laughs> a fella. fella. A fella. Please, please, bring us more of Jules in a class of our own with knowledge and teaching from Jane in Suffolk. Oh. Well, yes, exactly. What I was going to say was, you're in Stratford upon Avon and mm. that's where you do your classes. If somebody lives miles away, but obviously you said you do online ones, but there's something special about being in a class with somebody. And now that we're changing and changing yeah. and the rules are changing back and everything, do you do, are they just one day courses or do you do weekend courses? We do all kinds of different things. In fact, we do do sewing retreats Well, I was well. going to say with CL, who was on last week. Do you, oh, I'm, yeah. uh, you still do them with CL? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so CL, who you met last week or the week before, you two, like, you often do them in Stratford, don't you? But yeah, it's a whole yeah. weekend like a routine. Yeah. But then I've seen pictures like in, sea, not seaside towns, but like more countryside and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. So keep an eye out for things like that because I think there's something, which is why this is brilliant because we're actually standing here. You can ask the question. If you're watching on a video, I know, online, yeah. you can't really interrupt, can you? Whereas this way, yeah. you can ask questions or if you go to see Jules on one of her retreats on it, that you can go. 
uh, it's not working. Show me how it works. Exactly. Sort of yeah. Yes. We also do a diploma as well. Pardon? I know. We a sewing a, diploma? We do a sewing diploma that lasts a whole year. Oh, wow. This is where we've just, uh, we've, we've been running it. We've got the last, our first diploma students are going to be graduating uh, at, the, in, at the end of April. So, yeah. So, so, I mean, we shouldn't be talking about this now, but they come to two classes at your studio? Yeah, we do um, in studio. Yeah. Uh, for two days, once a month, and the rest of the time we do everything on Zoom. Uh, oh, well, no, because because Hannah, do you, do you remember producer Hannah? That yes. was so she's she's here as well. She's normally on with me. She's doing an MA in, it's event production, but she's doing she has one class a week, and then the rest of the time it's all on Zoom and, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Oh, because Kat wants to do Kat. Kat wants ah. to. Do, so what they Kat, what, what do you oh, want in the diploma? It's brilliant. We do. Um, we learn about design. So creating your own designs for your own lifestyle and your body shape. Wow. So we look at kinds of styles that work with individual shapes. Yeah. Um, we learn about pattern cutting. Um, we so which isn't necessarily everybody's forte. No, 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 no. But no. if you've got a basic set of blocks, then I it's also think really you easy. You can't design without. This is my personal opinion. No. I don't think you can design if you don't know how something's constructed. Exactly. Because the amount of times at Wimbledon when I was there, yeah. the design was a completely different course. And they'd come in, they'd go, oh, make me this. And they've done some f amazing painting or drawing yeah. of a costume. You go, so you want this made out of velvet, but it's all, yeah. you know, and if you don't know work. how to construct it, I personally think you can't really design. No. So if they're doing a diploma where they cover each little bit. So it might be they come to you for a year, get a diploma with you and they go, right, I'm going to go to university. I'm going to do pattern yeah. cutting or I'm going to do designing yeah. or I'm going to do whatever. Yeah, exactly. Oh, how fantastic. Yeah, it's been really good fun, actually. We've had an amazing group of ladies. Only girls? So far, mm -hmm. but, you know. Well, we I didn't open. even know. I, yeah. did, I haven't been able to tell anyone about it. I didn't know. Oh, no. Well, we, we kind of kept it. We did it. We, we've done it just this year just to see how it's worked. And it's been brilliant, actually, and people have learnt so much. It's been fantastic. So it's a recognised diplo diploma. It's yeah. Well, it's it's kind of supported by Open College Network West Midlands. Yeah, yeah. So it's not um, an official a well, qualification no. like a BTEC yeah, or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But it's still really coherent and it covers loads of stuff. I also think as well, if somebody does it and they then want to go to college, it would carry, even though oh, it's not yeah. a. Because my when I went to Women's School of Art, we didn't get a degree, we didn't get any qualifications. We just left going. We trained at Wimbledon. Yeah. That was it. You know, yeah. didn't have it's a degree course now, but sometimes it doesn't need to be a thing to you'll have to the skills move you and you'll the have the portfolio thing. and the work that yeah, will go yeah, with yeah. it. So, oh, how yeah. fantastic! I know it's really good fun actually. Oh, I wouldn't mind doing that. Right, you, okay. Come join us. Yeah. So where are we? No, I don't mean teacher. So. I mean coming as a student. <laughs> oh. Only as a ref uh, kind of for me, it would be like a refresher yeah. because obviously I went all those years after films where I didn't so I gave my sewing machine to Dulcie. I thought, oh, I'm not going to yeah. need this again. Oh. Gave everything away because I really thought when I started on this morning and everything, and then I started doing the jewellery, mm. it was like, I won't do this. Never dreaming that sewing quarter and then sewing street yeah. would be around or anything. So. Oh, no, it's good fun. Yeah, and Jules does, if you buy an overlocker from me later, right, Jules does a whole le day's lesson in how to work your overlocker. Oh, no, no, you have brilliant. to pay. You have to pay. Obviously, you have to pay to do it. But, yeah. but you do get to know your overlocker, don't you? Oh, it's brilliant. It's one of our most popular courses. Oh, is it? Oh, gosh, yeah. There's so much you can do with an overlocker yeah. rather than just finishing edges. Yeah, because that's all I, when we were in theatre, that's all I ever used mine yeah. for was to put the calico with the fabric and zoom around the edges and exactly. finish Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, they are. So buy an overlocker from me later in the next, at, at 12 o'clock, right? And I'm, no, I'm not adding any due pressure, I'm just saying, if, if you buy an overlock from me, then maybe your birthday present or your Christmas present could be a day's, yeah. day out to Stratford-upon-Avon. Yeah. Let me know you're coming, I'll come round and have a piece of cake with you, and you could do, learn how to use it with Jules. Absolutely. Fantastic. Anyway, right. Yeah. Yeah, so. meet and greet, meet and greet, have a piece of cake. I won't be supplying the cake, Charlie makes the cakes. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so what's the next bit? Sorry. So the next bit is putting the cuff on. Sorry, So got now we're there thinking, about, <laughs> no. oh, I might go and do a diploma. It's really good, we do all kinds of, we do draping, tailoring, oh, fantastic. all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. Um, I've really enjoyed it, actually. So <laughs> It sounds like you've enjoyed it more than the students. I am, it <laughs> makes me want to go and be a student again. Oh. So, on to the cuff. Yes. Now we've finished the placket, so we've got the cuff piece that we want to sew. Now, we've, there are a couple of marking points on the cuff that are really important. One of which is a dot, which is a little bit of a yellow one here. Now that's gonna line up with the underarm seam that we have to, on, the, on the actual sleeve itself. Yeah. And we need to have a little extension because we want to be able to overlap, put the button underneath 
the yes. actual yeah. cuff piece. So we need to have that. Now, I'm going to switch it back over to normal thread. Okay. Because While you do that, I shall tell you that Adam's messaging. You know, Adam from Great British Sewing Bee this uh, year. Yes. Fabulous demos, Jules. Love Jules's patterns and her book is a must-have. Oh. Much love to you both. Oh, Ad Adam's Thank got COVID. You. He know. couldn't do his show this week. So uh, get better soon. The thing is, not people don't really seem to be suffering, suffering with it. A lot of the people I know, anyway, I mean, obviously some people are, but it's just an inconvenience, isn't it? Oh. Um, yeah, because I know another friend of mine who I work with sometimes, he's just gone back to work from having it. And it, he... I wasn't saying that, Elliot. Oh, well, I was trying to pretend it wasn't Elliot. He said, yeah, yeah, I was like that, John. Yeah, I was like that. <laughs> and poor old Elliot's had it. And he had to be off for ages because it just was, it just I felt know, I had it before Christmas. Oh, did you? Yeah, and it absolutely floored me. Oh, well, they you yeah, see, some people... I was people... Off, off work for a month. It was, yeah, really. Oh, I've never no. felt so ill in my life. No, because my so, Luciano, yeah. my godson, he, he's like in his he, he, 20s. Now, he's just graduated from college. But... He said the first day was like having the worst hangover in the world and he just stayed in bed. Then after yeah. that, it was just like, well, I just feel a bit under the weather. He didn't have, it no. didn't floor him or anything. And he, then oh. he was just sitting in his room yeah. doing nothing, sort of thing, watching films all day. But oh, no. anyway, oh. it's horrible. It's it is horrible a horrible thing. thing. Yeah. Um, so cuff, cuff, cuff. Cuff, cuff. Right. So what I've done is I've stitched across the short side. This is all interfaced. Right. Because we need it to be stable. On both sides or just it's one side? It's a whole piece. Oh, okay. And you've done it's that? It's a whole piece. Right. So all I've done is fold it in half. And it's interfaced on all the way. So you've now got yes. two layers of interfacing. In yeah. There. yeah. Because we're going to do buttons and buttonholes, it needs to be nice mm -hmm. and supported. So I've stitched across the short sides. And I've stitched across the short side and across to the notch. Right. So that's going to be our little step, our little overlap. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when I've turned it through and pressed it, it kind of looks like that. So we've trimmed the corners on there. Keep those at 45 degrees so that you can turn everything in and it's going to sit nice and neat uh -huh. in the corners like that. And I've snipped into, so we've still got the seam allowance, snipped into the seam allowance where that notch is, where the step is. Yeah. So we've still got the seam allowance to attach. Now, the seam allowance on the cuff is only a centimetre. Right, so this is where you need to read your pattern, where yes, it is different. Yeah, so going back to one of the comments that we had in my previous hour, yeah. where someone says, oh, why is it 1.5? So normally 1.5 would be on the kind of like body parts, but anything that's like collars and cuffs and things like that, where you'd automatically trim it down. Mm -hmm. We have tried to include slightly smaller seam allowances. Right. Just and also you're not likely to have to let that bit out. You yeah, know, if exactly. you, When you've got yeah. seam seams, that's yeah. where you're going to have to, if it's a bit small or a bit... You, you know, but when you're putting on a collar and cuff, you, you're not going to alter that at all. No. So you don't need the th extra seam allowance on exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. So when we're attaching everything, we want the step to go underneath because we want the button to go underneath the buttonhole, which is going to be on this side. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. So all I want is one layer and I can pin that in place. So we want the edge of your underneath placket to be right up to the edge of the cuff. Right. And I can pin that in place. And then we've got the dot on the cuff should line up with your seam allowance. I've got a question from a tractor that I missed out, I'm afraid. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm so happy to see Jules on Sewing Street. Can I ask, Jules, would you ever use a twin needle to top stitch in denim? Um, only if you're doing something straight. If you're going to go around curves or a corner, there's no point. You can't move that twin needle because it's kind of fixed. So I would, generally speaking, uh, do it just with a normal single needle and then do your second row. Right. Good question, though, attractor. Yeah. It's one we get asked quite frequently. Mm, is it? Yeah. Because it kind of makes sense. You'd think logically yeah. it would make sense. Um, Elliot wants to know, where did you train to sew? Uh, Brighton. Oh, Elliot went to Brighton. Did you know the answer, Elliot? Oh, because Elliot goes on and on. He went to Brighton University. Same as Hannah. They ah. went to Brighton. Yeah. Well, do you know, it's really interesting because my daughter's down at Sussex. Oh. So she's living in Brighton now and it's brilliant. So I'm kind of revisiting all my old stomping grounds. Oh. Yeah, she's not doing sewing though. She's No. I was going to say she's clever. I didn't mean it like that. No, no, no. She's doing business. <laughs> she's yeah. Doing so yeah. So I've now turned this inside out. Right. Because it's much easier to get everything to sit smoother. So I'm just literally lining everything up and it should just all ease in. 
so it all fits with a bit of luck and a following wind. Thank you very much indeed. Oh no, that's no problem. That's what we're here for. To share the love. Absolutely. So I'm going to... Elliot tries to do that every day and everyone just keeps going, no Elliot, not now. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sorry for Elliot now. Why? <laughs> so, I've got this all pinned in place. Uh -huh. Now, I've pinned it from this side, but I'm actually going to sew it from that side. Oh. Because, again, it's slightly easier. Okay. So, but, you, swap your, you don't swap your pins over then? Well, because I've got the pin heads hanging off the edge of the fabric, it's going to be really easy to take them out, them out as okay. I sew. So, I know I don't want to go past that seam. So I've got the stitching line there, so that's going to give me my start and finish point. So I'm back on the machine. Elliot's worried because he thinks your bobbin's in a different colour. That's fine. It's, no, it's still cream, so that's okay. Also, you're not going to see it, Elliot, because it's inside the cuff. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where I might need my other pair of glasses now. <laughs> yes, she really is wearing two pairs of glasses. It's cheaper than very focal. Oh, very focal. That's why I can wear these. And do you know what? I always find that the, the close-up bit is in the wrong place. Well, not now. Ooh. Oh, no. Well, no. If you go to... Oh, hang on. I'll do this. I've always been too frightened to do this type of sleeve, but Jules is making it look very achievable. I'll now give it a try. Great show. Thank you from Tracy in Lincolnshire. Oh, Aww. good. Um, no, now it's a, it's a, it's an upgraded, it's, I had very focals a few years ago and every time I put them on, I either felt sick or I fell over. Yeah. So when I went this time, I went, you really need very focals. I was like, no, I can't. A bit more expensive, but yeah. they blend it. So you do have to do this still to look at yeah. that, but it's all blended. So that's why I'm able to wear these for the whole show oh. and not fall out. Well, I fall over occasionally, but that's because yeah. the floor's uneven, but <laughs> I don't have to do the two glasses. So it's not the, the gin you glasses. had for breakfast then, is it? Do what? It's not the gin you had for breakfast. No. <laughs> don't drink. I haven't had to drink for three years. Have you not? No. I started dry January three years ago. Never, never. Do you know what? I must admit, I don't miss it. No. Yeah. Do you not drink either? No. no. Yeah. We'd I be a cheap date, wouldn't we? I know. Mind exactly. you, coffee and cake, you see, that's, that's where they're... That's where my... Yeah, yeah. I would go totally for caffeine, yeah. you see. Right, back to sewing. Yes, now, please. Now, this is only a centimetre seam allowance, so I'm right. making sure that I've got the edge of my fabric on the 10 line, not the 15 line. So I'm going to go... Now, if you're worried about going backwards and hitting the right place, you can always start right on the money yeah. and just do your kind of stitch in one place thing. Uh-huh, your lock-in stitch. That's it. And then you can go forwards around the rest of the cuff. So again, all I'm doing is just working it around bit by bit. I know everything's all pinned in nice and flat. I do make sure I take my pins out as I go. Uh huh. I know some people pin out, stitch over them. And I must admit, I have done before, but actually it is much better for your sewing machine. Yes. If you don't. And your eyes. Mind you, you've got two pairs of gloves on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm well protected here. <laughs> <laughs> just looks funny, doesn't it? It just makes sense because otherwise, you know, when you're so, I mean, I'm looking down now, yeah. but if you're kind of like a normal sewing machine, I'm going to have to sew like that kind of thing. Yeah. If I look through the bottom part of my, of my glasses, if I had very focals. Got a message? This demo is fabulous and it's great to see such style on someone who's, who's not 25. No offence, I won't see 45 <laughs> again since Kate. I won't see 50 again, unfortunately. Shh, shh, don't be telling people that. Oh, do you know what? I don't care. It well, was, your age is a number, isn't it, really? Well, yeah. Not until, you, not until your number's as big as my number. <laughs> Morning, John and Jules. What a fantastic demo. Jules says, lovely, can't wait to explain those tricky parts. Brilliant from Glynis. Oh, she thank has. you. That's why she's here. There we are. So we've now attached the cuff. Yeah. So when we pull that back out... It'll all tuck up inside, mm -hmm. and hopefully, oh look at that! What? With a bit of luck in the following wind, we haven't got any tucks. Oh, brilliant! So that's okay. So we want to press that in place uh -huh. now. Now, if you've got a sleeve ball, just funny you should oh. say that. You keep brilliant. I'll now, just go and get boards one. We'll make this. Much, Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Because you don't want to have to flatten everything out completely. <laughs> I might have just broken that one, taken it out of the box. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. There There's we go. one opened, you say, Elliot. Where That's is it? That's brilliant. So now 
what we can do is just push the seam allowance up in towards the cuff and we can pop it on the sleeve board just to make sure everything's in the right place. So this is brilliant. If you don't want to have everything on the ironing board, you can just But also you can get to it. From a little sleeve board like that, you can get to it, can't you? There we go. So we're just pressing that area up. So all the seam allowance is going up into the cuff. So if you're a quilter, you're probably used to using your iron as a kind of precision tool. Mm. But actually, it's, yeah, there's a big difference. But the quilter never uses um, steam. No, they don't, no? do they? No. Yeah. Or very rarely. Some yeah. Do, but very rarely. We've got Claire, who's our sample machinist, and she's really into quilting. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, her quilts are absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, that's one of the things we were talking about the other day. Does actually. she want to come and demo? <laughs> she, we can't get her in front of the camera for us, oh. let, alone, <laughs> let alone on the telly. Oh, there. So that's all nicely pressed from the outside. Uh -huh. Now, again, what I'm going to do is turn it inside out because it's easier to get to the inside. Because what we want to do now... Oh, yeah, your iron might be gone a bit cool because it's been off its stand. Oh, is it? Oh. Is we want to tuck everything up inside. So I'm going to open out the seam allowance uh -huh. and fold the whole thing up and then fold it back on itself. So it's all encased. So it's all enclosed. So you've got a nice, neat little corner in there. And we want to tuck up just enough to sit over our first row of stitching. Now, it might take a bit of fiddling just to get that in exactly the right place. There we go. She says, I'm trying not to be too much of a perfectionist because I'm No, I think it's good. It's live telly. There. Now, again, oops, have I run out of steam? Or is yeah, it run out of juice? Yeah, it's because you need to recharge oh, um there we are. But this, again, is a really excellent for where you'd use your clapper. Yeah. So that would just hold everything in place because you've got quite a large thickness of fabric. And that would keep all of that down. So then you're working your way around, just tucking under what you need to in order for that to sit nice and flat. I don't know whether it's charged. Oh, it has. There you go. So it doesn't Charges take long quick, to recharge. It? It's just when, when you take it off and leave it on the table for a while, it just kind of yeah. cools down quite quickly. This is one of those things that you would want to definitely spend time doing. Yeah. I'm just kind of rushing through this just to make sure we get it all done. Yeah. So that's cool. Message to Susan. Oh, may I can't read. Message from Suzanne. Hello, John and Jules. Wonderful couple of hours watching you both. So many tips. Absolutely brilliant. Aww. Thank you from Suzanne in Bristol. Oh, that's lovely. Now, Bristol's not far from Strapped Upon Avon, is it? No, it's uh, not. Hello, loving the demo. Looking for the jacket pattern up to size 18, but can't find it. Right, it's here. It's in the graphics here. That's the number. The reason you can't find it is it will be under us on live show. It won't be in the shop. <clears throat> so tomorrow, it'll be in the shop. But today, everything from today's show is underneath us. But that, that's the number there. JF, JO46. Oh, in the book, can, yeah. oh, you might not remember this. What size do the patterns in the book go up to? I think they only go up to an 18. Okay. And that's only because we were kind of limited to the number of sizes we could have yeah. on the printed patterns that of were course. included in the, mm -hmm. um, in the book. But... Yeah. But they're all quite simple patterns. They are. To be a, for somebody who's not a, a drafter, to, yeah. like you could make the palazzo pants yeah. bigger easily just by splitting the pattern and, and opening them, couldn't oh, you? Oh, yeah, things absolutely. Like that. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. So I've pinned it, although we've pressed it from the wrong side, mm -hmm. again, I've pinned it from the right side because that's how we're going to top stitch it. Yeah. So this is now where you would do your top stitching. I don't know if I've got time to do that because I've got to rethread the machine. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, don't worry, yeah. don't worry. It just shows so, where you top stitch. Yeah, so again, if I turn it around the right way, right way around. there's lots of turning inside out, and but it actually makes it so much easier mm -hmm. to sew. So if I'm going to top stitch, because we're going to stitch oh, yeah, it all the way around. Right tiny, oh, sorry. Tiny bit. There Thank we go. You, brilliant. If I'm going to top stitch, I want my top stitching to start where I'm not really going to see it. 
Right. So if we start it close, we don't want to start it on a corner because that makes it harder. But if we could start it sort of just underneath where the buttonhole is, or rather where the button's going to be, yeah. underneath there. So we want the underneath bit. So that's where you would start your top stitching. Right, so it's not on a corner. Not and on a it's, corner. Yep. And it's underneath where we're going to, yep. so you don't see the overlap. Mm -hmm. And then we're just literally going to go all the way around. Now, if you feel more confident, you could hand tack this in place first. Yes, yeah. But we're going to stitch all the way around. But you don't want to stitch it from the other side because your bobbin stitching looks different to exactly. your top stitching, doesn't it? And exactly. it will show the difference between your yeah. up, that and other stitching, won't yeah. it? Yeah. So you can see on this one, I've got the coloured um, top stitching, but my bobbin thread. Hang on, Ellie, it'll just come in there. There you go. There, there you go. go. So, so, right. so my top stitching was your heavy is gold, duty. Yeah. Is the thicker one. Yeah. And my normal thread is the bobbin. Brilliant. Now, if you haven't got top stitching thread, you can do. Uh, I know, just uh, just in case. Yeah. You can do a triple stitch. Yes. You know the stretch yes, stitch yeah. that you can do. Yeah, it can take a bit longer because it goes. Da 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 da, and then moves on to the next one. You let it chunter, but that will give you a heavier line of stitching. Yes, it would. I'd be tempted if I was going to do that. I'd be tempted to stitch if I was doing your jacket. I'd stitch it stitched in black, just a straight round stitch normally. You're not going to see no, it. Yeah. And then I'd do the triple stitch on top of it because yeah. I know the cuff is secured by the one line of stitching you're not going to see anyway. No. But then you've also got a line to follow because if you're doing it the first time with you've got pins to take out yeah. and you've got triple stitching going on, there's a likelihood you could just go like exactly. that. And there's yeah. a lot to unpick if you get it wrong, exactly. Yes, yeah. But at least unpicking top stitching is a bit easier. Yes. Because it's bigger yeah. stitches. Yeah. Not if it's triple, though. Oh, gosh, no, no. You want to do uh, that right Jules, first time. Jules, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so no. much for coming in. It's been so lovely to be back. Uh, it's brilliant, isn't it? You're not back. It's a new channel. Oh, that's right. I kept saying that. Oh, I'm back, I'm back. And I was yes. like, no, John, you've no. never worked here before. But it's <laughs> fantastic, fantastic, fantastic to see you. Right, I'll just quickly do a recap then of what we've got. So we've got the Gertrude jacket. We've got sizes 6 to 18 here. Lots in baskets. Make sure you check out. There's only 10 left of those. 10 left of that one. And how many in baskets? Oh, there's too many people in baskets. So if you all check out, somebody's going to be disappointed. Brilliant. Uh, morning, John and Jules. Great to see all Jules on the telly again. I have most of Jules's patterns and I love making them. Thank you again for doing lovely demonstrations from Donna. Oh, that's good. Have Thank we not you. had any nasty ones? Have we not had any? Oh, get her off. We don't want her again. No, none of those. <laughs> no, just that, me. That surprises me. <laughs> no, it's just me they do that for. Right, here we go. This goes up to a size 34. Size 20 to 34. You see, that's what I love is Jules has, hasn't left out any size because like the smallest is a size six. So if you're making it for not a child, but a teenager, yeah, six upwards and then up to a 34. Brilliant. Well, like those pictures. Did you take those pictures, Elliot? No, I didn't think so. No, they're some of ours. Yeah. Anyway, uh, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Now, the thing is, right, I know you're, some of you will be thinking, well, 20 pounds, that's more than I'd normally pay for a pattern. When you think of what you're getting in this, I'm just going to undo this. I know I'm going to run into Victoria's hour a bit, but I can always run over a little bit. You get it beautifully packaged like this in a packet that you don't have to rip so you can file it really, really beautifully. The pattern paper, which Jules has actually printed within her own workshop, is really, really good quality. But we've not opened one up, but look, they're really good quality paper. It's got all the sizes on in the different sizes and everything like that. Every piece is well labelled, so you never worry about which pieces you have to do. In the instructions, you get a layout pattern, but you also get so the story behind the pattern, everything like that. Then how to use the pattern. Before we even start, you get your layout guide. These are all the pieces, your pattern inventory. So if it says you need all of those, you make sure when you're cutting it out that you've got all of those straight away. Then you go on to what you have to do for prep, your, your uh, interfacing and things like that, making your pockets up before you start. And then every single stage you could ever imagine is all in there. Look, everyone has a drawing, everyone has writing, got the glossary of terms. You'll even have, oh, this one you don't get a page to write on this one. No, sorry, we ran out well, of no, pages. It's, well, also, there's too much instructions, aren't there? And then all the sizes and everything like that are all on there. It is a fantastic, fantastic way. And then you've got the pattern forever. You've got the pattern forever. And the range, 20 to 34 or 6 to 18, is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic size range. Oh, loads of you checking out now. That's good, that's good. Right, fabric-wise, what should I go through very quickly? we we'll do the linen first. We've got the ivory linen here. 
There we go. Now, this is a four meter bundle because it's slightly narrower than the denim. You will have some left over, but that's good to you can practice on it, use it to make a little bag or do anything like that with it. Make a cushion with it if you want to. Uh, 41 99 for your four meters of your linen. It's 100% linen, stone washed. It does have a lovely texture in it as well. Okay, that's your ivory. Then we've got what I call olive, they're calling khaki. Ooh, lovely colour, beautiful colour with this one. Be lovely in summer if you're wearing like a caramelly or orangey burnt umber dress or mm. something like that, wouldn't it? $41.99. Sitting in a beer garden, says Elliot. He, say, he just said to me, oh, I've, I've only had two little drinks this month. It's because you've been poorly for most of this. <laughs> yeah, you've been poorly for most of this month. Right, this, I think this would look gorgeous. Oh, very popular, very popular. Four metres, 41.99, 100% linen, stone washed. It's a really lovely weight, this linen. Carol says, hi, John and Jules, a great show and demo. I've ordered the pattern. General question, I have a bad memory after several mini strokes. Oh, Carol, my love. Would it be possible at some point to add the dates of the shows to the order? Oh, now, now, if you look at your, if you look at your order, the day you order it, the date will be on that thing. So then you can go and look at YouTube on the date on your order. They do have the date that you've ordered on your, on your delivery note. Uh, anyway, that's that one. And then denim, we've got the dark denim, like the indigo denim. Oh, I forgot you also say, you also get in every packet, you get a Charlie postcard. Mm. And it could be of any haberdashery or anything like that, couldn't it? It's cute, isn't it? These are all neck and neck, these three different colourways. So there's your dark. Which one do you like best? I like the dark, I have yeah, to I like admit. The dark yeah. as well. What colour tops? Oh, now, if you did the scarlet, would Ooh. you do a scarlet top stitching or would you do a different colour top stitching? I think you could go with navy top stitching. Oh, which actually. one? Navy. Navy. It's in, it's in, I'm going to do it in a minute. I've got navy, but also I've got the red. If you've bought the red look in this pack, I've got the red top stitching, but you could do navy, yeah? Elliot says yellow. Not yellow, Elliot. Not yellow. Right, then I've got the medium. This is the colour, by the way, not the weight. They're all the same weight. They're all eight ounce. 28.99. And then I've got the light. Remember, it's a three meter bundle because it's wider, it's 60 inches wide, this one. Got some fluff up my nose. Right, now I'm very quickly going to do these. I'm not supposed to do them until the next hour. Here's your top stitching threads. Professional jeans thread, it's called. Goes from the white to the grey to the mustard to the red. So the, oh, that olive green, look, there's a not dark olive green there. Also, my little tip is when you're top stitching, if you're top stitching in the same colour, you need to go a shade darker. Yes. Not if you're doing orange on blue or orange on black or anything like that, but if you're going to use, if you're going to use a red one on the red or blue one on the blue or yellow on the yellow one, you always go a shade darker rather than a shade lighter. Just a little tip, isn't it? Mm. Uh, anyway, in there you've got your black, your blues, your greys and everything, 24, 19. And then there you go, your jeans needle. Now, I thought jeans needles were always size 14, but not here. We've got 90s and 100s in here. Size, a 90, a 90, I'm sure 19s are 14 and 100s are 16 in old-fashioned terms. I think so, yeah. I'll ask Victoria Carrington because she's quite old. She'll know about things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear him giggling in the background? Mm -hmm. right, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, John, right, John. Right, Jules. Big kiss. Thank it's you ever so much. Thank it's been you. fantastic. We'll yeah. see you again very soon, I hope. Um, don't go anywhere. I'll be back here with Victoria Carrington in four minutes from now. We're making my favourite, a table runner. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, 
click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. It's a new person in the office. You've seen the new person in the office? He's what? He's in the marketing department, is he? Oh, I've not met him, not introduced to him yet. Anyway, <laughs> is it time to go home yet? Victoria Carrington's here. Hello. I've had chocolate biscuits live and be up a bit now, you see. Well, I say chocolate, it's no gluten, no sugar, no chocolate, no dairy, no, no taste. And it's there from Christmas. And that livened... They've got Father Christmases and penguins on the front. And that's livened you up. That, well, yeah, you'll be <laughs> numbers. <laughs> <laughs> right, Victoria Carrington, what are you making? I'm going to make part of this table. Just part of it? Yeah, I don't really have time to do the whole lot. Okay, it's gorgeous. I don't like a table runner, but I'd love it on a bed. Or, Victoria, so as I said, from the kit we've got, you could make three cushions. You might need to buy a little, little bit more of the orange, did you Half say? a metre you'd need to buy extra. Which I'll tell you about in a second, right? Now, all the fabrics you see from, from the bag earlier, from the bags and the cushions earlier, 
and from these projects are all available by the half meter. Uh, they're all available by the half meter, which I'm not going to do now. We're going to do some sewing and then I'll come back to these. But all of these, are, now are they on pre-order or are they on show? They're all on pre-order underneath me. So all the peacock fabrics, all the cat's eye fabrics. I've never seen this before. It's brand new to me. Brand new to me, this one. The lovely flowers with the gold flowers there. The pears and the uh, little um, snake's head flowers. All of them in all the colourways are all underneath me by the half metre. And all the bumbleberries to go with. And these are not all the bumbles I have here. Well, obviously, bumbleberries come in about 100 colours. And these are the, their blenders. The, oh, these are their bumbleberries that go with. They're lovely, aren't they? I'll go through all those later when we're bored of Victoria Cairns and Sony. <laughs> I've got two kits now. So the one you've made on the back wall, now there's only eight of these left. Oh. There's only eight left. So now this isn't, this is not your design, is it? No. This Sally is Ablett. A, Sally Ablett's design. For, she does all the ones for Lewis and Irene. Right, so this is Sally Ann's design. Then you also get a fat quarter of the teal, a fat quarter of the snake's head, a fat quarter of the cat's eyes, a fat quarter of the uh, pears, half a metre of the peacocks on ecru, and one metre of the burnt orange. Is it hot tomato or is it paprika? Paprika. Paprika. It's paprika. You don't need to check. It's paprika. That's a lot for £24.99, isn't it? Yeah, a lot in there. Um, so this is the pattern. The, now, I need to tell you, you're not, pa you're not paying for the pattern. The pattern is a free one from Lewis and Irene. You're just paying for the fabric. £24.99. And, and that will make you this. It's lovely. Has is that, is that got a design? What's it called, that block? Card trick, I think. Oh, is it card trick? Is it? I think so. Did you not check? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six. Oh, hang on. There's how many left? Eight left, but six people have just put it in their basket. So, in th if that, effect, if they check out, there's two left. There's two. But, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. If it, uh, I've got a solution, if we sell out, I've got a solution. Or when we sell out, I've got a solution, I'll say. $24.99. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't got a solution because they're fat quarters, aren't they? Anyway. Then I've got the other version. Are you making this one? Are you making the orange one? I'm making the pink one. That one. Oh, it's not got a pink background? No. No. On this one, you get a metre of your ivory, your instructions. You get half a metre of the peacocks on... Taupe. I don't know. What, I, I want to call it something Plaster. more romantic than that. Then you get fat quarters of that one. That one. Oh, now we've not seen that one. And that one, they're lovely, aren't they? These are new, these, these fabrics. $24.99. You get two and a half metres of fabric. No, hang on, you don't get two and a half metres of fabric. Oh, look, they're, ca they're calling this. Instead of putting four fat quarters like they normally do, they call that a metre. They just change everything without telling us, don't they? Anyway, shall we make some sewing? Go. OK. Pack of cards. So... Card trick. Card, trick. card, card trick. trick, card trick, card trick. Okay, so this is the block that you make up. So obviously if you've got the orange kit, you'll have different combination. Uh, yeah. um, and you've got your pattern here, mm -hmm. which gives you the layout and then gives you um, obviously all the cutting instructions, mm -hmm. um, a layout diagram, um, and it's it's pretty straightforward actually once you've done the first one you'll be you will be well away why haven't you turned over the next page what's on the next page um because i've printed off quite a few oh, for oh, some reason so. okay. i don't know um so you'll obviously have to take into account what fabrics you've got in your kit and then maybe like when you get onto this page if you want to you can just label them up so if your fabrics are different oh um, yes you can of course just yeah. label them yeah. how you've got them because that's the main thing you need from the pattern now in the instructions at the start, it gives you fabric quantities of what you need. Right. Now, there is an awful lot of fabric listed there. So I have told Ian how much you need in the kits that I used to make that. Okay, so, so ignore... Don't be, so ignore the quantities in here. Are they making something bigger then? Is I think, it... well, there's there was... 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, no, it's just the runner. So I don't. Well, anyway, you you can okay, make. Okay, you've the got thing enough. You've that. made that from the bundle that Ian put together. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You now, chose the fabrics. Yes. Ian put them together meterage wise. Yeah. And you've been able to make all of that from that. Yeah. Okay. I told him how much to to put in because I worked it out. Yes. Because I've made it. Right. Now with the backing. You can either use your own backing or you just need to buy half a metre and then you can just um, add it on to a little bit you've got is, left. Is half a metre on the back? Yeah, because it's, I think it's 18 and a half inches wide. So you can use the half a metre oh, strip right. like that. Mean, and that. then what you've got left from that, you just stitch across there and yeah. quilt so it. So that, that. the, uh, the, the uh, paprika isn't Lewis and Irene, that's from our core fabric, yeah. isn't it? Which we can show you later on. Yeah. So what I did is because in the pattern also... The binding is from the peacock fabric mm -hmm. on the pattern. Right. But I thought it looked more of a contrast if you've got the background colour as And the was border. there enough in our metre to be able to do the binding in the orange? In the orange, there won't be enough to do the border and the binding like it says in the instructions. Right. So you have to use the solid colour as the binding. So we can make exactly what you've got there yes. from our bundle. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. But on the pattern, it says it the other way around. It says put the fabric, the pattern on the outside and the orange on the inside, does it? It says, it says put the border on. Yeah. Like with that fabric. Yeah. And then use the same fabric for the binding. Oh, okay. You won't have enough to do that. No. In the, okay. And because I, we could have put more of that fabric in, but I think no, that no, makes I think it, it looks pop nice. More. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this is the block we're going to make. So it's a 12 inch finished block. Right. So what you do is I can see already what they are. Yeah. I'm not showing off. It's a so. quite it's a quite a fun fun one to do because obviously it's not as big as making a full size quilt no. and. Um, you could use, I mean, it's long enough to use on the bottom of a single bed as a runner as well. I've got, I've got a bed runner that big on a double bed. Yeah. It just doesn't hang over the edges. Yeah, it, just it just literally sits on looks the lovely top. on the, yeah, yeah, Marcia made it for me. Yeah. yeah. So when you get your, um, so you'll have your four fat quarters, which they're saying are fabrics one, two, three, and four. Yeah. And then the, um, the squares they're telling you to cut, you cut the four smaller ones from across the width of the fabric and then the two smaller ones from the side. So like I said earlier, then you've got a nice Oh, okay, bit left. yes, of course, yeah. So, I mean, you could make some placemats out of these if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it as a runner. But I mean, these are the size that I had left at the end. Oh, wow. So, like, they're big, aren't they? Yeah. And that's what's left from making that one. Yeah. So that's also good. Okay. So we've, imagine we've cut our squares. Oh, now be careful, both have nearly sold out. Both have nearly sold out. So what we're going to do from our smaller squares. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. OK, so you've got two slightly different size squares that you need to cut. Oh, oh OK, so they're different, right. Yeah, so from the smaller square, you cut it into two triangles like that. Mm -hmm. And then from the bigger square, you cut it into four. Right. Okay? So don't get your squares muddled up. Correct. Yeah. I mean, you have got enough if you do go wrong, but you want to keep that yeah, idea, exactly, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. So then what I did is just group them. So you cut big squares and smaller squares out of yeah. all the fabrics. Yeah. And you do it from your background fabric as well. Okay. So it's just a case of just getting a bit organised with this mm -hmm. and just, and another good way to do it is if once you put it all together, if you take a photo of it on your phone and then, um, and then you can see if it looks right or not, because it's better to do that than by eye really, because yeah. yeah. it shows up more. You mean about the placement of fabrics? Yeah. 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 Okay. So like I said, if I was you, I would mark up the placement diagram with what coloured fabrics you were going to use mm -hmm. and then we're going to start constructing this okay right, yeah. right so what i did first is i did all the background triangles first in place and then that gives you a bit more of a 
picture of where you've got to put stuff. Yeah. Okay. So how do you know which is a big triangle and which is a small triangle? Is it, oh. well, one's big and one's small. <laughs> <laughs> I mean from the picture. Oh, so oh, you can see. You yeah, can see. It's, it's, yeah, it's quite clear on there. Yeah. Um, so the big triangles go on the on the corners. Yeah. And then the little triangles go on the inside. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to, okay. Okay, so now you've got this sort of cross yeah. shape. Now, the next thing I'm going to put in, are, so we're going to make, so it's kind of a bit like a nine patch. So you've got sort of nine squares, as it were, yeah. inside it. Okay, so the first one, I'm, I'm going to follow this just so I can make two of them mm -hmm. okay so I need to put one there one big triangle yeah and then I'm going for a big triangle there oh okay yeah. so that looks weird that looks weird yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's okay okay so the next one I'm going to go for is down here so I'm going to go like that I think this is the bit I'd enjoyed the most and like that yeah, yeah. this is the good bit well, it's all good, isn't it, yeah. really? It's all good, it's all good. <laughs> okay, and then again. Yeah. Ooh, like that. Coming and going. And then. There. Mm -hmm. And there, okay? So... It's kind of like going around in arrows in a circle. Then all you do is you pop the little triangles. Yeah. So you're kind of making heart shapes. Cat's just got it. Cat's just realised. I just said to say, oh yeah. You got some left over. Oh, because you're going to make three blocks, aren't you? Well, four yeah, blocks, yeah, blocks, you would yeah. do, yeah. yeah. So I've cut, I've just cut the whole lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they, so they're starting to look like heart shapes okay card trick yes Jan card trick I think Jan might be watching a little bit behind live <laughs> okay she said it twice card trick block yes card trick block <laughs> Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is put build these into separate blocks. To, so you need to break it down like this. So what I did to make sure they were all right is I laid all four blocks out at the same time and then just chain pieced, um, chain pieced them, and I made I managed to do the whole thing in five hours, uh -huh. including quilting and binding. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do these corner bits first. Right, you know. Um, <coughs> so you want your quilting setting, so... Zero six. You yep. want for a quarter inch foot? Yeah. Yep. Zero six. Um, so I'm doing it 1.8 stitch length. Oh, very small. Because? Um, just because it keeps it... I always do it on 1.8. Oh, do you? Any yeah, time yeah. you're piecing, you do yeah. 1.8, do you? Because it automatically tr turns it to that anyway. Yeah, I know. Got that machine. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Right. Okay, so I'm putting these right sides together. Right, yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to stitch a quarter of an inch. Any tricks? Because you're going from a fine corner. Any tricks to stop it being swallowed by the com computer? Not a computer, <laughs> sewing machine. <laughs> what, I d what I do is this pointy bit here. Yeah. That tends to go right under the foot anyway. So you're sort of starting there, so it's not too bad. Yeah, okay. I have to say. Okay. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just chain piece them. So right. chain piecing 
means that you just continue to stitch without cutting them. Um, cutting the threads? Some people, which I do sometimes, it's just because I've got an automatic thread cutter, I just cut as I go. Yeah. Um, but some people haven't got that, so this is definitely an easier method if you haven't got, because you don't want to be going <laughs> and cutting yeah, and off wasting, there and having yeah, loads yeah. of thread that you need to trim yeah. off at the end anyway. So I'm just going to do those four chain pieced. And I've come and threaded. I'm and not having much now? luck today with this, with um, things like this, am I? I've come and threaded. Uh, quite a few of you checked out on the sewing machine today. Yours will work. It's, <laughs> a, oh, oh, it's a user's, user's User error. error. Uh, can I just explain? Oh. £1,249 is how much this machine will cost. <clears throat> it will be on split pay in a second. I think it's about £250. There you go. Five times. Um, now, we've not got them here. We've, we've bought them from Elna, but they're not in our warehouse yet. We are hoping to ship them mid-February. Now, I've been through to the office. Nobody can answer this yet. I think mid-February is next week. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But I can't give you a date. But because of the, because we don't normally do this, because the inconvenience, we're going to give you, if you use pre-order, you'll get £50 added to your Sewing Street account. So you can spend that in March. £50. Yeah, don't forget we've got the birthday week in March. Just saying. Just saying. Now, I'm being told, I've been told, right, that that £50, when they hit, when, so say they all come in on Tuesday, right, that £50 thing disappears. As soon as we've got them here in stock, that £50 credit disappears, right? It's only for the people who are pre-ordering it. I know. And I'm not adding any undue pressure. I'm just saying, if you're going to pay it now or in a week's time, but get 50 quid to put, 50 pounds, sorry, 50 pounds into <laughs> your account, 50 quid, 50 squids, 50 biggins. What's 50 pounds in rhyming slang? Not a score, that's 20. It's not nifty. Nifty, What's nifty. The, on On um, Only Fools and Horses, what would they call 50 pounds? Po a pony? Or is that a hundred pony? It's a hundred, isn't it? I make the bullseye? I don't know. But anyway, you get 50 pounds credit added to your account. And I've got that machine. And I didn't get fifty pounds added to my account when I bought it. What f what food? Oh, what foot are you using, Victoria? Ah, uh, so um, I'm using a quarter of an inch foot that's got like a guide on the side. Uh -huh. I always use that. Um, some people just use a standard foot, and they know whereabouts their their guide is yeah. to do the quarter of an inch. But I like the guide on the side. So you, you don't the... tend to go off as much. Yeah. So you put the guard, you put the foot on with the guide, the quarter inch foot, and you set the machine to a quarter inch seam. Yeah. Yeah. Now, on my sewing machine at home, I've got an automatic where you've set for a quarter of an inch seam, but it's just slightly bigger than a quarter of an inch seam. So oh. I still have to move my needle across. Oh, do you? Yeah. So it's always worthwhile just Checking. measuring it. Yeah. And this is why we say also don't make half a block or half a quilt on one machine. Yeah, And then definitely. one another one. Oh, still so using quarter inch, but the quarter inches are different. Aren't it makes they? such a difference, especially like with the quilt where you've got so many seams mm. across the width. Right. Okay. So Bullseye, I've got... it's called, says Anna. I didn't believe you. Boo, go, bullseye for 50 quid. Oh, is it? Yeah. I would have never got that. No, I wouldn't either. No. Well, bullseye, is, is that what you get if you hit the potential of bullseye? This is what you could have won. Do you remember that? Yeah. This is what you could have won. It was always a speedboat, wasn't it? It was, Who, wasn't who it? would ever... Want there's not many boat. people would no. use that, would they? No. Well, not where you live, no. You've got a pond. <laughs> We're more in London than, yeah. uh, <laughs> than anywhere, really, aren't we? Uh, yeah, because when I was on this morning, we gave away a house. Right, and they chose the middle point of Britain, and it was in Bromsgrove. Oh, really? Yeah, we came to Bromsgrove today, ah. and we did a competition where somebody won a whole house, and we. Oh, we had a picture. We had a picture. Oh, oh this is nice. <clears throat> this is the second quilt I made. Uh, it's in the beautiful Lewis and Irene family. It has a similar block too. I'd advise anyone to give it a go. If I can do it, anyone can. Says Julie. Oh, that's Fabulous. lovely. Yeah, lovely. Gorgeous. Lovely. You haven't used, have you used bumbleberries around the edge or not? Oh, we haven't got it in red today. I like that fabric in the middle as well. Anyway, so carry on. Okay, so I'm going to... What are you going to do? So what you need to do is just set the seams, which helps the stitches bind together and just gives you a better finish. There's three of the orange one left and four of the pink one left. That's it now. And then you just press it open towards your patterned fabric. 
Oh, this is a horrible message. Oh, no. I'll tell you who it's from in a minute. Hello, John and Victoria. Hello. Lovely show's day. Miss you both, but Aww. I probably miss Victoria more. Oh. It's from Victoria Pete. Oh, <laughs> bless her. Blocked. She's blocked. <laughs> oh. We have to, when are you next over, Victoria Pete? You're allowed to travel now. Come on over. Yes, yeah, she lives in uh, Gibraltar. What are you doing? Right, sorry. So I've pressed those open. Yeah. And I'm just... Open? Oh, you press them open, not to one sorry, side. Sorry, no, to one side. <laughs> so I've pressed there. Just swell our ears sometimes, oh, honestly. So Two pink ones left, that's all. Pink. And then I'm just oh, yeah, trimming pink. the ears off these. Right. Okay, and then I'm going to put them back as I go. Right, yeah. So I'm not So confused. they're in the right place, yeah. So in your new house, you've got a sewing room? No. Oh, you have to build a she shed in the garden. Is the garden big? No. Oh. I'm still using my old office in the garage at home, so... Oh, so you have to travel to your mum and dad's? Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's, that's quite right, good, though, so it's not in the house. Yeah, and you do feel like you're a bit separate. Yeah, and also it means that you, if you're at home, when you could be spending time with the family, you're going, oh, I'm just going in the other room to sew this. You can't do that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. One left in the pink. Okay. That, the pink is the one that Victoria's using. So there are the corners. And then oh, it can also be called half a ton, apparently, 50 pounds. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to do the centre block next. Okay. So I'm going to take these two here. Right. And I'm going to put those right sides together. Right. And I'm going to stitch those two. So I know the seam needs to be there, so I just need to keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, because you could pick it up, go to your machine and sew along the wrong edge. Exactly. Oh, hang on, they're calling it blue. The one with the orange is the blue one, and the pink one is the one that um, Victoria's using. There's three of the blue one left, and how many baskets? Eight in baskets. And how many of the pink one left? One of the pink one left, but sold out. Pink one sold out. Okay. So I'm going to put those right sides together as well, and I'm stitching down there. Lovely. Oh, leave that one there, though. What have you done? You break it, you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Six of joking. <laughs> okay, so what you want to be doing here yeah. is pressing these seams in opposite directions. Right. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to press that one towards there. So I'm just going to finger press it so I can remember. Yeah. And that one that way. Okay. Okay. Well, we have proper cameras when we move to the new studios. So, how will the cameraman get to the overhead? You'll have to climb a ladder. I know, oh, Elliot, it was a joke. <laughs> one, that's it, one left and then we sold out completely. So, I've got my seams going in opposite directions so I can nest them together. Uh huh. So, and then just stitch another quarter of an inch seam. Brilliant. Now, remember, all of the fabrics that Victoria's used are available by the half meter. So you can recreate it if you want to, but you're gonna have to buy, oh, what have you done? You have broken it. You can buy, but you have to buy the fabrics by the half meter. Don't go, don't show Victoria. She just might throw the machine through the window in a minute. <laughs> um, and, uh, and also, have we got the ivory and the Paprika available by the half meter as well. They're on the website, not underneath us on the website. They're on the website. And for the pattern, you can go to the Lewis and Irene website because it's a free pattern from Lewis and Irene. Thank you, Elliot. What was wrong with it? Something just flashed up. I don't know what yeah. it was. You're not, using, you're not using the thread cutter anymore then, is that? The... Yeah, it was. Yeah. That was, I well, think that was the problem. Stop muttering. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've joined those together. Yep, yep. Made the whole square, four square triangle. <sighs> okay, and then I'm just going to press the seams to one side on that one. Okay. I need to set the seam first. 
Going now, I said in the last hour that a lot of um, patchworkers don't use steam. Is it you just using steam because it's on there or do you use steam? Yeah, because um, I sometimes do, but not as a general rule, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Um, but because I can't, I haven't really had time to work out how to turn it off. <laughs> it really doesn't matter anyway. Right. What are you looking I've for? I've lost my scissors. I had them a minute ago. Yeah, but you're pointing at it. It'll be under there, look. There oh, they are. Yeah, there they are. Okay, and I'm just going to trim the corners, ears off those. Okay, now the graphics, because everything sold out, Kat's going to, the graphics are going to go through for all of the fabrics by the half metre. So, I don't know how, it's only six nine nine and a half metre. Um, and so, that one there is your, am I going to show them as well? No, all right then, I'm not going to show them. Keep going. Okay, uh, right, I've moved those now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, so those blocks are done. So, it's just these ones left. Okay, so we're going to take the two smaller triangles from this block uh -huh. and put those together right sides okay. and stitch a quarter of an inch seam. Okay, and then I'm going to press it towards the pattern side. Mm -hmm. And then all you do then is take this one, mm -hmm. put in right sides together, and stitch that quarter of an inch again. So it's once you break it down into these smaller blocks, it's really easy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Claire's messaging saying she would do it in a different way, but I don't think your way would work, Claire, because you're just adding, there's no rectangles to add. Oh, I see what you mean. You'd make a four patch in the middle and then add rectangles, but then if you did that, you're gonna have you're gonna have Y seams if you do that, aren't you? You see what I mean? So she said yeah. she'd do a four patch in the middle, then add those long rectangles to it. I can't look. She'd do a four patch there mm. and then she'd add rectangles. Right. No, I haven't been this close to anybody in the ages. I always say that. It's a metre, it's a metre away. You look like Harry Potter. <laughs> I've never seen Harry Potter. Oh, yeah! And the temple of what's it? Doom. Doom. In fact, if the rules change next week, I'll be standing there if you're not careful. Um, I, I think, would you have to, oh, you'd have to do a Y seam though if you did that, wouldn't you? Anyway, we'll, we'll see. Right. right, okay. So I'm just going to repeat that again. Mm-hmm. On these ones, if that's okay. It's fine, it's your show. <laughs> Got 20 minutes. Okay, I should probably. Oh, oh honestly. Sorry. So that's a sewing machine you're always for now, an iron. Being a bit clumsy today, aren't today, I? Today, yeah. Oh. Okay, and again, right sides together. I'll try and whiz through this as quickly as I can. You're getting stressed. Elliot's worried about you getting stressed. Is he? Bless yeah. him. She'll be fine. She'll have a McDonald's on the way home. While I'm doing this, can I say happy birthday to my friend? Of course you can. You didn't have to wait that long. Aww. Who's your friend? Anne Look Marie. into the camera then. Look into the camera. Anne Marie. Happy birthday. She always watches. Are you Bless looking her. in the right place? I don't then? know. Look in that. See that little screen in there where it says Q script. Oh, there. yeah. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> Who was she called? Happy birthday, Anne Marie. Aww. How old is she? I don't know. Oh. I didn't ask. How do you know her? Um, oh, don't answer that. I saw the look on the face. She's well, I know her through school. She used to be my daughter's teacher. She's because she always takes a mickey out of me because every time you ask me who she is, because she often 
Yes, 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 in. Yes, and I always say, oh, it's my friend who teaches my daughter and used to teach my other daughter and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, she, and she takes the mickey saying, I always call her that. She says, why don't you just say, I'm your friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, I ask so you it's like a friend, running yeah. joke. Yeah. Amanda, she won't be watching. She'll be out getting drunk, won't she? Oh, no, she'll be teaching. She'll be at school. Yeah, she's at school, yeah. but she watches it on. Oh, yeah, because um, you normally thingy. do. We why are you doing coming in during the week? Don't you normally do weekends? I used to. Yeah. But. I prefer wheat now. Oh, do you? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought you were meant to be coming in more frequently anyway. That's what I've been told. Well, yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm trying to, try. I'm trying to. Okay. It's just time, isn't it? Yeah. And it does take me ages to do patterns. I'm a yeah. bit of a procrastinator. Is that what it is? Yeah. They've got to be right, haven't they? Yeah. Message from Sue. I love watching Victoria demonstrate very clear layout and instructions from oh, Sue thank inside. You. Oh, thank Yeah, she doesn't know how to use the machine, though, Sue. Right. Seen all the Easter eggs in the yeah. shops. I know. Oh. They've been there for quite a while as well, haven't well, they? Well, I know they come on Boxing Day, but they're normally discreet. Now when you walk in, they're there on your face as you walk in. Yeah, yeah. There's Valentine's Day stuff as well, because I'm on, I'm on shift with, uh, with Hannah on Valentine's Day. So I was going to get her a Valentine's present. Oh. And yeah, it's quite expensive they were, and I put it back on the shift. <laughs> I'm sitting down now, by the way. In the, I'm in the pregnancy chair. Do you, do you know if anyone sits in this chair, they get pregnant? Do they? Yeah. Be careful. Oh, no, I'm... Bit old now. <laughs> Mind you, that lady had octagons. Uh, octagons? No, she didn't have octagons. Wasn't there a lady who had lots of children when she was in her sixties? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to have a baby. I don't know how. I, I, just, I don't have the. I don't have the energy. I'm struggling What's now. What's more? Oh crikey, no. What's the matter? You're right there. Your yeah. thread come out. Yeah. Do you want me to come over here and do? Oh, I can't do bundles. They're all sold out. Let's have a look at the fabrics then. These are all available. Have you got all the way through them yet, Cat? Okay, cat slowly putting them through. Don't look at Victoria struggling on her machine, Elliot. <laughs> oh, he's not got that. Yeah, he's been stayed on the whole time when I said, come over here and look at the fabrics. <laughs> we've got the bumbleberries, we've got the whole range. I'll run through the bumbleberries while she's doing that. That's fine. Right, these are like their mixer. These are like their mixer blender ranges. Well, yeah, he's sinking a little bit. Which colour first? This one. Beautiful. Splodgy, I call this. They do these all every year. Lucy and I do these all year. Natural, this one's called. Natural. Um, they do these and they just add different colours to go with the ranges. Mm? This is brand new. This is brand spanking new. No. No. Just splodges. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's natural. Like everything here on stupid <laughs> Moss. That'll be this one. I like this one. I, there's quite a few colours in there, aren't there? Seven. There's seven different colours in there. Believe it or not. Moss. It's lovely. It's got a lovely depth to it, hasn't it? I can't think what I was going to call it. It wouldn't be frog spawn, but it'd be kind of like... Mm. Beautiful. Then I've got... What's the colour? Oh, you can't tell what this one is. 18. Blue. After all that, this is blue. Six ninety nine. Bumbleberries in blue. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. When the light shines down on a swim pool and you get all those bubbles under the water, that's when Elliot's in the water. You get lots of bubbles, don't you? <laughs> the water that's left in the pool after he's jumped in, that is. You know, the thing of displacement, you know. <laughs> yeah, you want to say why you're laughing? You thought you were, you were his friend. It is uh, Greg's diet. <laughs> he didn't say Greg's diet. <laughs> he said, 
He's on, he's not on his Greg's ban. He didn't say diet uh, at all. They heard him <laughs> say Greg's diet earlier. He had the cat went to get breakfast. She had a little sausage roll. Elliot's arrived. It was about this big. Anyway, look at this colour. It's beautiful. Oh, hang on. It's not blue. No, it's uh, 62. Taupe? That's lilac, though, yeah. isn't it? Lavendery lilac, yeah. that one. Definitely. There's a what? I think it might be an error. It's definitely lilac. Lilac, as our friend Caroline says. She's doing beauty now as well. And then this one here is eggshell. Eggshell. Duck egg. Not duck egg, eggshell. No, no, because is there a blue tit? One of them does a little blue egg, don't they? Don't they? Is it a blackbird? Blackbird. Do blackbirds I don't know. Do I blue? don't know. I wonder what makes them blue. The blueberries that they eat. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it must be their diet because chickens' eggs are brown because of all the grit they eat, isn't it? Aren't they? Anyway, should we get on with some sewing? Right, off you go. Yeah, she's ready. Okay, so then what we need to do, so we've got all those done. And then we need to join them in rows. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put these right sides together. Now, if you see here, mm. you've got two lots of seams going in the same direction here, oh. which is annoying. Yeah. Because when you start off, what happens, you put them together nicely and then your sewing machine just pushes the top one down, which is highly irritating. So what I do is I just take a, oh. like a glue pen. Right. And I just put a tiny little dab there, which holds those seams together to stop them moving yeah. apart from each I other. I think when they invented those glue pens, they didn't realise how many different yeah. uses, they yeah. were, all I different use times they're going to be used. Yeah. yeah. So just check that you're going to sew down the right side. Yeah. So that, I'm going down that side, aren't I? You've got high heels on, Elliot, it says, so you're taller than normal. Am I? Yeah, because well, you're leaning forward across Maybe. the board. Maybe. It could be nothing, it's nothing to do with the desk moving or anything like that. All the fabrics just going through one at a time. They will be underneath though, so you can see which one's which in a minute. So then you get a nice point there. Yeah. Okay, um, so I don't know how far, to, how long have I got? Oh, not long. No. Right, so you just carry on doing that. Yeah. So when you use a glue pen, like when you're trying to make a, a point like that, your best, if you're doing it where you're going to push the seam to one side, because sometimes when the glue dries, it can be a bit difficult to open it out. Right. Um, and it makes the, the seam... Um, fray a little bit uh -huh. um, but if you warmed it up with the iron the glue would melt and you could split that open but it does work best if you just push it to one side okay, okay? Um, so then you join you've joined those together and yeah. then you obviously stitch them together like that okay. again nesting the seams etc mm -hmm. etc et right so <laughs> she's not doing that though folks <laughs> here's one she made earlier so that's what it looks like when it's finished lovely and um, and then, so I've cut these just to show you what a cushion would look like. So if you wanted to make a cushion yeah, and you wanted to get three out of it, you'd need to buy an extra half metre of the background and that would right. get your back for, if you cut it like 10 inch each um, envelope back 10 inches, yeah. then you could get two, back, two lots of backs out yes, of it yeah. and then the rest out of the other that so that's ivory, from the is front. It, Kat? Yeah, so if you go to the website and look for ivory, Rose and Hubble. Uh, Carol says, just found the joy of the glue pen, especially for doing EPP. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, look, that's nice. So that's what you get. So that's a 16-inch cushion. Uh-huh. So um, one thing I would say as well is, obviously, you've got these directional peacocks um i kind of managed to get them all looking pretty uniform right but because you've only because you've got half a meter i think you you cut 
if you're doing the runner, you cut four widths of fabric to get enough for the bo for the border. Yeah. Um, you just need to think about um, where you're cutting because obviously you wouldn't necessarily want a little peacock's head there and nothing there and then a peacock's body in the middle. But <laughs> then you obviously have to consider how much fabric yeah, you've got so yeah, you're not yeah. going crazy, fussy cutting and then yeah. not having enough. Is the top border wider than the side borders? No. Oh, it's an optical illusion for me. It looks wider. Mm. It shouldn't be. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, I don't think it is. No, I think it's just because the peacocks are a bit higher up, whereas they're further down there, aren't they? I'll get the tape measure out in a minute. Um, so, so what else when do you made when you did you? the table runner, you made four of that because you're showing how to do a cushion. Yeah. But when you made the table runner, you made all four of those blocks. Yeah. Then you sew them together as blocks. Yeah. So you've got your four yep. running down. Your four blocks. Yeah. Then you've already cut your bind your border out. Yeah. So you then sew. Which order did you do them in? Do you do the sides first or do you do the top? So first? you do the long sides first. Yeah. And then the short edges. Okay. Um, and then you put your, you make your quilt sandwich. Right. We've got wadding. Yeah. In the graphic. Oh, and the graphic at the moment by the half metre look. So you'd only need, it's a hundred, it's a hundred and, it's 244. So how big is that like, lengthwise? 50. Oh, so you only need half. Inches. And how wide is it, you say? 80. So oh. it's 18 inches by 54. So that's why you use your, so you use your, if you're at buying, if you want to buy the back in. Yeah. You buy the half metre, which you put. Yeah. like that and then what's left of the bits off the front and the binding you attach to the top yeah um i'm thinking half meter won't be enough of your wadding because you need it slightly bigger don't you and that how wide did you say that was 18 inches oh no you're right yeah, yeah so half, it's... half meter of your wadding is fine yeah, yeah. oh um <clears throat> one thing to say when you if you're going to do the cushion option don't cut your borders three and a half inches like the runner is, you need to cut it two and a half inches to be able to get your three cushion, cushion borders out of it. Okay. Uh, Derek says, sneaking on to see Jules and Victoria today. Looking forward to watching the full show later. We've been talking about you, Derek, because there's a <laughs> denim jacket that we think you might quite like that Jules made. Um, and you can, we didn't ask it on air, but um, you can wear it. It's got a little bit of shaping in the side seam. But we were waiting for you to come in and ask questions and I realised you were teaching. In fact, yeah. you, have you got us on in the staff room? That must be lunchtime, is it, at school? What time do you have lunch at school? I think it varies because they're staggering it at the moment, aren't Still, they? Still. I don't know. It all finishes next week, doesn't it? Anyway, so. anyway, uh, is that, are you done? Or um, you say well, I was else? just going to say about quilting. Yes, please. So, because I didn't have a lot of time, I just kind of did a bit of a yes, zigzag nice, nice, pattern yeah. there. Um, but obviously I haven't quilted any of that. But what I would have probably done if I had more time yeah. was just like do echo stitch around the inside there. Yeah, because where you've Around done it might be a block. bit too wide if you're going to throw it in the washing machine. Yeah, Because there's yeah. quite a big gap between each section of quilting, isn't there? Yeah, because the general rule <coughs> is you need, you need quilt, you, you don't want really, I mean, different waddings vary, yeah. but the general rule is that you have a hand's width from your next lot of quilting as a minimum. Right. And they do say on the packets, when you buy a packet of it, it normally says on the packet to be yeah. the yeah. widest and the narrowest, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so, so I think that's it. Uh, oh, she's done then. She's finished. Don't look like that. <laughs> you can go home now. <laughs> uh, anyway, I I'll do a recap first of all. The two bundles have sold out. The wadding is in there. You can buy it by the half metre. It's 244. It's very strange sitting down doing this. I'm not yeah, I'm sitting down now. Why are you sitting down? Because I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> You're pregnant. No, I'm, I'm only just sat in the chair, so I, I'm not picking it. <laughs> Comes cut off the bolt. You buy it by, like you buy fabric. You buy it off the bolt. So if you're doing a great big quilt and you need a two and a half metre drop or something like that, then you buy two and a half metres and it comes in one piece. Lovely quality wadding and you can buy as much as you need from Anne in Cornwall. There you go. And Susan says, a fifu. Just bought it from a basic stash. Don't think it will be there for long from Susan in Greater Manchester. Right, now, all of the fabrics that you saw in that hour are all available behind by the half metre. They're all now in show deals. They're not in pre-order anymore. These are all of them. They are gorgeous. Oh, some of them sold out. 
Some of them are sold out. So if you want to recreate this, um, th the trouble is what Victoria did was she made the bundles the right size. So you've got fat quarters and everything there. You need to buy these by the half meter. But oh, crikey! Okay. Oh, I don't know. You put me on the spot now. Which three? Oh, you've chosen yours, though. That one sold out. That sold out. Um, we see, I, oh, I don't know. But hang on, so I need four, I need four, I need a dark one in there, don't I? Right, oh, now. Uh, well, there you go. You can't just ask me to pick four and then just leave me. You need two more of that, two more. I need two I'm more. There. Because you peacocks are your border. Right. Oh, no, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. I thought that was the... No, no, no. I do need, I need... I need three... I need four fat quarters and I need a half metre. So I do need another colour in there, don't I? Yeah. And then I'd have navy blue as my back... Oh, then that kitter wouldn't have that one then. I'd have navy blue as my background. There you go. Right, okay, quickly... Uh, what time is it? Oh, look at the time. 96, this one. This has got copper metallic on it, this one. Now, you see, you said earlier you'd got that upside down, but you hadn't because that was the right, that's the right way up. See? Remember you said it was dropping down. Oh, yeah. Got, that's, the, that's the right way of the fabric. Uh... Yeah, but who took our pictures? That's the way it should be. Oh, no, but should it? Hang on. Oh, I don't know. No, because it's love hearts, isn't it? So maybe you would want it that way. But then the pairs are facing upwards then, look. Anyway, it's up to you. Multi-directional, I'm going to call it. <laughs> They've got the same one in the, in the cream. Oh, is it, is it cream, though? Is it what? That's got gold metallic in that one. The other one had copper. This has got gold. No, I wouldn't. Now yeah, you see, isn't it funny? I don't like jewellery mix. I don't like silver and gold jewellery on the same together. But I don't mind gold, the gold and mm -hmm. copper being together. Then you've got this. I love this one. This teal flower one ends fifty eight. This is gold metallic. Thank you, Elliot. Gold metallic on this one. Five and a half meters. This one left. That's it. It's new. This fabric. It's new. I have never seen this before. So to me, it's brand new. Then I've got the orange with pears. So they, right, now I'm just going to check. They call, they call this red. Red flower buds. They're pears. <laughs> but they're, are you sure that's the right one? Can you see the gold? Look, look, look. Oh, look, 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 look. First of all, they're not flower buds. Secondly, they're not red. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? That shimmer's beautiful, isn't it? And then last but not least, I've just got the peacocks on cream. Oh, that was a deep sigh, Elliot. Did you hear Elliot then? Say that again. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? That would be like, that would be like um, uh, upstairs, downstairs, like an Edwardian drawing room. You're going to make some cushions for your leather sofa or something like that. So and this is how posh Elliot's house is, right? He's got a waiting room. So when guests come to the house, if he doesn't want them in the lounge straight away, they go in the waiting room. <laughs> he lives in somewhere called Bridge North. <laughs> anyway, moving on. After the break, after the break, it's me on my own. I know, I've never an hour like that, you tell. Oh, by myself, I've got overlockers. I've got, uh, well, no, uh, Jules used everything I was going to show you. She's used the clapper. Um, there's, uh, oh, we haven't switched the iron on. We haven't switched the iron on. Nobody switched the iron on. Victoria, switch the iron on on your way out, will you? Uh, thank you ever so much. Thank it's been you. Lovely Thanks to for see having you. me. Do you know when you're in next? 3rd of March. That's birthday week? Yeah. Oh, we've already had this conversation? Yeah. Yeah, because you're on with me? Yeah. Yeah, on one of the shows. All right. Well, uh, thank you ever so much. Thank you. It's really lovely to see you. Um, I'll see you in four minutes from now.
Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost and most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our ah, Baffa when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags as you can see I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaid dresses for me and my sister. And basically, I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature, by the way. Um, she said, I'm a bit young to learn her words. And basically she said maybe when you're a bit older so my when I turned eight I basically learned hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine I'm now in my late 30s but still act that eight-year-old my favorite tools or top tips so I have two best friends one's called the bulky sea maid which is this and one is called quilter state this will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot, I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon, bye. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Who was in yesterday? 
over that side there, did they have glass of champagne? There's like, you know, that when you have a wet bottle of uh, glass of champagne, you put it down, it makes a little circle. I've just noticed them. There's two next to each other there on the table. Oh, so that this table didn't get clean then. Yeah, fine. Now, overlocker, overlocker, overlocker. L look at this, look at this gorgeous overlocker. It's an air threader. It's an air threader from Juki. Is it? So, it's Juki, but look, you get 10,000 metres of thread, uh, overlocking thread with it. Now, I haven't got it here, so I can't show you how it works. I haven't got pictures of it or anything, so I can't show you the inside. But it's an air threader. On the front there, it tells you all the different stitches that it does. Look how many different... Uh, we must have a um, slide with all the stitches and things on, haven't we? It's the air threader, so it means that the two lower loopers... You don't have to thread up, you just open it up, you put the, the thread from the low loopers into a little hole, you press the button, it goes whoosh, straight through, and your two lower loopers are uh, threaded. These are already started going this morning. They've had checkouts on these already this morning. Oh yeah, now Gary will be enjoying, he's not on with me, I don't think. He's enjoying the birthday week, I think. Oh, is he? And he's going to do this machine, apparently. He's going to do, no, 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 so maybe get it, and then you've got it at home. So get your questions ready and watch Gary use it. Good idea, Cam. 1,299, well, no, because the special deal is that you get 10,000 metres of free thread. So we won't be up upping that or anything. So if you are thinking of getting this, get yours, get it delivered, then you've got it at home, ready and set up when Gary does his special. It's a sound-reducing design. Oh, we've not got a slide, you're just going to read it out to me. A adjustable differential feed, which they all have. £1,295 split payments of £259. So pay £259 today, it will be delivered to you. These are in stock at Juki in Essex, ready to go to be delivered. Now, we haven't got one because Gary took it with him. But, but you obviously know what you're getting because you, you're checking out on these. On our line. Okay, you can uh, go on YouTube and you'll be able to just put in Juki MO2000. Oh, it's the one Mark's got actually. Mark and Clive have got this one. The Juki MO2000 and you'll be able to see how brilliant it works. I'm sorry we can't show you and I can't show you where the threads go and things like that, but we haven't got one here. 10,000 metres for free. Yeah, so it is this price elsewhere. You'll be able to find it like this price elsewhere. But will you get 10,000 metres of thread completely for free to go with it? Right, got different stitch types. Let's have a look at those because that's all the ones that are listed. Oh, all the ones that are listed. Oh, sorry about that. They're all the ones that are listed on the front of the thing. I was just going to clean my glasses while you look those while I read. Let me see. There they are. That, is that all of them? There must be more. Four thread overlock, three thread overlock, two thread overcast, three thread rolled hem. Brilliant, isn't it? Thread narrow overlock, uh, thread rolled hem with differential feed to give you that lovely uh, frilled look. Uh, there's a word for it, isn't there? Fluted. And then you've got your three thread flat lock. There's more than that, though, because look on the front of the machine. I'll just show you the front of the machine again. Look! There's more than that. Look at all those stitches you can do on the front there. Anyway, it's a brilliant machine. Absolutely brilliant machine. If you're looking for an air threader, we haven't got any Elner air threaders left at the moment, at this moment in time. The last 25 went in the last hour that we did. Not last hour today, the last time we did it. At 1,295. Oh, the picture's gone funny. Oh! Oh, dear, Elliot. The sooner he gets to go for it, go for his lunch, the better. Here you go. Informational LCD screen. Easy setup instructions, including tension settings for 15. There you go. 15 different stitches. Uh, no more searching new pages of your manual. Surging is simplified. Surging is the same as overlocking. Simplified with the informational LCD screen. So you choose, what you do is you choose the, the um, stitch that you want and it tells you what settings you need to do it. But having said that, I've got that on one of my owners in a minute. 
Oh, there's one more slide for you to sing. One more slide. That's a song, isn't it? Oh, now that's a different song you're doing. You're doing five. It's all right. Got another slide for you. It's just being made. I'll just dance while we're waiting. What, what? A an overlock, you mean? There you go. When I bought my first overlocker, which was at Mercury Theatre in Colchester, it was a beast of a machine and it terrified me. I love what it did, but it absolutely, it was huge. It was like this great big industrial thing. And every time it um, unthreaded, we had to ring Gary, oh, not Gary, Gary wasn't there, Gary wasn't born, I don't think, in those days. We had to ring Franklin's and they would have to send someone else to rethread it until Sabina came to work for me. And she was lovely, she was gorgeous, but very, very meticulous. And she knew exactly how to thread it every time. Uh, what slide are we showing then? There we go. Convenient threading with... Oh, there you go. There's your air threader for your lower loopers. Huh? Just a button so you put your thread in the hole, move it to the right or to the left, and then you press the button and it goes whoosh. Yeah, you've still got the two upper upper ones to, to thread normally as well, but if you, if, you, if you don't like doing the lower loopers, it's just so easy. Got an, I've got a needle threader to do the upper ones as well. Please be careful if you've got it in your basket. Hopefully Gary will bring more in, but if you want your towards yours now, then please check out. They do come from Juki directly in Essex. Like I said, they'll come directly to you from Juki if you buy that today. And if you pay £259 today, it will still be sent out to you. There are, I tell you, there are 10 left and that's it. 10 left and that's it. We will hopefully get more in, but you know, like what all the other Juki things we've been waiting for, it's all, everything's been held up, hasn't it? Everything's been held up. Right, now, obviously, this is an air threader and is of a price. Um, £1,295, or you can get five split pays of £259. But remember, you also do get your 10,000 metres of thread for free. For free. Now, I've got ulna overlockers here. Of a, Now, these are not air threaders. Still very, very easy to thread up, right? Um, oh, here we go. Uh, but if you don't want to spend £1,295 on your overlocker, I've got these two. I've got the 664 and the 664 Pro. No, when, I, when I, the sheets were sent to me yesterday afternoon, the 664 Pro wasn't even on it. So, which one would you like to start with? Okay, so I'll show you them both here. This is the Pro, this one here. There it is, the 664 Pro. Now... With this, you do get your gubbins tray here. Now, you can buy one of these for the 664, but it doesn't come automatically with it. It's so easy to thread up because, look, all of the threads are thread. I've got a different colour. And what you do is you follow to thread. You always, you always thread from this side of the machine. Don't If, if, you, if this one snaps, you need to re-thread from this side always. So you start on this side and you always work that way across, right? But literally, you follow the green line. This one, you follow the yellow line. This one, you follow the red, that one, the blue. Now, what I would do, um, what I would do, is it threaded up now? Um, is the first time I got it, I would put a, a green, a yellow, a red, and a blue on it, and I would do some stitching. Then you can see which thread actually does which bit of stitching on all the different stitches. All the stitches are listed down there in that flap, you can see there. They are all, are all numbered, right? So if you want to know how to do any of those stitches, you just literally come up here. And if you see on the front here, there is a chart and you can move it by doing this. So if you want to choose a certain stitch, whoa. It's gone. We'll get it back in a minute. Oh, no. Oh, he go. he's done it now. There you go. Oh. So look, so you choose your different program, it tells you what settings. Obviously they're written in your brochure as well, in your instructions as well. But you don't need, you don't, you don't need to open the book because it tells you exactly what you need to do. All of this for £479. Of course you can pay three, three split pays of £160 or £159.66. It's very, very easy to thread up. So now we have got slides on this, on what's, what this one does and what this one doesn't do. Here we go. I'll let you read all that one. Go to the next one. 
There you go. So everything you get, look, the built-in features, automatic tension release, two-thread converter, tilting needles for easy threading, cutting blade, up, down, or locked. F uh, front cover safety system, differential feed. The differential feed is like a walking foot. It feeds your fabric to the top and the bottom through at the same time. Instant rolled hem device, adjustable cutting width, self-threading lower looper. Well, it says self-threading. It's not an air threader. It's not an air threader. Colour-coded threading routes, adjustable foot pressure, electronic foot control, speed of 1300, snap-on presser feet, telescopic thread antenna system, storage compartment and a waste tray included as well as everything else. Right, Shelley, I have this machine, the 664 Pro. It's amazing, says Shelley. And Yvonne says, John, I have the 664 Pro. Never used an overlock before. Once started, found it very easy to thread and to use. I love it. Oh, once a wish, twice a kiss, Elliot. Sent by Yvonne in Cheshire. Thank you for those messages. We love hearing that you, you think it's great. Now, it is a fantastic little machine. Oh, dear me, Elliot. Oh, once a wish, twice a kiss, three times a letter, four times something better. He's sneezing, he's sneezing. Away. Here's what the overlocker can do. <coughs> Say this again. Safety four thread, stretch knit, gathering, stretch wrap, three thread wide, three thread narrow, three thread roll, three, two rolled hem, overcast, flat lock and flat lock. All that, oh dear me. I wonder what's gone up your nose. Uh, that's everything it does. That's everything it does for you. And it's £479. Uh, uh, split pay, £159.66. Look at all those there. It's the wrong picture, actually. That's just the 664. We're on the 664 Pro. But the thing is, the 664 is just like a baby version of the 664 Pro. So the, now the 664... Oh, Elliot, could turn away from your microphone. That was, no, I actually felt that. I felt the air come down the earpiece then. It's what? Look at the price of this one. 309 pounds. I'm sure they're not, I'm sure it's supposed to be less than that. But anyway, 309 pounds or 103 pounds. Now it does exactly the same as the Pro. Uh, no, 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 I don't mean, I don't mean lower, I meant higher. Sorry, did I say lower? So I meant higher. I think that's too low is what I was trying to say. For an overlocker, £309. It's the most affordable overlocker in the whole company. Right, so basically, the basic machine is the same as your 664 Pro. What you don't have is you don't have the dial thing here, but it doesn't matter because they're all written in the brochure anyway. And you don't get the, the tray. Oh, it's there. You don't get the, the... You can buy one if you want one, but it's not essential. Um, but then, hang on, the threading is all the same there. Or everything, you know, kind of, it's threaded up exactly the same way as the Pro. Uh, right, now, so what I was going to say was, oh, it's only two. Is that it? Two? I'm not surprised because I think it's supposed to be more than £309 myself. But anyway, uh, we've only got two available. I was going to say something really astounding and important then. About what? Okay, 309, I've got Hannah in, the, in there today. £309, £103. They're waiting at Elner in Stockport to be shipped out to you. So if you buy this today, they will get the email at midnight tonight. They will start the process running tomorrow to get it out to you as soon as possible. Now, the people who bought the Elner overlockers from me last week had them within days. Well, only two of you, only two of you will get this because there's only two available in stock. At £309. Uh, the brochure, you get a full-on brochure with it. All Everything else, all the other features, exactly the same as the 664 Pro. Gorgeous little machine. Fantastic little machine. Yeah, ask around on the fan. Well, don't ask around for too long because there's only two left. But ask on the fans page. I'm going to have a look. YouTube it. See, have a look. Elna 664 Overlocker. Go to the Elna website for any more information that you might need. Okay, now Jane Bergen has filmed on our YouTube channel a film, Elliot filmed it, of her unpacking the box and threading it and doing everything like that with your 664 overlocker. So if you want to see it, uh, the minute you get it, the minute how to use it, then go and find that on YouTube. Yep, says Elliot, yep. Oh, Elliot's watching it now. He's looking at his, his mastery in camera work. 
Here it is. Here she is with her long hair. You also have sound, obviously. Does she open the box? Fast forward a little bit then. Okay. Oh, there you go. Right, there you go. Everything that you get with it. Now, I haven't got any of those to show you today, have I? No, fast forward a bit more. I want to see her doing sewing. Oh, there's the manual. There she's threading it, threading it up. Look, 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 look. So you can see all of this on our YouTube channel right now. You just have to put in, go to Sewing Street YouTube and put in uh, Unboxing the Elna 664 Overlocker with Elna's Jane Brogan. Then fast forward a bit more. Still threading. Step by, oh excuse me, step by step. Oh, I thought it'd frozen then. It's a good little video, he says, even though, it, it, you know. He then does say so. So look, that was her moving the blade. The other thing is, is when the front case is open, there's no way the machine can go. Oh, there you go, stitching. Just on our YouTube channel, just search for Unboxing the Elna 664 Overlocker with Elna's Jane Brogan. Gorgeous. Right, yo, right, let's move on then, because I've got a sewing machine available. Now, any day, any day, they said mid-February, didn't they? Well, mid-February for me is Monday. I'm not saying it's going to be in Monday. I can't guarantee what day it'll be in. But I'll just tell the story very quickly. Last year, we sold out of these completely. We had to wait months and months and months and months and months for the new ones to come in. They kept saying to me, oh, John, big show, big show, because you've got this machine, because it's the one I have at home. Um... We're going to do a big show, big show with everything. Fantastic. Anyway, they didn't arrive. I went on my holidays. Two days later, they arrived. Stuart then had a big show with it. And all 150 that were sent to us went within two days. They'd all, well, 149 had gone. There was one left in the warehouse. We don't know how or why, but there was one left in the warehouse. They all went, sold, 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 sold. Then a couple of weeks ago, we, we found the one in the warehouse. We literally lifted it up like this and it was sold. So we put it back down again. Now, the reason we're doing this, we haven't got them here. Oh, no, we haven't got them ready at Elna to send out to you. We bought them from Elna. We've been guaranteed them by Elna. Now, what I'm worried about is the minute they come in, whoever's on shift that day, I'll just wait for someone to stop typing. Thank you. Uh, well, Elna, well, whatever day they come in, um, Hayley will say, go, do it now, do it now. Get the machine on, do it, do it, do it. Doesn't matter if it'll be me, Vic, Spec, Stuart, whoever it is. Uh, yeah, she'll just say it's arrived, it's arrived, do it, do it, do it, do it, right? So the first thing I want to say is that what happens if that day, because I've got half as many, I'll tell you, I think, how much, how many have I got? 70, oh, even less now, 72, right, I had, last time I was on, two days ago, I had 78 of these, so that's, oh, 71 now, what's well, just gone, 71 now, 71. There were 70, there were more than 78 when they came in. Do you know what I mean? Now, Stuart, on that day in September the 7th, 7th, September the 9th, whatever it was, 150 went with it. 150 just flew out. 150. What happens if, like, let's say, uh, next Tuesday, the 15th, I come into work and they go, oh, yes, John, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. Do it, do it, do it. What happens on the 15th if you're away or if you're at work? Or doctor's appointment, having your hair done, meeting friends for lunch or something like that. You've gone out shopping or whatever. We've all got lives. I don't expect you to be here all, all day, every day. But imagine if you do. And then you get home and you're watching the, the, the catch-up. Oh, John's got the 680. I'll get one of those. And then it's sold out. Because we've got 71, right? We had 150 the day that she did it. We have got so many people asking all the time, when is it? When is it coming in? When's it coming in? When's it coming in? So... What we're saying to you is these are going to be delivered to you mid-February, right? What date is it today? About the 10th? 9th? 10th today, 10th today, right? So we're nearly there. We're nearly there. You can either pay £1,249 plus your P&P. Now, remember, if you bought something else today, you won't be charged extra P&P. It'll just be upon the day's P&P. 
Or you can pay £249.80, first payment of five, right? Yours is then reserved, right? Yours is then, doesn't matter what day, what time we do it, you know that yours, as soon as they arrive in the, fa in the warehouse, yours will be sent out to you. So in a way, it's a safety net, isn't it? If you think, if you know you definitely, definitely, definitely want one of these, right? And you're thinking, oh, will I be in? Won't I be in? Will they all stop? This way, you've reserved yours. It's done. But you know what? We're giving you an extra present for reserving it ahead of schedule. Because if you buy this today, have a look at this, right? You will get £50 added to your Sewing Street account to spend in March. Now, it's the birthday week in March. Imagine having an extra £50 to spend on... There's loads, loads and loads of designers on that week because there's twice as many hours. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that yet, but there's going to be eight hours a day. You know Victoria Carrington's coming in. You know Gary's coming in. You know Mandy Shaw's coming in. Oh, what, what? Do what? Oh, yeah, bringing in some of your favourite projects, especially for that week and everything. There are surprises. Alice and Marion's got a surprise for you. Um, all sorts going on that week. So you've got 50 pounds, you'll have 50 pounds in your account to spend on that on that um, birthday week. So now when it comes in, so if it comes in on Tuesday, I'm being told, you, no, no, don't have it Tuesday, whatever day it comes in, right? You won't get the 50 pounds to spend. That's not part of the deal. It's only the people on pre-order that get the 50 pounds gift. I know. Now, I know there are other shops. This is, how, this is how much you'll pay for it elsewhere. I have seen one for sale for 1399 and I've once seen one for sale for 1499 I didn't take the picture, so I can't tell you anything about it. But I've just, that was just me cruising the internet, right? There are, some people have it already, some, but most people are doing what we're doing and put it on pre-order. But do you get £50? Do you get £50 to spend? It's like £50 off, isn't it, really? Oh, hang on. Elliot just wants a word with you, everyone. Okay, now there's another se series of Jane, El uh, Jane from Elna Films on YouTube using the 6... Is it 680 plus? Yeah. Look, there you go. There's the 680. Oh, there are lots of little films, are they, on that one? Yeah, brilliant. That one's only a minute long, that one. That's oh, the advert, the minute long. <laughs> right, there you go. Making your first straight stitch with Jane Brogan using the 680. How brilliant. They're all 680. If you're nervous about setting up the machine, it's all on there. All on there. And also, can I just say, I've got this machine. I've got this machine. If I can use it, then you can. It's not a difficult machine at all. It's got all the stitches that you want on here. You get so many. Can we see all, everything you get with it? All the feet and everything that you get with it? Because you get so many feet and so many technical um, um features on this machine it's fant it is fantastic so for 1249 pounds you are investing in a really really amazing machine you do get the walking foot look oh there's a picture of it there there's a picture of everything there there's a, we've got a list as well elliot's so proud of his video so you see all of that in the video and everything there you get two needle plates look you get the, the knee lift you get, all the, you get all the feet, you get needles, you get guide bars, you get the buttonhole foot, you get spools, you get everything. Look at the echo foot there. Tell you that again. There you go, she's just put the list in there for you. You get so much. This is just standard, right? This isn't a special deal that we've done with Elna. This is what you get with this machine. Your standard foot, your rolled hem foot, your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, your open toe satin stitch foot, your blind hem foot, your overlock foot, your quarter inch seam foot, which is brilliant for all you quilters or patch workers out there. Closed toe darning, open toe darning, even feed, that's your walking foot. Automatic buttonhole, stabiliser plate. If you don't want your fabric to move around, you put the fabric between the automatic buttonhole foot and the stabiliser plate, keeps it in place. You even get a foot for sewing on buttons. You get the sewing pivot pin, the quilting bar guide, the quilting bar guide for the even foot, even feed foot. Uh, two needle plates and then all those extra bits and bobs. You do get a huge extension table with it as well. And the extension table is a real, this comes off obviously, this all comes off. The extension table fits on there and it's a lovely, like opaque uh, table that sits on there. Uh, there it is, there's the table there. 
10 buttonholes, I'll show you those in a second, 170 stitches. Now remember that the 680 goes to a nine millimeter stitch width. Most sewing machines only go to a seven. Uh, and then you've got maximum stitch length five, you get two alphabets, and you can do capital letters and numbers in nine millimeter. So if you're doing labels for your kids' clothes or anything, 91 variable needle positions and a thousand stitches per minute. And then if you just show you on the real thing, all your stitches are in here. All the stitches, the different, oh, all, oh. All the different modes and everything for the stitches that you want in there. There you go. These are for your, for your straight needle plate up here. And then your feet, your most favourite, most used feet live in there. And then all the others, there, there's your spare needle plate in there. And then all the others all live in here like this. Got a lovely little um, section there. Oh, uh, you can drop the, the feed dog so you can do your free motion embroidery. Excuse me, it's a great machine. I'm very happy with it. The demonstration was excellent on Sewing Street. Encouraged me to buy this machine. Now Susan doesn't say which, whose demo she watched. Did you buy it on, you know, on September when Stuart did it? No doubt. Now, does everything I hope for. I'm delighted with this machine. Um, uh, Stuart's only got the 680. He's not got the 680 plus. His is blue. His is blue. Wow, it's an awesome machine. I love it. And all the features so much quieter and sturdier than my other machine from Pauline in County Durham. Couple more and then I'll move on. Scared to use at first, but fantastic machine and easy to use. Oh, crafter in Greater Manchester. And then, has everything I need on your machine, did a lot of research beforehand, love Wendy. Do your research, but don't leave it too long, because remember, as soon as it comes into stock, that 50 pounds added to your account will disappear. It is a fantastic machine, please, please, please. Congratulations to the 80 so of you that have got it on pre-order already. Yeah, thank you. We don't normally do this. It's a special, it's a special thing because we want you to, we don't want you to miss out. That's what it is. Okay, the 664 Overlocker, there's only one left. The 664 Pro, we've got more because we've got more stock in. Right, okay, now, everyone who bought the um, Elna overlocker from me a couple of weeks ago messaged me going, where do I get my threads? I've got no threads. And we, we didn't have any in stock or anything. But they're here. They've arrived. They've arrived. They've arrived. These are the Aero Block. Now, it says Mini King. We said this morning, oh, they're the Mini Kings, aren't they? But we can't, couldn't see where it said Mini King on the box. Uh, look, you get 24 threads. Oh, well, we'll have a look now. And you get 1,200. So what's so that's 24,000 plus, oh, hang on, another 4,000. 28,000 metres of thread you get. 20, and that's 100% polyester. Don't use this thread. <coughs> Don't use this thread in your overlocking machine, uh, in your sewing machine, in your sewing machine, just for your overlocker, right? But here we go. Now you see it says six colours. I think you're getting, uh, yeah, you're get, definitely getting five colours. So what you get is you get four of the black, four of the mid grey, four of the pale grey, four of the cream, and eight of the white. Now originally they used to have white and ivory, but they've done all of them as white now. So you still get as many. But you get, you get eight whites. Obviously, people, the feedback was that they didn't use the ivory. So four black, four grey, four silver, eight white, and four beige. $79.99. Oh, my word, you've been busy buying these this morning. How many left? Five left. That's all I've got. Five of those left. Well, yeah, on that day, the last day I did the, um, the air thread, uh, 25 overlockers went that day. So we know that lots of you already bought an overlocker. Yeah, yeah. So what you'll notice on an overlocker, that the two of the threads aren't used as often as two of the others. You'll see, because the one that's obviously, the stitch that's going round and round and round, uses more than the stitch that's just going up and down. So what you need to do is, when you've got the black or, or any colour on, what you need to do is when you see two are really whittling down, you take those two off and replace them by the two that aren't whittling down. So it just makes them last longer. The four spools last longer. Also, 
99% of the time, you'll only use one of these colours. Do you know what I mean? You don't need to change it. Uh, Jules had changed hers this morning because obviously she'd done the yellow overlocking on the yellow dress. But most of the time, most people, if they'd done that yellow dress that Jules did earlier, they'd just use white or the cream. They don't, you don't always need to, to match it up. Hmm? £3.33 a spool it is. 1,200 metres on each spool. So in total you're getting, what would you say, 28,800 metres of thread. That'll last you. That'll last you. <coughs> okay, we're good. now if you've got an overlocker, and you don't want it to mark your table. They've got suckers on the bottom, so they're not going to move anywhere. But this is brilliant if you maybe do overlocking at night time when the kids are asleep. Because it absorbs noise. It absorbs vibration. It saves the ta your table. And also, um, if you look, when you put an overlocker down, you've got the four feet that are going to press on your table. This, um, it not evens out. What's the word I'm looking for? Where it distributes distributes the weight of the machine quite evenly over the mat. Also lovely and soft to work on. Now we do do a bigger one, a 60 by 40 for a sewing machine. This one's 40 by 40 to go underneath your overlocker. A lot of people use this as well. If you sew on a wooden floor, a lot of people put their presser foot, no, not the presser foot, the pedal, the foot pedal on top of this so it doesn't slide on the wooden foot, on the wooden floor. I know, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Only comes in the... I'll lift it up, Kat, don't I? Only comes in the red. But if you bought an Elna, that's what they've got red knobs on, haven't they? $14.99. The Overlocker Slip Reduction Mat. Oh, they you see, they, these come into stock and go out again. These come into stock and go out again. It's like kind of rotating doors, whatever they're called, in a hotel. You know what I mean? Round, it comes in, round, it goes out. My friend Bonnie was in Hotel Babylon. Yeah. Dexter Fletcher was in it. Dexter Fletcher played the doorman. Fourteen ninety nine. If you wonder what I'm talking about, it was a Saturday or Sunday evening show about Baxter. It was written by somebody who'd worked in hotels all their lives, and it was all the stories of what what went on in hotels and everything. Right, am I, what do we do next? Oh, the French curve. Now, if you've got a pattern, you want to change it, this is a must. This, or, or you can do your own pattern, make, pattern making. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. But it's worth having, right? Uh, if you're a pattern cutter, you'll use it every day. If you want to alter armholes or hips or anything, I'll turn it over in a minute and show you, but it's got a straight edge here. It's got a right angle here. It's got buttonhole sizes markers on here. It's got um, seam allowance markers on this side. Let me turn it over and I'll show you all the different things it does there. So if you're working in knitwear, um, an essential to trace out diagrams of knitting patterns, pattern alterations like for your hips or your, or your side seams, uh, you can change the necklines using it. Uh, you can change raglan sleeves, all different necklines there, yokes and everything. You can use just by twisting it which way and the other. Then you can round out points with it. And you can use it to, to for buttonholes and seam allowances. For all for $9.99. No, no. They have spelt um, allowances wrong on that side, but that's not. $9.99. It's a brilliant little tool. I think you'll end up using it more than you realise. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> £9.99. pence. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through. We've all got this tickly cough today, haven't we? Oh, you see, he coughed and now he started sneezing. Now he's coughing again. Elliot. Gorgeous. Threads. I've only got one box. Oh, I've only got one. I've only got one box of threads now. These are your extra strong buttonhole threads. Now, if you're going to hand stitch a buttonhole, these are essential. But you know what you could also do with buttonhole stitch, a buttonhole thread, is if you're doing a lot of gathering, you can put, you don't put this in your machine, 
what you do is you just unravel it, right, and you zigzag over the top of it like that. Put a knot in that end or tie or sew that end down and then you pull it through. And you know how gathering always snaps? Always snaps, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't if you're using buttonhole thread. You can just keep pulling it through. So really, or you're doing, um, now, uh, a bar tack, not the bar tack that um, Jules did this morning. The bar tack, we do that to make a little rouleau loop and everything. You can use it for that as well. So in here, you won't use this that often. You won't use it that often, but it's really good to have in your kit. Black, white, beige, blue, and dark grey. $15.99. Good essential colours. We're not going to do many, because they're buttonholes. They're what, you wouldn't um, use this for blouses. You'd use it for like trousers or for jackets and coats and things like that. The jacket had buttonholes on it, but they were, they were machine buttonholes. This is for hand, I'm talking about hand-sewn buttonholes from coats and tailored garments and things like that. It's quite, um, it's quite a niche market, this one. Not everybody will need this. 15 minutes then. Fifteen minutes. Also good for sewing your buttons on with as well. Nice, strong, if you're going to make a shank to go underneath the button. For limited, limited, limited. Yeah, but first of all, before I do that, early, uh, oh no, I won't do that because we did the jean ones earlier. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to do that. I'm going off to the ironing. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking half it's here and half it's there. That's all. Let me do the iron first. I'll do the iron first. Right. This, we are almost down to single figures again. Yeah. 209 times now, I'm sure you'll be, able to, you'll be able to join in with me as I do this, because I do the same spiel on FDA. It's brilliant. When I bought my... F when I bought my first uh, industrial type iron, it was from Franklin's back in the uh, mid 80s. And I think I paid this much for it then. So to be able to get one now, all these years later at that price is fantastic. Now it's £219, but it should be £349. You still got the £50 off introductory deal. And you don't have to pay it all in one go. You can pay it in three split payments of £99.66. But the brilliant thing is, it's heavy, right? It's either, if this is the only thing you buy today, it's still £3.95 if you post in packaging. Or, if you've bought something else, there, even if all you've bought is a packet of needles, that's your P&P covered for the whole day, right? This will come directly from Franklin. So if you have bought something else, there, say you bought the early bird, the early bird will come from us, this will come directly from Franklin's, right? Uh, but you only pay one P and P of £3.95. pence. What is it you're saying? Well, it's a Steve iron. Have a look. Look at the Steve. Yeah, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be share. Anyway, um, it's fantastic. The steam on it is brilliant. Let me take you through it. So this is where you fill it with water. Now, this is where I always have to do my warning. You only fill it when it's cold and when the pressure is down, because this is a completely pressurised unit here. If you run out of water during the day when you're using it, do not try and open it. Do not force it open because it's dangerous right we've seen somebody do it please don't do that and i'm only telling you that not there's nothing to be worried about if you've got kids in the building right they can't take this off look if you can twist it and twist it and twist it it won't come off right because you have to do that press it down twist press it down twist press it down twist um but you might it must be cold it must be cold so rebecca harrison when she worked at angels it was her job in the morning to fill all of them with the cold water Tighten them up and switch them on so all the steam irons were going to last all day long. This here is your pressure guide here of how much steam is going to come through your iron. Obviously, then you've got this lovely long wire here to the iron. Now, this weighs 1.5 kilos, the iron. It's just slightly heavier than a domestic iron. It's got, that, obviously, the steam button there, but it's also got the, the dial there for you to do the one, two, and three. So you can do silks and wools. You can do all the different temperatures in there, one, two, and three. Now, if I just lift that up, right? On here, you'll see two switches. One switches the iron on, one switches the steam on. Literally, it's taken five, six minutes to get up to power. Um, this here, well, oh, there you go. It's just warming up again. So I've taken it off. It's now warming up again. So the green light comes on. So when the green light goes off, it's ready to use. If this one here flashes, it means your water tank is empty. So you must stop using steam. 
right? But you can do that by just switching that off there. Then it becomes a non-steam iron and you can use it as a dry iron. So if you're a patch worker and you don't want steam one day, you don't have to use steam, you can use it dry. But it has more, it has way more um, uses if you want to steam curtains, if you want to steam clothes, because of its power, you can do it like you saw it like that. Imagine doing your cut. That's actually hitting the cameras and everything. Imagine doing that on your curtains. You don't want to take the curtains down and press them. Even if they're interlined and everything, just give them good steaming. If you want to do your shirts in the morning or your clothes, put them on a mannequin, put them on a, oh, mannequin, mannequin, where is it? Mannequin or a coat hanger, steam it down, all the creases will drop out. If you want to sanitise uh, your sofa, your armchairs, you've got cats that sit on them all the time or something like that, you can do. If you want to sanitise your mattress, which is really important because all sorts of things live in your mattress, don't they? They say that steam is one of the best sanitizers. But you're most probably thinking, first of all, how on earth is this going to sit on the end of my ironing board? How on earth am I going to get it to my bed or to my curtains? Well, it comes with this. We'd love, now that exactly fits on the top of here. That fits perfectly in there with a the little corner so it's not going to slip off or anything like that. And it goes all over the place. So if you're just going to have it in your workroom by your ironing board, this can sit underneath your ironing board on that. And then you've got all this wire to get to your ironing board. You get this. This is your water bottle to fill it. You also get a little water jug as well with it. And uh, if you need to wheel it to the curtains or the sofa, then just wheel it, plug it in. You've got your wire here. To, to plug it into a normal plug hole down there. So now you're almost really thinking, well, I don't know if I do enough ironing to do this, right? Right. I don't, oh. Oh. No, where's my chartreuse gone? So this is wool. This is wool, right? This is from Catherine's. What? It was here, just here. You need to get here. Day before. Look, that's using 100% wool. Look how delicate it's being sturdy because it's doing the steam. But how beautiful. I just push that across so you can get to see it from upstairs. Beautiful, isn't it? That, if you don't want to go on that, you can just steam it like this. Just get rid of all your creases like that. However, if you're thinking, well, I don't use wools or anything heavy like that. Oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Oh, yeah, here it is. Someone sliced it, I think. Right, okay, this is... Yeah, scrunch it up, really. <laughs> right, so I've got... This is our Rosen Hubble. Core fabric. Huh? I've just creased that lovely. Watch. Look. Look at that. Now, imagine... Doing your trousers. Imagine the crease you could get down the front of your trousers. Imagine doing your sheets for your bed. I love freshly laundered sheets on my bed. But I don't like them to be crunkled. I like them to be all beautiful and fresh. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic, right? So, it doesn't matter what fabric you're using. If you're doing uh, blouses, skirts, silk, chiffons, anything. You can use it. It does have the temperatures. Like You can, you can turn it down to a number one to use it with chiffons and things like that. Oh, hang on, Elliot's got a new picture. Let's have a look at this then. You've got something missing off it. In the box, steam generator, rubber mat, oh, I forgot to mention that, hose support pole, water bottle, Teflon nozzle, stand rack. Uh, there's all the specifications. I thought you also got um, a little jug with it, obviously not. Anyway, look at all those. All that you need to know. The iron weight, 1.5 kilos. Is there a button on the handle that activates the steam or is it automatic? Here, Kate, look. Hang on, let me show you around so I turn it around. I'm not going to press it when he's facing this way because I'll have a facial, won't I? Look. You literally just... Look, I'll show you that way, shall I? Oh! Look, can you see? There you go. There's not, what it hasn't got, it hasn't got one of those, that you can't press it down and leave it down, you've got to keep your thumb on it. 2.2 litres fits in there. Right. What, what? I, 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 no, well, I, use, I just use water from the tap in it. Gary said, if you live in a hard water area, 
by distilled water from your chemist, right? But I've never, when, when I had mine in Colchester, no, no, we've never had a problem here. Is it hard water here? Oh, well, in that case, we should, we should be buying distilled water for it, then we should be using it. But if you're going to use it every day, all the day, uh, put distilled water in it. You can make your own distilled water, but don't you have to boil the kettle and let it drop off a mirror or something like that to make distilled water? Just buy it from your local suppliers. Yes. Right, I've only got a couple of minutes left. What would you want to do? Uh, uh, the hams I do with that iron over there, I could do, I'll do the clapper with this one. I mean, you can use these ones, but I haven't got a dart or anything to show. I haven't got a machine. Um, let me just do this then. Right. You saw Jules using this earlier. When you're using... Oh, there's only f four clappers left. Right, when you're using denim or something like that, like she was on the placket earlier, you can turn... Now, the thing is, this is kind of... I wouldn't use this with this, right? Because this one is strong enough to do it anyway. But what you would normally do is, if you're doing a fold and a fold, you'd put your iron on it like this. You'd put the steam into the fabric like that. And then you'd put your clapper on like that. What your clapper does is it has to be made of like a beach or an... Um, What's that other word? That, it's a hard, no, no, it's a, it's a close-grained hardwood, right? If you do it with a, a open, open um, grain wood, it cracks the wood and everything. What this is doing is it's taking the moisture out of the ironing, but leaving the heat down there. So when you do a seam on, on denim, it's absolutely so precise. So when Jules was doing her placket earlier, she literally used that to create her cr crease on, on her placket and everything like that. So you can use it for corners, you can use this bit here. It's literally just for using for all the different sections. And it, I, 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 end, uh, uh, I want to say end to belly, that's not right. Mine's not made of beach, mine's made of another wood from the Dominican Republic. Uh, but anyway, it needs to be a very close grain wood, so it absorbs the moisture, but does, then doesn't crack onto there at all. You can't get the big iron, that works perfectly. Is that one still switched on over there or not? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right, I'll do these here then with these. Right, so if you're doing a dart or a shoulder seam or something like that, you might want to use the tailor's ham. So if you've got a dart that you need to press out, oh, here you go, I can do it like this. I'll get rid of the creases in here, right? Rather than it being flat, if you've got a slightly curved 3D shape, then just use your tailor's ham. Now what happens with this, there you go, you see? is your tailor's ham, the steam absorbs, go, works the other way around to a clapper. First of all, you've got the nice shape, but the, the steam goes into the sawdust inside. The inside will get damp, and you just have to leave it to dry overnight, and it'll all work out brilliantly. But it, this one gets you to lovely um, curved seams with your children's clothes, anything like that. If you don't want it to be completely flat, then you can use a, a, a tailor's ham like this for £11.99. If you're going to do sleeves or very narrow jeans, then the same with this. You know, if you're doing, if you're, people wear jeans this tight, don't they, these days. If you're hemming one of those, you need to press it. You just put this inside the sleeve or inside the, the, the trouser leg, and then literally you can get to it all the way around like that. Right? Now, also, I'll just show you this as well, another tool that we used earlier. If you just need to get to a little bit like Jules needed earlier, now, the, the, this is a very small sleeve board, this one. Mine's about that long, sort of thing. This is called the mini pressing board. Now, when I cut out the box earlier, yours does come with white stoppers on the end of there, like that one, but I pulled them off when I yanked it out of the box earlier. £7.49, pence. if you just need to iron a tiny little bit, or into a corner or something like that, or you don't want it to be flat on your ironing board, put it round this again, and then you can just get into all of those nooks and crannies. No, can you? I've got one of those. Right, okay, so a condenser tumble dryer, the water that's in the tank after you've done it, here you go, use your water out your dryer that's distilled water from Marion. I think you said Alison Marion. No, Marion. And Becky Alexander Frost said the same thing. Oh, yeah, if you have a condenser, condenser on your tumble dryer. It always looks dirty, though, that water. Maybe that's just me. No, because they're not dirty, are they? They're, it's in the tumble dryer. They're not they're being cleaned. Do 
No, you must never do that. Okay, that's like Hannah boiling eggs and potatoes in the same pan. You really mustn't do that. Because the eggs have got all sorts of chicken stuff. Anyway, that's not energy efficient because it takes, it's more difficult to boil the second time, the third time and the fourth time. So you're actually using more electricity than you did the first time because there's less oxygen bubbles in the water. Anyway, that's cat. I'm talking about cat's personal life now. I do apologise. I'll, I'll just tell you, right, she has a hot water bottle. It, when, she, when she finishes the hot water bottle, she, she pours the water from the, electric, from the water bottle back into the kettle. And she says, I don't drink hot drinks. Well, I'm, if your mum came round and made herself a cup of tea. Now, when you're not there. You go into her house when she's not there. Anyway, she'll look at tomorrow's menu. It's not me tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm off again tomorrow. It's not me tomorrow. It must be Stuart tomorrow. Is it Stuart? Yes, yeah, Stuart tomorrow. Then it's me on Saturday again with Stuart as my guest. So tomorrow's menu looks like this. Fabulous fabrics at 8 o'clock. Tri oh, Ricky Alexander under front. Shouldn't she? She should be texting. She should be on the train, surely. Trixie Bunny with Becky Alice under frost at nine o'clock. Then at ten o'clock they've got quilting tools. Then at eleven o'clock they've got a holiday wash bag collection. Oh, that sounds nice with Becky Alice under frost. And then at twelve o'clock he's got quilt kits. So what day is it tomorrow? Friday. No yarn lane. No yarn lane tomorrow. Oh, oh, yarn lane is back on Sunday and Monday as well. We just double checks. Definitely on on Sunday. So Sunday is Rebecca Reed's birthday show with Jane Crowfoot in uh, Yarn Lane, and then Monday, which is me. Oh, where she also spins with Catherine Wright on Monday. So that's Valentine's Day Monday, isn't it? Mid February on Monday. Mid February on Monday. Is that, how frightening is that? Anyway, I've got to go. Look at the time. Uh, make sure you check out your basket, especially on these. And what was the other thing that people weren't? Oh, the, the 664 is sold out now. Jules' patterns, loads of you holding those in your basket, especially the dress in the first hour. Make sure you check out on those now. And there was one other thing you were holding on to, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, Victoria, Victoria Carrington's pattern in the first. I, th I think you've all checked out now, but to begin with, we thought there was an issue because there were loads of people in baskets so I wasn't checked out, but loads of you done that. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Thank you for your company. Um, I'll see you on Friday. Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday morning with Stuart as my guest. Uh, bye.